popping. Holy. <laughs> now, we, now we're going to get into all that. Wait, I, yo, I got, let me tell you this. I watched the, I watched the, um, I watched the YouTube channel. Hella entertaining. I would have thought you would have ran out of stories by now until you dropped that Wale story. You know Wale, Wale going to handle you for that. It wasn't even a Wale story, though. Like, it That's was. a Wale story. By the way, hey, hey, listen, welcome to another episode of Off The Record Podcast. I am here with the man that's been making a lot of noise on the internet. feel like he's an internet villain. He's telling he's telling the things that people wouldn't want him to say because it'll make them look too good. But he's speaking his truth. You feel me? If you guys don't know who I'm sitting with right now, I'm sitting with Aunt Glizzy. Most hated. I'm taking the Glizzy off my name after this. Y'all gonna understand why. Why? I'm the only one. It's like... I'm giving homeboy credit though. Like you don't feel like he ain't got no buzz. He ain't nobody. His career over. I, every time you interviewed him because of me, you heard about the pill stuff and you couldn't. You ain't know nobody. You, that's the only reason you interviewed him. <laughs> now he hit me up. He was down to squash beef. You know what I mean? Remember he did. The, he, hey, back when the, hey, we want to talk about the chain snatch. Listen, back when the chain that got snatched and everything, yo, he came out with a fire this song. I ain't gonna lie to you. And he even dissed me on the song, and I still like the song. But anyway, we gotta start off hot. So I'm chilling, minding my business. I'm like, damn. It must be hell in Puff Daddy's house today. Okay, shit is going crazy. All of a sudden, because I'm reading through like this little lawsuit Cassie got, she's kind of saying shit, but she's not saying shit. She's being very kind of vague with certain stuff. And I'm like, oh, she's smart. She know how to tease it. But there's a particular part of the, the uh, lawsuit where she said, yo, there was something that happened. Diddy ran in. Diddy ain't like the, the 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 vibe that was going on, and he dangled a motherfucker off the balcony. She called him an industry peer. I figured we would never hear who that was, and I don't even know if that's the same scenario, but maybe that's his mo. Then we hear you drop a story about Wale, which I gotta imagine Wale is heated. I can't imagine Wale hanging off the balcony because he was chilling with Cassie. You gotta break this story. First of all, were you capping or is it true? It's a true story, but I didn't tell the story for Wale. Like, I just seen the Diddy and Cassie, they got into it, and she was filing a lawsuit. So I just explained the Diddy and Cassie situation. I ain't know the Wale part was going to go viral in the balcony. If you hang a nigga off the balcony, that's what go viral. I'm know- new to this. I'm new to this. I've only been doing this for I just I'm new yo, to this. Niggas still look at Vanilla Ice and be like, yo, didn't Shook Knight hang you off the balcony? That's the story. That's the rumor. That story so wild, I would have been told it, though. Like, I could have been told that story. Nobody would have believed me. Like, then I'm like, why are you lying? Like, so I never told it. It was no point in me telling it. I would have been told. I feel like I told this on my YouTube one of these days before. If you go back and somebody can research it, I told this before. Now, I'm going to be honest. I ain't like the story. I'm going to tell you I ain't like the story. Because the way how you describe yourself, and I like how honest you are, you're like, yo, listen, yeah, I wasn't no, like, the nigga or nothing like that. I'm not trying to act like I was more than I was. I was flying the wall. I'm with Shah. I'm like, his protection is at third. But I ain't like it how, you know what I mean? At least y'all, were, it looked like y'all was okay or cool with Wale. I know you Shah's man, but you just sat there and watched them dangle Wale off the balcony, man? You ain't feel guilty about that? We ain't. We still don't know what happened to Biggie. And you see Wale hanging off a balcony, and I'm in here. I got ten dollars in my pocket, and I got this ten dollars from Shot. There's some change he had that he ain't need asked for it back. You think I got enough power <laughs> to go to war with Puff Daddy? Like, come on, I hey, Imagine if he was hanging Shot off that balcony. You you gotta step in. At what point you step in? Yeah, I would have did it. This how it did. If it was Shot situation, as soon as I seen him coming with the bodyguards, boom, I'd have let him know. We come in peace. Anything that's going on, we getting the hell up out of here. We don't want no trouble. I'm talking for him. He don't mean no harm, no nothing. You ain't got to hang him off the balcony. He wouldn't even been wait, back wait, wait, there in them situations. talking for him? Like, like, like uh, explain the dynamic because I'm confused about the you and Sha Glizzy dynamic. Again, I'm listening to the lyrics. So Sha is like big dog in the hood from what I'm listening to on records. Now, you and his entourage. And what hood? Who did he come from? Nigga, the fuck? I just interviewed two guys from his hood. I, you be on the channel. I just interviewed two guys from his hood. They don't, Chocolates, he don't touch out there, man. Free Maybe talk. they hating. They could be hating. You, you know what happened. When, when, when niggas don't continue to feel, feed niggas, niggas start getting amnesia. I, I've been there since day one. Continue to feed niggas. Feed who? I'm going to give you a scenario. It's a lot of glizzies. I know some names, so I'm going to run them real quick. I don't even know why I'm giving them glow, but Google Glizzy. 
Amazon overnight shipping. Kate Glizzy, Shot Glizzy, Hype Man. It was We trying to bust a move. We was too deep. They took my chain. You need to cut it. The guy who was with him the night, he got his chain took, and he worked the Raw Way concert on, like, behind the scenes, like, janitor type thing. His little brother, his little brother, Three Glizzy, he told me Three Glizzy was the richest Glizzy. He was richer than my whole family. He worked, like, for a truck, like a truck company. He got a CDO. He just driving around. Okay, so you got to help me explain or understand another level. So this Glizzy gang or everybody be named Glizzy, Ain't shy the head of the glizzies? Pause. No. How does this come about? Explain. My living room. Like, just an idea. It was, it was three of us. It wasn't. Glizzy gang was like, all right, me, Shy, and Rose Glizzy. It was three of us. And we just all friends. We all close friends. Like, we just close friends. And we just came up with a group. It's groups out there already. It's already like the slutty boys. It's like other oh, groups yeah, yeah, already yeah. out. So we just made a group. It wasn't no rap or nothing like that. Shy just went to the studio and caught attraction to a song. So that's my friend. I'm supposed to pull them all away. I got, I ain't get no name off rap. I don't rap. I don't do nothing. Like I got to. Why are you trying to rap? I did at first. I did after me and Shy got into it. I did rap because I knew if he can do it, I'm really what he rapping about for real. Like, but so it's like my job, I wouldn't even want to be a rapper. I didn't even want to glow. My job was just to make sure he all right to get what he got in life. Like. Even if we fell out, I don't even fuck with him at all. But like, even if we fell out, he still won though. The job was for him to win. No matter if we was together, we was gonna be cool at the end or nothing. The job from day one was for him to win. He won, so it is what it is. Mm. Okay, so that's how it started. Obviously, got a little bit bigger, and, and I guess like you got to give us a story from your side because um, I, I'm guessing a lot of things happened. I had shy up here sitting in the same seat you were, and um, it was a good interview. But you know, I. I I think he may have, you know, because he might not be on good terms with you and I don't know who else, but those weren't the stories he was wanting to tell in kind of involving y'all into his story. You get what I mean? So you explain. So it starts from the living room. He gets some traction from music. What happens next? He gets traction from music. He don't really get traction from music. The traction he got was all me and my family street credit. My brother, my brother is like... Just DC, just a DC person, and DC just speak for itself. Like he just one of them ones. He the one of the ones. So at this time, he had his high horse in the streets, and I'm who I am. I'm his little brother, but in my age bracket, I'm who I say I am. So my voice alone, people already know how serious I am as a person. So if I put it with some rap, it's already a stamp on a rapper. And Sha just took the stamp, and you know what I'm saying? Like. We just gave him the solidification that he was a gangster rapper, and then he used the image, and he just used the image. His own neighborhood wasn't messing with him in the beginning. Like, open mics, it just was me. Like, it's just me and Shaq Glizzy going everywhere. We're going to Atlanta. We're going all around the world. It's just me and Shaq Glizzy. It's nobody else. He pinned his whole faith in me. Like, So how was he, like, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily know, like, like how, you know, like, you know, um, that area gives it up, but what do you mean Shaq was one of them guys? Like he come to uh, his grandmother lived on the neighborhood he claimed, so he come there on like the weekends. He lived in Merlin. That's like the suburbs. He lived, he like a suburban kid who come on the weekends and he You're just not trying to compare him to like Tias on King and Eric, who like you know, these niggas come on vacation type. Shit. Yeah, like that. No, stop playing. Like he bro. stand up, but you see King say he stand on business. Shaq Glizzy sit right here and tell you he stand on business too. Was he stand on business? How the fuck was he stand on business? CMG just had a concert two days ago in my city. Shaq Glizzy was nowhere to be found. Where he be for CMG? Oh uh, shit, that's what he said right here. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. He did say the way I can look for it. Make it make sense to me. Okay, okay. You connecting too much dots too quick. Hold up. All right, let's bring it back. Okay. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> so you say he's from Maryland. He's from Laurel, Maryland. Exactly. He went to Laurel High School. Is that PG he, County? That no, that's that's Laurel. It might be PG. I don't even know. I don't know what Laurel is. I'm not from. I don't know. It's Laurel PG County. Yeah, Why Laurel, giggling over there. What's yeah, Laurel PG County. That, old PG County, like them niggas. Laurel go hard, yeah, but yeah, PG. Don't get me wrong. PG got some gangster spots, but Let me Laurel, ask you not a question. Laurel not it. Let me ask you a question. I know you and Shad don't see eye to eye, and by the way, I think it's sad. I, oh shit! I hope y'all do get it back together. I promise not to be biased. You, you, you're not going to tell me a tale that's not true because you don't fuck with him like that right now. You got a comment section and everybody in the city know me. It's all going to be here. I promise every receipt going to be to everything. So you're saying Shy wasn't like that? Never like that. Nobody going to say he was like that, though. It ain't like you going to, like, it's not going to get up on nobody. Nobody going to say Shy. I feel like, I feel like the like conversation going to be like, Yo, this nigga hating like hell. Everybody knew Shy was giving it up like that. Damn. Giving up what? I don't know. Like, he was that guy. 
He got dissed on his own block. They blood. They dissed him. He had to come back and sign the rapper to get cool. You don't remember he went to, oh, no, you might don't remember, but he went to an ice cream truck. He was like, Richard Millie. Oh, yeah, 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 I do remember that. The same rapper he signed, the same rapper a couple of months later, the, even it the out. The only thing, and I'm, I'm shooting him a lot of bell here, but you can tell me if I'm just wild or wrong. Sometimes a rapper will come up and, yeah, he used to get it in, but now he got rich and he got lit. Then the city start turning on him because they feel like he don't give back enough, he don't be there enough. So I never looked at him as, Oh nah, like the, the city's just kind of faking your rep or whatever, or, or your rep is based on other people. I'm just like, yo, sometimes you can't give enough opportunities for niggas to really feel good, you know? I went to war with the city act, not him, bro. If he got into it with Fat Trail, that was me. If he got into it with Chief Keith, that was me. If he got into it with anybody, that was me. Oh, it's all me. Chocolate, he just go to the studio and rap. He rap about the motion that I'm putting in. I'm just not a rapper. I'm not at the microphone. I live it, you rap it, we make it. That's it. That's all. Nothing never happened to Shaq. How does that work out me. then? Because I know, obviously, like knowing rap, everybody knows situations like that. There's a guy who he's really in the streets with it. Like, not to compare it to like even like six nine, but like you have six nine, then you have Shotty. Shotty's over here really true that niggas. Then you have six nine who's gonna be like, yeah, we shot at you. You know what I mean? Now, obviously, I don't want to compare uh, Shotty uh, um, um, like six nine, but still. Like, we know sometimes there's some real dudes in those neighborhoods in the streets who's doing it, and then there's the rapper who's rapping about it. How does that, how do you make that make sense? Because now he's gaining a lot of money off of him giving a portrayal and an image to maybe what you're living. That's my friend. I'm going to protect him. It's my friend. My loyalty to him. How are you getting paid? Like, that's what I'm saying. How I'm getting paid? Yeah. I believe in him. When he make it to where he need to pay, when he make it to where he need to go, he a, like, you know what I'm saying? He a human being. I'm a real nigga. Like, real niggas do real nigga shit. So when you get to where you need to be, make sure I'm all right. I'm putting my life on the line for you. I don't even got to explain it, though. Like, you know it. You, we all know it. Every room we in, they know it. So it's like, if you don't play fair with me at the end, you going to look wild. That's why he look wild. His career is on the down and mine on the up. I don't even got to rap. I can talk all day out past Shy Glizzy with the millions of views and the following. I'm the biggest Glizzy right now. I'm the most relevant Glizzy right now. Well, I thought they said they had to kick you out the glizzy game. And that's now, what he kind of like almost alluded to. Man, I'm gonna have to put my old, old interview up. I, he... I just cracked jokes. I never got kicked out of the glizzy game. First of all, I never got into it with Shot to even get out the glizzy game. This just started to show you how much of a goofy he is. I could tell the story, I don't even care. Good. A guy from his neighborhood, a young guy from his neighborhood, and a young guy from my neighborhood. Our, first of all, we glizzy gang. So our neighborhoods hang with each other. Like his neighborhood being my neighborhood, my neighborhood being him because of us, because of who he is. So we all mutual with friends. At least that's what I thought. One of my friends went up his neighborhood with one of his little younger guys. They took a gun from him. I call shout like, bro, get that pistol back, bro. Just they get. took a gun from him. They took a, my little man from oh, around my way. You lent him type shit. No, my little man went up their way. He had a, he had a pistol on him up his way. They and confiscated it. Like they, yeah, they snaked him out and took the gun. Like took the gun and sent him back around my way for no reason. I don't know what the reason was. I didn't even care about that. I don't care about the robbery. So you trying to say that Shy got punked? No, Shy had nothing to do. with Oh, this. okay, okay, okay. I was about to this say this is the story. I got some. All right, my homeboys. All right, me and Shy hang together. So my homeboys and his homeboys hang together too Because me and Shy hang together So his homeboys hang with my homeboys Yeah my, One of my homeboys hang in his neighborhood Like my homeboys hang in his neighborhood His homeboys hang in my neighborhood it's, it's vice versa One of my homeboys one day went up his neighborhood And when his and his guys from his neighborhood took a gun from him I didn't call up there and be mad at them about it or not. I'm mutual with them I can call up there and ask them why they did it and all that But I didn't do all that I called Shy I told him Shy somebody, I didn't even care about what happened Like we passed that, me yeah, and him. Yeah, yeah. Bruh, such and such took such and such. Just get it back, bro. Once you get it back to me, I get it back in whatever way it is. We'll figure it out. He like, all right, I'm going to call you back. Days went on. He's spending me. I can't even get in contact with him because I guess he don't know how to play it. I guess he can't get it back because he don't got that much pull on his block. He's not who he say he is for real. These young guys are really out here in the streets. Shaq Lizzy ain't getting no pistol back. They can get he, at this time, he not as big as he is, but he... He a street nigga though. What you mean? He could make some plays. That's what I'm thinking. That's why we fell out. Cause you supposed to make plays to get his back. Not even on the script for getting his back. I can die behind this. Let me tell you how. 
I be with y'all on the weekends. I be on tour with y'all. I hang with all y'all. Y'all just took a pistol from some guys in my neighborhood. So when I go back to off, off tour or whatever I'm with you, I'm in the neighborhood. You guys look at you funny. I'm like looking. You, I'm yeah, playing both okay, sides. Yeah, my yeah, back yeah. door. You left me for dead, bro. Okay, 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 okay. I straight stop hanging with him. He never got that pistol back. And I told him, bro, keep Did that. Did you ever confirm like, yo, yo, bro, yo, we talked about this. You gonna get it back or what? Like, come on, like those are your guys. I talked to him. He said he was gonna get it back. I called him back. He kept spinning me like he kept. I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it back. But time is on, time is on the time because the the hood is like, first of all, who I am in the hood, I'm gonna get it back regardless. They know I'm gonna get it back. Like, I'm gonna get it back because now you playing with me. But I ain't mad at them. I'm mad at him for not allowed it to happen. Our neighborhood's only mutual because of you and me. So anything happened between them, it's between you and me. Yeah, he don't yeah. see it like that because he from Law Merlin, bro. He ain't really from the ghetto to know what the struggle move off of. He don't know the codes in here for real. He learned them as he go. Mm -mm. I'm really living off codes and morals out here, bro. I made it this long. Like, my whole neighborhood is moving off my voice. I just got to because I'm going to be honest. I never heard no Laurel thing when it come to... Uh, nigga. When I was watching Shy come up, I'm like, Shy the realest. So, yeah. So, was you thinking that because the guy's in his background and his image? Or was you thinking that because you really seen him do something or heard him do something? You never heard him or seen well, him do anything. Well, it's kind of like most rappers. If I see you with guys who everybody is saying, oh, look, oh, shit, that's so-and-so. I'm like, oh, damn, if you with the people who decorated, you decorated. But do you know... Them rappers got at least a police report article that match up to that. Shot Glizzy gonna have ten domestic violence. Every time you post Shot Glizzy in the article, the police is in the field. It's, it's a female. It's a female. Every time he in the blogs, it's a female. It's never been nothing gangster. The only thing gangster is him getting his chain taken, and he said it out his own mouth on a phone call. That's the most horrific thing he ever been in his life. I didn't held my best friend dead, bleeding from the mouth. Like I don't know, we two different people. I didn't seen way shit worse than that. A chain getting stolen that means nothing to me. He said that was the worst situation in his life. He got the chain back though. Yeah, money buy anything back. Nigga, he moved to Memphis for a whole week. Yeah, I bet he did. Who seen him there though? Man, this guy. That week was invisible. Show him this guy, man. That was an invisible week. I like that song. That's on fire. Nah, that song was fire. He know every. I'm gonna be honest with you. Shy is the only rapper who got his chain took. I want. I wanted to reverse it because the song was too fire. I like the song. He's a good musician. Hold on, before you start throwing no hate, Shy is an amazing musician. We got to get some credit first. I'm just gonna tell you how he a cop rapper. We mean a cap rapper. I know every pussy itself for DJ Academics. Career hit the bottom, and he came and had to link up with Academics. That's the worst shit I ever seen in my well, life. If he was at the top, if that song would have took him off, he'd have went Lil Baby platform or like bigger. He'd have never did an Academics interview. He going bald, too. We can talk about his alopecia while we on this show, too. Nah, come on, I man. I swear to God, he had a passport since he was a puppy. If you don't know what that means, he been getting that Beijing. You can't go to Beijing without a passport. He been getting that black shit on his head since he was a puppy. They been spraying that shit on his shape but forever. Yo, okay, okay. All right, hold on. All right. Damn. This y'all man's right here? I'm a professional. Every time this nigga drop a video, first of all, don't nobody, when you drop a video and you told my certain shit, don't nobody be like, yo, if I ever see that motherfucker out here, I'm about to do something to him. I don't be true. Because you look like you outside, nigga. They ain't catching me. They won't catch you. I don't be outside no more. I ain't been outside. Like, I left the hood. I made hundreds of thousands of dollars. I never been back to the hood again. I left the hood. I'm not a hood guy. I left that alone. Like, that's why I know real hood guys. Like, guys that really come from the struggle don't want to talk about that. Don't want I don't even want to talk about that image. I just bring it up on YouTube for my shy glizzy. I use it as my advantage now, but just to tell my stories what I could tell. But I ain't no hood time, bro. I mastered the hood. I never been shot. I never been beat up. I never been robbed. Not because I'm untouchable, just because Where I'm blessed. Where were you at the day that he got his chain allegedly taken? That was years after me. I told you stuff like that can't happen to Shaq Lizzie. Like, Shaq Lizzie can't get his chain snatched with me. I'll give you a scenario. Don't you see how they say they asked for a feature and this, that, and the third yeah, one? Yeah. I'm, I'm like a professional security guard. Like, I never got no training for this, but I'm not a surveillance of room. I'm surveillance of room on guard body language. Once they ask him for a feature and I read body language, I'm going to take his chain. I'm going to put his chain in my dip. I'm going to whip out my eye and I'm going to tell him, grab my back pocket. This is a procedure. And we're going to walk to the front of the break, door. Break, door break, 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 break that back down. It, it, why would you have peeped that scenario there? Because Cause that's my job. My job ain't here. I'm not here to dance to a song. I'm not here to get no bitches. I'm not here to nothing. I didn't even put an outfit on to come here and even be professional. I'm only here for one reason. Somebody touch him, just bomb me out. That's it. That's all. 
I'm the crash guy for real at this point. That's one thing I well, I don't like that you were the crash guy, but I like that you're honest about what your role was. Because a lot of times niggas like to be like, yeah, I was I was the nigga pulling the string. I was like the manager. I was making the calls. Yeah. It seemed like you you pretty much accepted that at that point when you were with Sha, you were to make sure that wherever y'all went. Y'all was going to get home safe without incident. I'm going to tell you a story right now, and people can verify this. It was five of us. This is a guy named Five Star, the cameraman. Shot Glizzy girlfriend at the time. My man, White Gold. And uh, Shot Glizzy manager, Benny T. And probably and, uh, Five Star is the pastor's son. He got a he got a rich father that got a big church probably in the DMV. His father, a millionaire. Long story short, it's BT Award weekend, and Shot about to record was Beethoven. The same night, but we stopped at the hotel. So we in the hotel parking lot. The the the, the speakers on the van. We got a Glizzy van that's wrapped in green. The speakers on the van is turned up real loud. We blasting songs, but unmarked cars came in, came to the car. Like they came, we seen them through the front windshield. They flashing the lights, but we were smoking in the car and everything. So we put the weed out and everything. I don't have nothing. I don't even have no money in my pocket. I'm not. I'm shot Glizzy feeding me like when we go out to eat. He paying for everything and everything. So I see Shy in the back going crazy. Like, I can't find a weed. I can't find a weed. I don't even know nothing about no weed or nothing. Like, I can't find a weed. He going crazy. So I'm thinking he found it. We I probably got like 10 minutes before they even open the door. So I'm thinking he found it. I ain't even paying no attention. I'm chilling. Police open the door. Long story short, we on the side of the curb. They searched the van. Shock, this is the only one got weed, though. It's probably like a low ass. It's probably like four grams of weed. His scared ass. He's so scared he could have put it on. He could have put it. In, he could have dunked it in his dip. But he not even a real street nigga. His stupid ass thing. The brother gonna search the car. It smell like weed in here. His dumb ass throw the weed in some some in the truck. They go in there find the weed. We all on the side of the road now. And they about to take us all to jail. Nobody gonna say it's they weed. So we all going to jail. He got his girlfriend about to go to jail. But I told you we went to pass the son. I know his father passed. He ain't even supposed to be shooting no shot glizzy videos. I know he get in trouble about these shot glizzy videos. He about to get locked up, go to jail. Like I see the tears about to come out his eyes. He like, like if if he, I think he talked to the Lord. Like he talking to the Lord in his head. I can see it through his brain. Like save somebody, save me. I'm not tripping off no jail time. I know shot got a couple thousand dollars on him. I seen it. Like I know he got like twenty thousand dollars on him. We just was counting some money. And I know he about to go do a, a jump with Zayto. So I know he gonna bomb me out to change number some weed. They about to put us all in the car. Say officer, that was my weed. I looked at Shad. It's like I didn't even say nothing to him. Like he's a fucking bitch. Like this, bro, it's your girlfriend about to go to jail. Bro, your girlfriend, your manager, bro. You was it understanding that you take all the charges though? I don't take no charges, bro. Nobody take no charges. Bro, some weed. I can see if it was a gun in your career was on the line. This was Shad. Is he up and coming? He ain't nobody at this time. He about to pay Zaytoven for the uh, to record him. <laughs> he ain't nobody at the time to be taking no charges for or nothing like that. But I woulda. But it's like. Yeah, it's my position to take the charge. Man, if I, I took the charge, it's my position to take the charge. I'm not even mad at taking the charge. This is what I'm mad at. Long story short, some months went on. I'm not from Atlanta. The, the charge, it happened in Atlanta. They didn't have nobody to bomb me out, so they used a the cab. A cab, they had towed the van, so they used a the cab. Wait, how long were you locked up for? Probably like one day, the same day. Oh, okay, I bombed yeah. out the same day. But nobody can bomb me out. You got you to gotta have an Atlanta address to bomb somebody out. Really? At that time. Okay. It was probably 2013 or something like that. You had to have an Atlanta address to bomb somebody out. So they supposed to bomb me out, but they ain't had no address. So the cab driver who brung them to the jail, to the bondsman place, end up, they end up paying them some extra money. He ended up using it to bomb me out. So now we got the cab driver credentials. I got to go back to court or they're going to take whatever they're going to take from him. We don't know the cab driver or nothing, but we left him all the information and everything. I go back to D.C. My court date come up. Like a week before the court date, I called Shad like, yeah, bro, you know I got caught for the Atlanta stuff. He's like, all right, bro, call me into the week. Ooh, where we going? I called him on the day before I had court. You know what he told me? Well, I ain't really got nothing to do with that. Niggas ain't take no charge from me. You got to take your own charge, bro. Get yourself back to court. I'm like, bro, I ain't got no money. No what the fuck? I swear to God, academic search my name. I'm going to run Atlanta right now for a 3-5. You lying. I swear to God, my mother. Wait, does he... <laughs> <laughs> to you this serious? day, to this day, I swear to God. So you never went back? Never went back. I never cut him off neither. That was just strike one. I told you I got I, at that point in time. So wait, why not say to him like, bro, bro, you know I took that for like for all of us. Like, come on, dog. I told him that, and he said, hey, nobody take no charge for me. I ain't tell you to do that. No, no, no. That's just mean. That's strike one. Boom. But I'm on. I'm young. I'm like. 15, 16 years old. I'm off drugs. I'm just young. I'm just my friend blowing up. 
I'm gangster I'm more I don't give a fuck I'm living like that I just I've been to juvenile jail I probably got a box on my ankle I probably cut it off To go to Atlanta I don't care I'm just gone I'd have no sense At this time in life I had no sense So it was like I was with it That was just strike one That was just one strike uh, I left it on my mental But then the 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 Something else happened Like some girlfriend shit Like It was my, it was my girlfriend birthday I'm broke as shit in the house I ain't got no money I'm, I don't even got no phone. I'm texting off a fucking Wi-Fi phone. Like, I got a Wi-Fi phone. One of them phone. ones. Damn. I use my girl phone to text Sha. Sha used to talk to my girl 10 years before me prior to my girl. They had, like, a little uh, relationship over the internet. Like, one of them girls, you know, off the internet. Yeah. So I text him on the phone, like, yeah, what you doing tonight? It's Christmas or birthday Christmas. He's like, man, I'm going to the club. I'm going to hit you when we go. He never called me the whole day. Like, Christmas never called me on Christmas. So, Do you know it was you? Yeah, he know it was me. I'm texting him, like... He know I use the other, aunt, I use her aunt. phone. Okay. This aunt, bro, I use the phone. We got whole tech. He know it's me. This me, bro. Yeah, I, uh, this aunt. I'm about to call you off such and such phone. He know I use her phone. We got other messages before this. You know, I just my the number I use because I have no phone. So when I'm not on Wi-Fi, I got to use my girl phone. So boom, I'm texting him. I leave the text and they don't say that's her birthday. It's her birthday. I have no money. She going out with her friends. I ain't gonna stop her on her birthday. She can go do her. Her and Shy end up in the same club, right? Her and Shy end up in the same club. This how I knew something weird, but I just let it go over my head. Shy never told me. No, Shy never told me he went out. She came home and told me she seen Shy in the club. Shy went to a club without me. Come on, man. What's going on? This don't even make sense. Shy went to the club without me. Whoa, 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 whoa. That don't even make sense to me. Long story short, that ain't nothing. Why you think he did that, though? Look, though, I wait till I get to the end of this story, and then you ask this question, because this is the twist. It's her birthday. So I told you it was on Christmas. I ain't go to the club on Christmas. But the next night, she going out the whole weekend. The next night, we going out the following night, too. The next night, Sha Glizzy got a show. Lil Dirk going to be in here, too. Sha Glizzy is in tour with Chicago and Chief Keef at the time. Ooh, so the Lil Dirk shit, he, ain't, he wouldn't dare go in there that night without me. Why not? But it was in D.C., isn't it? Yeah, it's in D.C., but he, can't, he ain't moving without me. He ain't, he ain't moved without me at all. Only reason that night he moved without me because it was like one of them clubs. You don't. It ain't them. It's elegant. It's no. It's no hood. Nothing in there. He been oh, in there fifteen times. He know this joint. His manager damn near own this joint. Like they got a safe back door for him and all that. Like it's rigged for him. Yeah. <laughs> so we go to the club the next night. Lord Dirk in there. He beefing with. He ain't beefing with Lord Dirk, but they got. But a, he into Yeah, Chicago. they got Chicago going on, so he don't know. We get in there. Long story short, Lil Durk and them and us and the people we with all out fight, bro. People getting stabbed, bottles thrown, shit in the air. Like the worstest fight ever. Like shit just going down. Shot, I got shot glizzy on my back pocket. But before the fight even started, this is before the fight even started. So you're in there with him with this one? Yeah, this the next day. After, yeah. This the next day after he was with y'all, after he was with my girl. Yeah. This the next day, but it's her birthday. Sha got a show, so I can take her to this show because it's free. You get what I'm saying? We going out there, it's free. I'm with Sha Glizzy. We going through the door. It's on me. Like this the one the complimentary birthday yeah, yeah, makeup yeah. joke. You feel well, me? You tell her like, yo, nah, this for you, but really you kind of working. Yeah, still. working my thing. Like, yeah, man, yeah. I got, man, we going to the little dirt show. Yeah. The whole time I know this Sha on this show, we going. <laughs> yeah. In there. He know. And I'm security tonight. We got it. Let's go. You double so, duty. Yeah. So I'm trying to work my move. Told you I don't have a phone. I, she calling me from the club, but my 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 phone was on Wi-Fi, so I can't really do. I can get Facetimes on the Wi-Fi. I'm on the, I'm on the club Wi-Fi too. I'm that vicious. Wherever I go, I'm connecting this motherfucker. So Damn, you getting the yo, the club owner give you the Wi-Fi password? Nah, it wasn't even the club owner back in the day. They had the free one. Stop oh, McDonald's. Fuck. And I told you I'm a professional Wi-Fi. I was that fucked up, bro. <laughs> like certain places. That's the nigga that go to McDonald's and he hit everybody up. They get certain places give you free Wi-Fi. <laughs> so, so all right. So I told you she Facetiming me, but I can't really hear because we in the club, and my texts ain't going through because the signal ain't strong enough. Shy, let me see your phone real quick. So she at the door, like, I'm like, Sha, let me get the phone real quick. I'm about to text her, like, yeah, come to the section, we right here. They whole text thread pop up. Stop it! I you're lying. God. I swear to God. Oh, you're lying. I swear to God. No, you lying. I swear to God. It get worse than that, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you over here, like, oh, shit, like, you probably got a got good memory. Oh, you probably look at your phone, like, oh, her number, blah, blah, blah. You type it in. She got a text history with a nigga. I'm reading it. It's all from yesterday. He got pictures of men. They, she, oh, I didn't tell you. I, 
It was her birthday. She said some summer she going to her mother. Some she be home in the morning. She didn't even come home that night. She stayed with him in the hotel. They got the pictures. Yeah, everything yeah, in the nah, phone. I swear nah, to nah, God, nah, I I believe her it. in the hotel nah, room. I, I swear nah, to God, wait, wait, bro. So you trying to tell me? She tells you she see shot in the club. No, because that's dumb on her part though. Because she's telling you she see shot glizzy in the club, but then she said she, I seen shot him last night. Uh, but, but 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 she doesn't say. But she didn't. Call, did y'all live together at the time? She left my house to go to the club. Like she, lived, but she never came back. She live in my house. I live with my mother, but she still got her own house with her mother and shit. But I'm her nigga, so she stay in my house. We trapping it on my blow up bed in the living room. Shy fucking bitch, stop playing. I swear to God, bro. He know he did though. Like he no, ain't gonna he deny the story. She not gonna deny the story. We talk about it. The story is on my I, YouTube channel. You fucking type it in. You see right. a text message thread. Once I saw, this, I get more interesting. I see the text message thread, right? I told you we in the club with Lord Dirk, Lord Dirk and uh, Lord Dirk and uh, Shaq Lizzie. We in the club and they got the Chicago stuff going on. As I'm reading the text thread. She must have made it through and see where we at. She walking to us. I can see her through all the people. I can see her walking. But I'm showing Sha the text messages. I'm trying to give him his phone back. Now he don't even want his phone back. Like now he just, I'm in the club, the music playing and all that. He Like now he just see the text message. He looking in the text message just like, and I got his phone. Now he like. Wait, are you confronting him like your brother? No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just turning the phone like this. I just got the Why phone like this. Why you like confronting that nigga? We in a club. Okay, a lot of shit going on. You and it's, they little Dirk and them over there. I got the men right here and all that. I can, I'm going to see Shaq Lizzie again. We leaving together. I, was yeah. gonna, I can address this anywhere. This yeah, is, yeah. I can. I can I'm not gonna, first of all, I'm not going to jeopardize all of us for a female. That'd be ridiculous. That's some emotional intelligence. I know a lot of niggas who they, they crash out right there. Well, fuck the, that. This is why I couldn't crash out. I told you as I'm showing them this. Somebody beside me get hit in the head with a bottle. The fight go off on the break. I got to pin shy phone in his pocket. Now I got to stuff his phone in his pocket. It's like God did it. At the same time I'm showing the phone, the fight kicked off. I swear to God, as I turned the phone, the fight kicked off straight there. He could, he could barely read the text message. He was just reading the bottle. <laughs> nah. I swear to God. I see why Sha hates you, nigga. You tell these these stories were supposed to be to the grave. <laughs> no, and the story keeps going on, though. It keeps, it, it, like, it don't end. So, Bay, I, well, first of all, well, I gotta put this in perspective. So you tell me some Chicago niggas come to DC. They was with some other DC guys. Oh, there was some other DC. Did y'all get along with those other DC guys or not? No, but they they <coughs> they, they they was they 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 was like club promoters at the time. Like they had pool in the city too. They had little guys from. But it's the not city like that. Everybody was beefing with them, but there was some other guys type shit. We wasn't beefing with them, but if you running with them, you we you know good. We, yeah, yeah, we know okay. what it is. Damn. So niggas get hit in the head with a bottle. You just realize. At that point, did you know like your shots fucking my bitch? Yeah, of course. That's that's strike two. C- could you really protect a nigga when you know that nigga is punching dick in your girl's stomach? I was a kid though. Maybe right, maybe right, right now when you grown and shit. That's like that teenage love and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's like that ain't that serious shit. I ain't had shit though. Like you feel a broke ass nigga bitch getting fucked. Like you was prepared for that. Like when you broke and shit, you have nothing else. Like come on, you know your bitch gets something. You just don't want to know. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I was that broke. I was so broke, I knew my bitch was fucking. I just ain't want to know if that makes sense. But that's the kicker. So they throw the bottles, the fight break off, everything. I'm talking about the whole club going, man, they people getting stabbed. I'm talking about this one of the biggest club fights in D.C. Are you in, are you in shy squabbling back to back on some lethal weapon Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker shit? Fuck no. Y'all both squabbling. I'm getting beat on the top of the head. I'm not swabbling. Like, I, I'm trying to swabble, but I'm getting beat on. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I'm getting, I'm getting handled a little bit. Because it's like, it's grown men. I'm a kid. I'm like 15, 16. It's grown men. It's like, I live a different type of lifestyle. In here trying to fight. I'm like a buck 30. What's going on? So I tell, I tell Sha, get behind me. Sha, get behind me. I put his phone in his pocket. I say, man, fuck that, bro. Get behind me. I say, man, I say, fuck that. Slam his phone in his pocket. I say, man, fuck that. And I gave him the face. Like, man, just get behind me, bro. So he get behind me. I tell him, grab it. He grabbed it back in my pocket, like the side of my pocket, bro. Just hold my pocket. Wait, wait, that's actually a thing. Like, hold my pocket? Yeah, yeah like, because I'm going to lose him in the crowd. It's a crowd. If he ain't hold my pocket, what the fuck? How the fuck else? I need my hands to fight. So you got to hold something. Hold the back of the side of my pocket. Bro. I thought that was the same. Niggas don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, somewhere. I don't know where it came from, but not. So, Shockless, he's holding your pockets. You over here trying to get it in, even though you say them niggas is they way older, way bigger than you, but you try. Yeah, and we and we don't know how we getting out because it's so they fighting like towards the front door, and there's so much made it. We can't go to the front door, but I told you, Shockless, manager, 
like a club promoter, so he know the emergency exits, he know the club owners, he mingles through here, he know the stuff about the club we don't know, the behind the scenes. I swear, a light lit up like a like God came in there, like, you ever seen that, Joan? Ooh. It was one of them moments, I swear. <coughs> like a back kitchen light to the side, all the way to the left, and I seen Benny flag his hand like, hey, y'all, come on. I heard that voice over the music and everything. It's like, man, I swear. So now I'm like, all right, I got to get shot to the door. We, we, it's going down, we rumbling, we getting back, it's like we make, trying to make it to the door, boom, we swabbling, we trying to make it to the door. Shot lose his shoe, like he got Louis Vuitton shoe, he lost his shoe, I swear he got one shoe on him, he like, my shoe, I said your shoe, I keep saying to myself, your shoe, and I'm looking up there, I'm just looking at people like, your shoe, I'm like, shit. All right, bro. I walk him to you the not, door. You, you concerned about the shoe? I go, this is a lawyer shoe, I go back, I'm a lawyer friend, I go back and get a shoe, though. I'm gonna tell you, I went back oh, and got a shoe. Shit. <laughs> I put him right there by Benny and shut the door. Now they behind the door. I go back. So I swear I'll get to shoot. Throw me a couple punches. I got hit wait, on the wait, head. Wait, 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 wait. So, nigga, this sounds like some secret services. So you're saying you go get a nigga shoot, throw the shit back there. He back there. The door's locked. It's like the zombie apocalypse, but you with the zombies. No, hey, I, I wasn't with the zombies. No, fuck no. I only was with the zombies when I went back to get the shoe. I ain't throw the shoe back there. When I went back with the shoe, yeah. I went with the shoe the second time. Like, I went with the shoe. Oh, okay. okay. So, so you left after that? Yeah. Like, we oh, left. Okay. We went down the emergency exit. Down the back door. That's because, and now the club over. And the, I can't say this, the empire, but I'm going to shop it a little bit. But now the club over, and everybody coming out, it's like people, endless people just coming. They coming. They just coming. They just coming down. Like, the guys that we got into it with, they celebrating, like, on the side street. They just celebrating, jumping around. Like, this is yeah, Chicago man, niggas be, or D.C. niggas? It's probably D.C. and Chicago mix. I don't, can't really tell at this time. I'm frustrated. I got beat on over to give fuck who these is. Like, Are you bleeding shit? I don't even really remember. I wasn't bleeding, probably scratched up from adrenaline, but nothing serious. It is in any of these situations, are you thinking, because th this is like the biggest fear. It's like, it's one thing like a little squabble squabble. It's another thing like your nigga knock you out and like you are in la la land and niggas just having their way at you. No, uh, nobody. It was just like, it was like more grabbing and aggressive. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I told you my girlfriend was in there too, so I had- Where to, your girl at then? I took her to the door too. Like she with us too. Like we all to the door. Like uh, you, you should have threw her to the wall. Was with Spartan kick. Nah, get the fuck I out of here, bitch. You fucking my mans. This is the kicker. I get her to the door. Boom. Now we all to the door. How we got to the club and all that. Now we back at the car. But I told y'all, the people from in the club, the guys we just got into it with, they on the side street. They like 60 deep. They having a blast. I can hit them out the car windows. Like, like now the car windows, like, I can just hit them, like, yelling, like, huh, we just fucked them niggas up. Glitz game. They don't even know. We made it out the side door. Back street. We can hear that shit, like, coming down the street. So... We hop in the car. Long story short, we hop in the car. As we hop in the car, we in the car. We in a low ass car. My girl in the back seat, another person, shy, and the driver. So now all three of us in the back seat. She don't know I seen these text messages. Shy Lizzie know I seen these text messages. All three of us in the back seat right now. That's some Megan Tory shit right there. That's the kicker. Long story short, I'm a I'm a I'm a blur pot out. Some shots went off. Boom, boom. What? Some, some, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just heard. Did y'all get out of the car? Yeah, yeah, still in the car. I don't even remember. It was a blur to me. Yeah. I just know some shots went off, and then Shock Lizzie got so motherfucking scared. He said, "Let me out right here. Just let me out right here. I'm gonna get my mother come pick me up. Take me home. I swear to God. No, we, you lie. We nah, dropped Shock Lizzie off. No, no, we, no, shot, no. we dropped Shock Lizzie off six blocks away from the club. No, he ain't said let me out. Let me. He was but, scared as shit. Stop it. Just think about this. I, you know what I just found in the phone? Yeah. Him, my girl, and he don't know how I feel about the situation. We ain't even get to talk about it or nothing. The fight happened, so this is the first time we we just sitting in the car. Now it's like, huh. It was, but now we at the car. If I told you I'm at security, so now if I'm security and security is now secured, how he thinking? Oh, you about to get on his ass type shit. <laughs> Let me out the car, though. <laughs> That's why he got out of the car early. <laughs> Let me out. Did he get out of the car? Yeah, so just six blocks away from the club. He said, "Why you tell me like, nah, nigga, we ain't getting out of the car right now?" Because I ain't really want to scam. I, 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 I had bigger, bigger plans. I ain't really want to scam. So what the fuck is your your girl have no idea? She on oh she have no clue. Till we get in the house and and I tell her what went on, what, what happened, and all that. But I had to give her the P Diddy treatment. What the fuck is you doing, Shorty? She was shaking up from the gunshots and shit. So oh shit, I forgot niggas was firing gunshots. I don't know. Who I ain't gonna lie, that's a crazy story. You hear gunshots, yo, let me out right here. My mom finna go pick me up anyway. I think she five minutes away. Like, that's crazy. Okay. That's strike two. Strike two, but it's an important strike. Mm -hmm. So, do, do you forgive Shorty or it's a wrap? 
You young, so you, you you might be like, you know what? I'm broke as shit. We still kicked it for probably about pussy was good. Yeah, pussy torch, head torch. I don't know what's going on. Probably the first girl that ever <laughs> ate me and ate, ate a nigga all the way up and all that. I'm lost and I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that shit go. Uh, okay, you see Shaw after that. What's the next time you see him after that? Because now he probably thinking, I don't know if this nigga next time I see him, he gonna be just trying to like do something to me or I got to get a read on him. Probably, we talked about it. Like first of all, we t- we talk we talk like days. We didn't see each other for days. We talked for like days, like texting and all that. He he, I guess he was trying to figure me out or whatever. Like how I feel, but he know me. I'm not no backdoor type. First of all, he know me in and out. Like I ain't no backdoor type of nigga. I'm gonna meet you if I'm fucking. I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you. I'm gonna tell you I don't fuck with you. I ain't about to sneak you or nothing like that. Yeah. You will know what it is, but it wasn't no nothing. We we overdid it, and but he was just telling me like. Leave that bitch, bro. You like leave that bitch. Fuck that bitch, bro. If I fucked her, the fuck, like leave her, bro. Nobody give. Bro. I understood it though. It's like, bro, that's not gonna be your only girlfriend. Like, you want some tender dick love and shit, like, bro. Fuck that bitch. He made it make sense to me though. But it was wild on the loyalty part, but on the girl female part, I'm glad it happened though. Cause it could have happened. Damn. It was gonna happen regardless. I'm just glad it happened. How are you looking at him at this point? Because here's the I'm thing. Too, I'm in too deep. To, I'm in too deep to let that. I'm in too deep to let a female. I'm, because I'm, I'm here, too far in. here's the thing, it's one thing if he had came to you and said, "Yo, you, you know this happened with your chick." The mere fact you had to find out by yourself, it's almost like he was concealing from you too. He didn't give a fuck if you found out, and the mere fact you did find out by accident, you know, now he gotta bring it back. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. So you go back around him after that. Yeah, I just end up back around and we just end up we let that shit go. He probably brung some bitches around and took my mind off of it. That's the you know how you get right. like, bring some, place one bitch with another bitch. Okay, that go makes to sense. Studio, bring some bitches around. Nigga going out of town, all the bitches around. I'm just I'm living my life though for real. Like my girlfriend really a shithead compared to what he was throwing me on the road, so it'll look like Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's just how I played out. Idiot though. That was an idiot. I was young. I was retired. I was, I was retired. Second strike. Definitely second strike. When we get to the third, you gonna understand it. What happens next? That's just it on that situation. Like that situation. That was it. Are you? At, like, ain't gonna lie. At, say everything is good. Are you telling him like your shot? Listen, man. First of all, you got a lot of issues. This and third with other niggas. Yo, we can't be in no situation where like we not moving right because because now it, this is a risk. You know what I mean? And you got to realize you got to stand on everything he's saying or he's rapping or what people think. Or you kind of looking at him like, yo, bro, we got to start doing some other shit to make sure we good. Nobody believe him, though. But y'all, like, the outsiders, like, in the city, nobody thinks Shaq Lizzy. <laughs> nobody in the city thinks Shaq Lizzy, like, no tough guy. I don't know nobody that'll say Shaq Lizzy tough. Unless they walk in the studio with Shaq Lizzy, they train and say that. Like, who the fuck thinks Shaq Lizzy tough? Do you think he tough? Like, all jokes aside, academics, from the day he dissed you in the cutting video to the day he sat down right here in this studio chair, if that door locked and it was just you and him, you'll fuck him up, and you know that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I never look at rappers like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. I never look at rappers about... First of all, a lot of rappers, they're, they're usually short. It's like, with a lot of rappers, it's short niggas that have, like, a complex. That's why they're good at rap. I never look at them on some stature shit... I look at them and, yo, who knows? Some, sometimes niggas who be like short, this and that, they be having something to prove. Them niggas might have shot at or flocked at a bunch of niggas in their hood. Nigga, this ain't only escape. Like, put it like this. Never met him a day in my life. Whenever he get out, Pooh I see, I believe he like that. I'm sorry. Like, again, if I went around him, and I've never been around him. If I, if I got around him, I'm like, oh, shit. Damn, you don't seem like that. Now, here's the thing. When when Sha came here, also like it's a different type of he's not coming here with aggressive energy. He's like, yo, we on a different type of vibe, this and third. The only thing with Sha, I always like kind of looked at him like, why his city trying him? But then I thought maybe he was just hating ass niggas. Like he too rich, niggas is broke, niggas want him to give him some money. Academics, hold on. That's oh my God. I love being here, bro. It's like, first of all, let me tell you. I watched you, so me being here, I'm like not in the moment that I realize like I'm here. I got questions for you too, cause you just uh, run them down on me. Yeah. 
Don't you do first You saw my Shy Glizzy Rich This and that You do first week sales You the only person I know do that Go look at Shy Glizzy First week sales If the motherfucker's over three If he sell over 300 copies His first week I pay you Okay Now you're right about that But what I would say is He might be getting it Busy in the hood Like busy listen in- I know mad rappers They not charge no more But They them niggas from, from From where they from Shit moving And they still gonna look lit They not gonna look broke Shaq Glizzy take a picture on Instagram once a month or once every two months and he buy an outfit, he take a picture in it and he take the outfit back and do his thing. No, he don't. He don't All right, let me give you a scenario. Bro, we are from Southeast Washington, D.C. This is the crummiest place in D.C. Like, this is the lowest of the totem pole. If anybody in the world know that, this is the story I'm trying to tell y'all. Shaq Glizzy said he had a Richard Millie. He did the Richard Millie. If anybody from Southeast Washington, D.C. bought a Richard Millie the way we was born, we're going to show you from the day we walked out the house to the way we got the money <laughs> to when we bought it from, the jeweler. We gonna, you man, that, man, I'm, you going to see the whole process. This is a Richard Millie we talking about. <laughs> First of all, we're going to show you the Balenciaga box with the receipt. So I know what we're going to do to a Richard Millie. You're going to see us count this money 76 times. Everything. It's going to make sense. We're not about to go in there just pop up with the ice cream. <laughs> Truck with a Richard Millie. I'm not believing it. <laughs> but still, I, I mean, you know, I don't want to assume how he, like, but, but Shaq Glizzy ain't got more money than me, and we can put it on the record. And, and we off the record, put it on the record. Shaq Glizzy ain't got more money than me, bro. Where did we get money from? I thought Shaq, Shaq Glizzy had a lot of bread because he, he had like some little, he has, his girl looked like she was an expensive type of chick he had to. That's why she left him. She was too expensive and he pulled a Quavo trying to get the G-Wagon back. She ain't giving back. Caught him. She and hot. Yo, stop. <laughs> Yo, Come wait, on, wait, I, you know what's wait, going wait, on. No, man. wait, nah, wait, 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 wait. What? The girl from Love and Hip Hop who he dated that got the G-Wagon. Shaq Glizzy just went to jail for that. You ain't see him in the blogs. He was on your blog. They caught him in the G-Wagon at the, uh, the Target for domestic violence. And the girl got the restraining order. I'm gonna I'm be okay. M- maybe it's because I met him and I like, away, bro. No, well, I, I feel like maybe some of these incidents with females are overblown. They're trying to get a bag out of him. I ain't giving him no credit. What bag is you getting out of him? Like his brother, damn near curry bags. Like what bag? Where's the bag at? All right, Mister Shockers, if you got the money, where's it at? Because I'm calling your bluff. I've been geeking for a platform that's big enough to talk. What? Where's the bag at? He hang with popular people, famous people, bro. His mother. All right, you bought a hundred. You fuck with me. You fuck with. Do that mean you got them? money? I mean, they be partying together, be on the club, like everybody busting down, like mad jewelry, mad money, like shit. You ain't happen. never seen them bust down no money. You seen them? You ain't never seen. That might have been Meek or Richard Milley though. Yeah. That's his little homie. I be assuming that. All right, hold on. Let, let me not because I don't want to be hot about like that. It's not about Shaq Lizzie, but anytime I see a nigga shining and I know I ain't see a record on the billboard recently, I'm like, oh, that nigga moving weight, man. He doing his thing. He scamming. He doing something. I don't know what niggas be doing, but I be assuming money is being gotten. I don't assume niggas is broke. Shaq Lizzie signed a 300 for what? $250,000? How long ago was that? How long does it take you to spend $250,000? Beyonce did sing a song a lot of times. Huh? Beyonce sung a song. Beyonce sung the song? Yeah. All right, so Beyonce sing the song. It's the credentials, or I meant the residuals going to 300 or Shaq Lizzie pockets. He sold his rights to it. That's the reason of a contract, right? He got paid up front. I mean, that could be. I would hope he didn't do that. And he was on the joint with, um, what's that dude name? Gold Link? Yeah. Got money all around me. He's a 300 artist. 300 got paid for that. That's who cleared that, that for that verse to be on there. 300. Okay. Now, now this is not be funny. He he could perform anywhere in D.C., though. Come on. like Perform? Cl- like Club Blitz going to put that in the air all the time. For what? 1,500? Ain't no 1,500. 15,000. Stop playing. Ain't, hey, listen to me. I'm from Washington, D.C. Club Blitz. Ain't got 15,000 for Shaq Glizzy. I get, man, call Blitz owner right now. I get him on the phone. I, I swear I know somebody that know him personally. Ain't 15,000 for Shaq Glizzy. Fuck out of here. Okay, what's strike three? Because I got to realize, why the fuck? Because somebody gets strike hey, Give me a little bit more Bacardi because I got to figure out strike three. We got to get really into this because we ain't get to a couple of things. Yeah. Bring me some Bacardi and I need to hit strike three. What's going on? I wasn't really going I wasn't really going to curry him. Strike three was when he tried to sue me for the glizzy name. He ain't sue you, man. He took me to court. Cease and assist. Man, show me the paperwork. Well, like, he sued you. It's from years ago. It's in one of my videos, scared ass. Like the whole world knows. It's all everything documented, everything received. The world knows. Why would he sue you? 
for using the glizzy name because I dropped the mixtape. I dropped the mixtape. I threw after after me and him fell out. I dropped the mixtape. I had the biggest mixtape, one of the biggest mixtapes in DC history. Like literally, Bob Son One. It's my first mixtape I ever dropped in my life. I never was a rapper. That joint did millions on what's that? Spinrella. It was Spinrella because it wasn't even no screaming platforms out there. So he sued you. Yeah. I don't know how it works. Is street niggas suing? Is that like legit or not? I never knew, bro. I didn't even. You know You sue I, people before? No, I don't even know. I sue. I uh, I uploaded a song to uh. I just learned how to upload the Pro Tools back in the day. I know damn well I ain't know how to sue. I didn't even know he could sue me for or try to sue me for the glizzy name, but it didn't work out because I got a time stamp. Like I got a video of him out his mouth, our first ever interview before rap or anything. This is the Glizzy Gang. It was me, him, and Rose Glizzy. Like. We started that together, bro. He, there's nothing he can say. He can't even take the name from me. He, if he take the name, I'm still gonna be. It's no, it's no replacing me. Okay, but something had to happen before the lawsuit where y'all st- because it looked like you forgave him for him smashing your girl, all that stuff. When did y'all the stop pistol. moving together? The pistol after the pistol. After the young, the boys from the neighborhood took the yeah, the yeah, gun, yeah. That's okay. when I stopped hanging. Oh. The the we Atlanta <clears throat> shit was first. So let me ask you a question: Were you also? It wasn't a nothing about money. You're not looking at it like yo man. Hell no, nah, Shaq Lizzo owe me a dollar. Just really, the, just the opportunity that he gave me to just see what I seen in life. Like I can give him some credit now, though. Not sound like a hater. He's smart. Like far as like he like an A and R for real. Like he's smart. He know the next talent that's gonna blow before it blow. He can t- he can tell you. Your, like he could tell you your future before you know your future for us to rap. Like he sat in the kitchen with me, me, him, and Young Thug, we sat in the kitchen. He sat there and gave Thug the highest up credentials in the world. I'm looking at Shaq Lizzy like he crazy. Years later, that man turned into everything Shaq Lizzy told me he was going to be in that kitchen. Like mm. me, him, and we talking at the kitchen. Thug got chipped tooth just in the middle of Pee Wee Long Way House, not doing nothing. I don't know who he is. He sounded Gucci man. I barely even know his name. I don't know none of his songs or nothing. Shot just giving him all this credit, like just all this credit, and I'm just thinking in my head like Shot Dick Ryan, right? but he turned out to be Young Thug, and Thug was believing in himself. He was saying, "Yeah, I know such and such." He was just waiting on Gucci to come home, and the rest was history. And Trinidad James before that gold all in my chain, gold all in my wife. He was with Shot Lizzy probably two months before then. I, I felt maybe some <clears throat> inner beef in the DMV area may have fucked up shit, like in terms of um. Wasn't I into it with like Fat Trail them or much of it? I was into it with Fat Trail. I'm like, I was with well, anything back in them days from Chad Lizzy getting into it with anybody. That was all me. Like when I when me and Chad Lizzy fell out, he went and squashed all them beats like publicly. Like he went and shook their hands like it was over. He had no muscle. There's no way he can go to war with them people. He left that shit to me. But I was only getting into them because of Chad Lizzy, so they left it alone. They don't really want no trouble with me anyway. Especially not no fucking Fat Trail. But Fat Trail, no nah, Fat Trail, like he about it. He. I've been carrying that nigga all month. You could tell him I said it. Matter of fact, y'all go follow Fat Trail. He needed y'all go turn it. He just got released, right? Go turn him up. He been home a couple times. We ain't giving no niggas no shout outs for no DUIs. I act that man went to jail for DUI. I thought, like he did. He real, I thought he was, was shooting. Shooting who, where, what, huh? Fat Trail looks scary. I ain't gonna lie. Looks may be deceiving. Big bitch. Fat Trail? Cold bitch or my granny. You know he gonna see this, right? And I don't want nobody to say I missed the game because, nigga, I've always just looked at. I'm putting them on, though. Like, me saying this name going to get them some views and all that. He ain't on the A, bro. They know what's up with me. Like, I swear to God. Like, not even on no games time. I'm not on games time. I'm not even here for games time. Y'all not pushing that. I'm pushing just, I'm, I'm, I'm living better in life. Y'all. I like this. Hey, what I, was, what I was sad about, and I want to hear your opinion about it. So, you know, obviously some stuff happened with, with, with Shy. And then when Shy was coming back, I remember Shy going on the gram and he was upset. He said, yo, he was trying to get like a verse clear from Uzi. And like, I guess people weren't clearing it like that. And, and, and I knew what was happening. The industry, all them guys he used to hang with, they're looking at him different than how they used to look at him before. Before they're looking at him, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We all popping bottles in the club, but still we looking at you like, yo, you popping, you hot, whatever, whatever. You cool off a little bit. We looking at you like, how the fuck we use you? So, you know, benefit to us. You know, you've been around, you were around when he was cool with Meek and other people. Mm-hmm. Um, what were those relationships like? <clears throat> Far as him and Meek? Mm-hmm. Shout out type of person. He going to use a person to get to the next situation in life. So it don't matter who it is. Him and Meek built a bond off of 
it all all of it really starts from like competition. It's like lead up the ladder. I can show you how the ladder started. It go from Wale, right? Did you see how Shy hang with Wale? Wale don't really bump with Meek all like that. You feel what I'm saying? So Meek yeah, can be that. petty and pull up his younger. You know what I'm saying? Now they start a relationship. Meek more popping at this time than Wale. So Shy on relationships harder than loyalty. So he gonna jump to the next relationship like a female. So now he had Meek Mills and see like he had Meek Mills and shit. So before he even got to the Meek Mills relationship, he had a relationship with AI Ab too. That was his homeboy. Like we used to go to really? Philly. Yeah, we used to go to Philly every weekend. We damn near live with them people. So I'm talking about we with them every day. I used to sit in the back of the studio and hear him talk about Meek Mills to AI Ab. Like they used to have a blast about how Meek ain't the street and they just sometimes having conversations and shy go hang with him a year later. Like I start kicking with him and straight just cut AI Ab off. I'm like, oh, but I ain't even never go that route. I said, AI Ab ended up coming to my neighborhood when he came to D.C. Like, he came back to D.C. He playing football in my neighborhood. It's all documented on YouTube. He ain't going to mess with no Shaq Glizzy. And he go do a show and say, the realest. I'm with, I'm in D.C. with the realest. Aunt Glizzy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You had said something on YouTube about some backdoor Meek Mill Wale shit. Explain that story. I'm in the studio one day. I don't really know Meek and Wale into it. Like, I'm a fan of it for real. I only see what Shy, whatever Shy get up on, and I'm only going to see that part of it. So I might see something like, oh, but I'm not, I don't have a platform at all to even say nothing and tell nobody this. I maybe can tell a couple friends in the neighborhood, but fuck is that? How far is that about to go? So I don't even tell nobody. We in the studio one day, we just chilling. And then Shy and Wale was talking. I guess Meek did something to Wale or something. He just was talking, just like talking like, I hate that nigga, son, son, son. We should do something to that nigga. Like, what do you think of him? Just talking in general. I ain't going to try to go into detail. So, Shy was like an enforcer. So, like, Wale is, is coming to him with his problems, and Shy is saying, I could fix that. Nah, sh not even that. Shy be around street guys. Wale don't got no street backing at all. Like, he don't even know nobody from the street. Like, he, like, I don't even know how Wale got on. On those. <laughs> Like, nah, for real. Because uh -huh. Wale hit you up, bro. I know he got to be mad at you. Nah, he ain't gonna hit Wale no gangsta. I used to protect him too, bro. Yeah, but it's, it's Wale now. Like, he might be like, yo, bro, I'm rich as fuck now, nigga. You can't talk about me like that. Fuck that man. Hey, I, this Rolex right here put Wale ass in the same box this joint came in. You hear me? I ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait. So, okay, okay. So, actually, no, no. Let me go to the Wale story. Because this story is so wild. What are your thoughts? And you break the story down. You're in the studio. And Diddy walks in. Oh, I was hearing you tell the story. You didn't realize even at first it was Diddy until afterwards. Explain the story. And I, and I call Cap on one particular part. Shy did not act like he was in the bathroom while he was sitting next to you. Shy, say it again. You you said Shy was like yo when he was telling what it was like yo while he was asking Wally like yo yo what happened oh I wasn't here while he was right next to you the whole time watching. I don't believe that. I swear to God, like what are you going? To, first of all, Wale didn't come straight out the room though. Like don't you know how I say it happened with Diddy in the water? Wale probably came out an hour later, like because it's Pete. I oh, right, we in the studio. No, wait, 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 start off. So you're in the studio. You walk in. Do you immediately? No, Cassie. Like, are you knowing the people you're seeing? I don't know her at all. I was prepped on this though to know who she was. Before we got to the studio, we was in a spot. Before we got to the studio, while they told us, like, it's a girl named Cassie, such and such. Diddy don't really like, like, he overprotective of her. This about any any male though. The whole industry, the male industry, anybody. They could be the engineer, anybody. So he prepping us like he don't even really want us around each other. But we making music. But he, I'm like, hey, fuck her, did he? Nah, they wasn't on no sex shit. It wasn't. I don't oh, know, bro. I wasn't. It back looked then. like they was just trying to it work. Was, it was just music. It wasn't no. It yeah, wasn't. Yeah, yeah. It was, I don't feel like they was on no no weird shit. Cause like they could have been though. I wasn't back. I wasn't back there to see that part. But I doubt it. It was yeah. more. It was music. I wasn't getting that vibe. So he told us, and I'm like, why the fuck is, I, I'm in my head, I'm like, why the hell would he tell us this before? Like, we just some little ass kids for real, about to go to the studio with y'all. Like, so we get in the studio, we chilling, we in there. Wale back there, she back there. I only know this is Cassie because Wale prepped us before we got there. If he'd have said this was Christina Aguilera, I would have been like, all right, the girl's Christina Aguilera. <laughs> yeah, I'm just putting yeah. the name with the girl he prepped us on. Yeah. So I see some people come through the door, but it's like, we in, we in like we, we in like a vibe in like this. 
if you ain't here, you ain't here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody from the outside world. You had to be tapped in to get in here. They come through the door. I just see big ass people, like big ass people, black shirts. I can't really see who beside them, but I know it's I know it's a security detail. I'm I told you I'm a security detail myself in my head. So I see this, I know it's security, but I can't see who it is he got a head on and they going towards the back. I can't really tell. But as they keep going farther and I get a whiff, I see what's going on. Now when I see what's going on, I said that's Diddy. I don't even know how the fuck they know we in here. But this is the crazy part about it all. Now that I replay it in my mind. The engineer stood up and walked out, like, calm and collectively. He ain't tell nobody nothing. He ain't say nothing. He ain't say run with it. He, he just walked out the room. As slow as possible. Like, ain't nothing. Like, I still thought shit was regular the way he walked out. Like, he just seen it, and he walked out. But he played it like it was nothing. Like, just a regular walkout. Like, he just going, he better come right back. So now, and I'm looking like, mm. So now I see his Diddy, and they go back there. But I told you, we was already prepped on what's going on. So now we see Diddy. We know he back there with that girl, and he jumping. He coming here with these two big ass niggas, and they moving aggressively, like they on aggressive time. He ain't saying nothing. He ain't saying no words. How but, bigger are they than you at that time? Huge ass niggas, like huge steroid taking niggas, like, uh, football player tackle, left tackle ass niggas, like big ass <laughs> niggas. I'm a kid. One of these niggas punch me and hurt me type <laughs> shit. Like. So they go to the back. As they go to the back, all I hear is. Do, 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 do. The do, 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 do made me and Shy sit up and run and look, but we can slice some blinds. Like, you ever seen, like, yeah, no, I, the I, blinds? I, yeah. We we just look the blinds by where we can see it. It's a studio, but outside the studio, it's like a balcony. You can smoke right there, chill right there, do whatever, but you can hang off the ledge of that motherfucker, too. I swear to God, I went to the studio with Wale. I know what type of shoes he had on, bro. I seen the shoes. I even complimented him on the shoes, bro. Wale be having some good, like, I remember he came in everyday struggle. He had some exclusive shit on. That's how I knew them was his feet. I identified him by the shoes in the air. I swear to God. And just like. So you ain't even see his face. Like, his face is dangling down. No face. All you see is shoe and you hit. All right. What is Diddy saying to him? Yo, Playboy. We can't hear nothing. It's oh, no yeah. sound. It's oh. no sound. It's no sound. I, he, I know he's in there probably giving it that. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. No, nah, for real. You about to take that fall? I'm telling. You. Take that gravity. Holy. Oh, that's crazy. So, so, so wait. Nothing in you said, yo. Maybe you should be like, yo. Everything good out here? Like academics. The person I'm here with. We are safe. We are here. It's have nothing to do with us. We come from the hood. Mind your business. Like, this ain't that. And they hanging them. And I'm to myself. I know, first of all, them hanging them was a little bit scary to me because I was saying to myself, I know they not going to kill them because there's no way y'all can just walk in this studio building. Nobody had masks on like, and just go back there and kill somebody. So I'm not thinking he's going to die. So it ain't really like no urge to say nobody. Why like, he sag his pants? Because you don't have a nigga sagging their pants. He might just fall out the pants. No, I don't think he ain't had no saggy pants that day. He ain't had no saggy pants. They so, like, he's vertical? By ankles, like, he, by his ankles. Oh, they got him by the ankles type shit. Yeah, he upside down. No, You can't see his head. All you see is his shoes and hands. Maybe they were doing, like, a workout type shit. You know, you do, like, rever- uh, upside down crunches. All I'm telling you is, if you don't work out over top of a balcony. <laughs> yeah. Aggressive fitness. Mm. And this would, and this had this. Is would, Diddy holding a leg or he's just kind of sitting there watching? Nah, Diddy just watching. I don't know. He's saying something. I can't hear. It's just. What is she doing? Her, I'm not even paying attention to her. I don't even know at this moment. I, I never I never really seen her. Like, once I seen the balcony, I'm locked in on that. I didn't even care about what, what the, the female was doing. the nigga hanging off the balcony? I didn't even pay no attention to her to lock in her on that moment. Only time I saw her again is when they came out. What is Shy saying to you at this point? Shy ain't saying nothing. He looking at me like I'm looking at Y'all him. Y'all both speeches like, yeah, and we like, we really laughing about it. Like, damn, bro, that's crazy. Like, damn, they got him, they got him off the bunk. He's like, man, that shit crazy. I'm like, bro, uh-huh. And we just talking, like, just having a conversation. But when I told you, this how I knew it, it went that way. Wale shoe, all right, we see the shoe hanging off the balcony. And Wale, the, the sweat and the way his shirt was when he came back out, you knew it was him. Like, he he met it, he, he matched the, the whole situation. Shit ruffled up a little bit. Shit looked like he just... Like them, like them big ass niggas just went in there and did that to him. Only person could have did that to a shirt with them big ass niggas that walked past. Why you think Wale's denying it then? What you mean it's Puff Daddy? Everybody around him denying shit, ain't they? Nah, everybody exposing that nigga now. Wale ain't about to expose him though. He ain't built like that. Come on, Wale, does Wale even have a car? Like they ain't gonna blow up his shit. That's what I be saying though. Like, do he drive? Like, let's get into it. You don't be leaking. See, you don't see you do this all over the world. DC artists and we can never know their first week score. So I can go on my YouTube channel and be like, Wale sold one thousand hours. You don't <laughs> Yo, never do no DC out. No, 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 Wale a legend though. Wale is a legend. And where? Now Wale is a legend. Bus boys and poet. 
Now Wally's a legend. He gotta be a legend. He did, he did diced pineapples over he, top of a blackened salmon and he, some poetry. Nah, he had that joint with um with that girl. Um, oh, fuck, you know what I'm talking Lonely about. Lonely Flower Bomb, Flower Flower. Oh no, that, that, that's a hit. Without her, it's not a hit. Wally always really thought it was it was him, J Cole, Drake, and Kendrick. I heard him say one thing, which which I mean I kind of understand. He said. He felt it was a little colorism with him. He was a little bit too black. That's why they didn't really give him the nod. But Wally's a talented motherfucker still. Bro, Wale is not even from Washington, D.C. I'm not. I don't, I don't get him. He put the go-go scene on. Like, come on. Y'all yeah, can't play around. He, he put the go-go. 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 Like, inside D.C., go-go is dead because of Wale. Them now bands. you're lying. Like, like, yo, he was trying to put that shit on the mainstream. I'm about to bring go-go back right now, y'all. Go-go is Washington, D.C. thing, y'all. We got bands. Whatever Wale showed y'all is not go-go. Like, I don't know what he did to the culture, but he single-handedly fucked it up himself. I'm just here to tell you. All them bands y'all used to see Wale, they don't even mess with Wale no more. Wale is not go Go-Go. Go-Go is a Washington, D.C. culture thing, and y'all go tap in TCBTOB back, y'all. It's endless bands, y'all. Just type it in and figure it out. Really? Wale's in person. Can I ask you a question? Like, why do people hit on Wale like that? It ain't even it's, people. It's me. No, no, no. But, but no, I feel like, yo, okay, J. Cole, Fayetteville, they love that nigga. That nigga's is a representative. It doesn't matter if he's not a hood nigga, if he's not blah, blah. They're like, damn, he's putting on for us. He really from Wale Fayetteville, Wale really. Though. Wale didn't grow up in a Washington hospital. Wale wasn't born in Washington hospital. Wale never went to school in Washington, D.C. Wale never went to a Washington high really? school. And not but went to a Washington elementary. He just used that shit. Wale from, like, Africa. Yo, stop playing with Wale, bro. bro. I swear to God. Yo, stop playing with Wale. Yo, no, he could be both. Yo, Do listen. your research. I know he has African, like, heritage. Research. But my boy really, like, everybody. He asked me to shoot Wale bait video. He asked me to shoot a video in my neighborhood because he don't have one. You're lying. I swear to God, go look at bait video. But tell me, guys, I'm from that neighborhood, not Wale. You trolling? The comments going to tell you the research. It's going to all do itself. The search is going to do the search. That's why I love my supporters. Shout out to y'all, y'all. We made it. Well, Wale was never a hood dude. Never. You can't have an issue with him because, yo, know, he's just trying to, you know, get it and do his thing. What's your issue with Wale? Because I know right now, like, if he do got one hood friend, he going to be like, if you ever see that nigga Anglis, he man, slap that nigga, man. His real hood friend, just the way D.C. worked, though. D.C. ain't with D.C., but a Wale can't turn a D.C. or against a D.C. Because you feel what I'm saying? We really from here. We It'll be like, it'll be like going against us for an outsider. D.C. would never do that. I ain't gonna lie. I, I knew DC niggas was getting it in when when Quavo and them ran up there and it was like, no, not Quavo. <laughs> like I remember, they, they was getting active over there in DC. I just dropped a story on YouTube. The Migos called me when they got their chain took. No, they didn't call you. Stop I, it. I told they Guapo. They called me that night. I rushed up there. I rushed up there. I ain't drive though. I got called a cab. Cab. Take Wasn't that outside club list? No, nah, it was club stadium. Oh, stadium, stadium nightclub. Oh shit. I just dropped a story about that on my YouTube. They really. Jose Guapo called me. Why they call you? Why would they call you? Cause I told you I used to be in Atlanta with uh with Shaq Glizzy. I got a relationship with like Domingo. It was like offset, like offset my man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Glizzy and them, or or, or Shaq Glizzy, he fucks with Domingos, right? Back in the day, yeah. I don't know about now. Okay. Cause I Back him. in the day, he sneaked this to him a couple times after that chain got taken. Really? Yeah, I seen him. I can rock a sneak this in posters. Why would he sneak this? I have no clue. Hmm. So when they called you and they said, yo, Quavo's chain was confiscated, what are they telling you? They ain't tell me Quavo's chain was confiscated. They just said they got, uh, Guapo called me and said they got in a fight. Guapo was like, man, uh, me goes, uh, all set, I'm just got in a fight. They about to FaceTime you. Uh, all set, about to FaceTime me. Go ahead, uh, go up there real quick. I'm about to, and I was like, I'm about to come up there. I didn't drive. I'm a kid. I caught a cab, but cabs took like an hour to get there. When I got there, it was too late, but. I even know the guys that took the chain. Like I did, at that time, I didn't know them guys, but now I'm like, yeah, I'm remember these man. This song too. This shit, this shit's crazy. Hey, did you help resolve all the issues with Chicago and um, at least Sha? Or I don't know if it was a sh- Chicago DC. I, I feel like it wasn't that really. But, but all we knew, like at least from the outside, it was like, yo, Chicago and DC they don't really get along, but it's really more the chief key blah blah situation. But we do know that Fat Trell and them kind of rock with the other side type shit. 
How, where were you in the spat of that? I don't know. I don't know how it got. It got squashed because me and, once me and Sha fell out, he lost his power. So until he regained his power, he got to squash all them beasts. You know what I'm saying? So he, there was somebody who lost their life. And I remember I was like, yo, DC's is crazy. It was after like some event or something like me was driving home or something. I can't remember what it was. Three people died yesterday. I don't know. You like you went back years ago. Like DC is crazy. Like, it was like a notable person. I forgot. I, I forgot. To, and I was just like, damn. Because I, I remember people would send stuff to me thinking like, bro, like I'm really not beefing with no rap dudes because me and you not feel be in the club anyway. And then they would be like, yo, this one of shy man's. And I was just like, yo, don't send this shit to me, man. That nigga don't got no beef. Shy man died. Third was it thirty glizzy? There we go. And I remember it was just like, yo, there's a lot going on, but they were like, your people applying pressure to shy. And I was just like, bruh, listen, me, I just like talking shit. Like, this other shit y'all got going on where the shit is getting active in the streets, I check out of it. I, you was right here with the right person. 30 Glizzy died in Baltimore. Shy Glizzy is big in Baltimore. Like, he get parades there. Might have been a back door. You sure he ain't sacrificing? Stop it. I'm just saying. What? Shot Glizzy ain't beef with nobody in Baltimore. Is he? They love Shot Glizzy in Baltimore. His artist died in Baltimore. He did nothing. You said he stand on business. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's done for a loop. Hey, there was a time that supposedly, and I remember, uh, I think Sha or, or the people who Sha still fuck with at the time, they were celebrating because that's when the first time I heard about you. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, I didn't know Aunt Glizzy don't get along with Sha Glizzy. I'm like, oh shit, the Glizzies don't don't all uh, operate on one thing. Then all of a sudden, I'm hearing they're like, yo, they confiscated your chain. Fuck no, I, I ain't sleep for a week because of what you said. <laughs> no, you gotta explain to me because I know what you said. Yo, yo, listen, sir. no, I was so perturbed. I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> this whole time, I'm like, I right, bet me and Shaw ain't really seen eye to eye, but this guy's telling me forget Shaw. He's the real guy. If I check in with him, I said I don't got no problem with checking. I check in the hotels. I check in everywhere. I'm cool. <laughs> listen, we could do the check ins. I'm like, all right, bet, Sha, I don't got no problem with you. I'm not gonna, I'm not saying nothing about you, but I'm gonna just show this one guy love because he's the guy. All of a sudden, they start sending me stuff. Be like, remember the guy you said you was gonna check in with? He got his chain took. I'm like, oh my god, don't tell me so. What happened? No, I seen you said clip say, oh, this the guy who said checking with me. Oh, huh? I think I'm, I don't need to check in with him no more. They got his chain. That's yeah, the wrong they, they, per, exactly what I said. See how you got good memory. I know you got good memory. <laughs> I remember what I seen. I said, fuck. I, you, I ain't sleep for a week. I said, fuck. The nigga who they told me I is really above shy that I should check in with. Wait, he just got his shit took? All right, never mind. I don't know who I can check in with no more. What happened? I got a homeboy. See, I got a chain. I got to cha chain. My homeboys with a chain. I don't wear the chain. I wear the chain. Let them do an interview or something like that. I don't really wear the chain. My homeboy got the chain. I'm gone. I ain't even there. My homeboy got the chain. He say, this is what he told me. He told me he got in the shower and another mutual friend picked it up and got on live with it. While he in the shower, he on live with it. And it's his birthday party. The guy was having a birthday party and he was letting people in. He was like, man, come. They was like, come downstairs. Like one of the people in the live that he know mutually come downstairs. He went downstairs with the chain on and they robbed him. That's what he said initially. But that's not what happened. I was getting into it with Shy and Shy and them people. I guess they must have hit him. It was mutual off the man. Still a chain. Why you got it on something? Because he had broke from me and then he stole it and fake passed it all to him. And then it ended up with Tyler Man. Shot, uh, shot Glizzy, right hand man. Hold on, hold on. I thought they like that grabbed you up and took it off your neck. I wasn't no academics, uh, local rapper, DC rapper, and Glizzy facelift a nigga. Hell nah. No, no, I mean, I didn't see the footage, but I'm like, when I hear a nigga chain get took, I'm never thinking, oh, the chain got confiscated through, like, yo, you, you, you a nigga up in your crib and they get the chain and whatever, whatever. Hey, Ak, I'm a different type of person. Ain't no taking my chain. I'm unchain takeable. Niggas, yeah, you can take my chain. I ain't gonna lie. Then what I'm gonna take? What about Taliban Glizzy? I, 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 I like, he make good music. He locked up. Is he? 
He got two indictments. I, he got locked up by Secret Service for like some guns. It's all over YouTube. Secret Service? For some guns. I don't know, allegedly. And he just got a second indictment. Him and like 20 other people, they were million dollars worth of gold. They was busting down no gold way. bars. They gold were, bars? Allegedly going to the jury store, melting them down, turning them to gold bars. I don't know. You got to look it up. It's all over YouTube. Like it's just it's on my YouTube channel. What the fuck? Yeah, that shit was beyond me. But uh, 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 you're not cool with him, I'm guessing. I never was cool, and I don't even know him. Like only only reason I know him because he tried to get into an argument or all. I know him from Presser. He does a song with Presser called Attachments. I was like, oh shit! I didn't even know how Presser got in touch with like you know me some things from DC. I'm like, oh shit! He ain't from DC, neither. Nobody. Where he from? Nobody in DC know him. He from, I don't know where the fuck they. I don't know where he from. Taliban, Glizzy, not from DC. Hell no. Nah. Where you from? Mm hmm. You from some trenches? Hell no. Nah. Ain't no trenches. The nigga was rapping. That, that nigga was rapping. I ain't gonna lie. I told you, like, on this outside, outside, you can do whatever. Hmm. So you don't know him? I don't know him at all. I ain't never seen no baby pictures of him. I ain't never seen him play at the recreation center. I ain't never. No, he just popped up with Shaq Lizzie. Like, so before that. before you got locked up, if you had seen him, y'all would have no problems. Yeah, we won't have no problems. If I see any of these guys, I'm not gonna have no problems. I don't, I'm not no gangster academics. I'm a, I'm a. These are old stories. These stories are from years ago. I believe in God now, bro. I got a Rolex watch on. I ain't having no struggles. I am. What about Shaq Lizzie? Can we get y'all to like squash that shit? I'm willing to. If we can make some money together, I don't want just want to be mutual with him. Just you know what would be mutual. crazy? You could. I feel like you could host on some real shit, like a crazy Shaq Lizzie mixtape. Album, team. yeah, of course. Like, bro. You could do interludes, really do all the intro, because I ain't gonna lie to you. And, 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 you know, when I interviewed him, I think, you know, he definitely downplayed it. Like, the importance and you're, like, you have a wave. Like, niggas, like, play this. I love watching content, like, when I'm, like, eating food. Obviously, I'm fat, it's cool. I seen your search bar. Hey, I'll watch your shit and be like, 15 videos later. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this thing is funny as shit. <laughs> to the point I'm like, I don't know if this thing is lying or what, but this thing is funny as shit. I think that's where you and, you see, I interviewed Shy. Shy doesn't have the personality like you. If, if, if we actually turn you and Shy into one, his rapping ability, your personality, y'all are five times bigger than the baby. Of course. Because it all matters. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, is it no kind of going back? Probably with him. This is what it is, though. I, it's street shit. It's blood involved. It's street shit that happened. But I ain't in the streets no more. Oh, has it gotten that serious? Were you a shot? I ain't going to speak on it. But yeah, like, it's, it's, it's blood involved, though. Like, mm, okay, okay, okay. okay. I, I had no idea. If, if, I, if I knew that, I wouldn't really yeah, ask that question. But, this what I'm telling. This what he don't know though. I used to be in the streets. I'm out the streets. So whatever happened in the streets, I left it there. Like I'm living a different life. I'm on like a different chapter in my life. I ain't no street time. I ain't no gangster time. I ain't no net. He probably still think I'm on net. Like whatever ills I took in life or whatever wins I took in the streets, far as the street life, I left it all there. Like I'm starting all fresh. Like so, if he wanted to be mutual, only to make some money on the business side, because I swear I said to myself, it's only one, it's only two things in this world that can help Shaq Lizzie. He got Beyonce to dance to his music. He got NBA Youngboy features. He got Lil Uzi features. They are not working. Only thing gonna happen to him, he gonna link back over me, or he gonna do a combined mixtape with Drake. It's one or the other. That's the only way he gonna be relevant. Why don't say, yeah, I could do like a movie or some shit like that? It's crazy. It's not me. It's his pride. You gotta think about it. Why would he ever put me in a position? That's like me and him in a room. You gonna invest the money into me. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring more to a table than him. Let me ask you a question. Did you always like when I watch you, you have charisma? I could tell, like, should I watch your channel? I'm like, I could listen to this nigga talk for hours. And to be honest, this shit be so funny that I'm like, I'll worry about if it's true later. Like I'm like, this nigga's a funny nigga. Like, this nigga is hilarious. But that's a that's a gift. Now I know a lot of rappers don't respect that gift because they don't know about the talking world. I know about it, right? I'm 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 wondering where you're what you're doing now, and you know, obviously where he's at, there got to be some synergy there, right? Or, or are you saying, man, nigga, I don't really need you because I'm gonna be honest with you. I like don't this. need him at all. He need me, but he not gonna admit it. 
Like mm. just f- from your opinion that you're not you not one of us and you're not gonna be biased. Would you feel like I need Shaq Lizzie or Shaq Lizzie need me right now on this day and point in time? Okay. And I'm gonna give you a nuanced answer. Hopefully I'm not playing middle. But with you, I'm gonna listen to you. To, to be honest, I want to hear your opinion on everything. You funny as shit. I don't care what you talk about. Shit, if you talk about, yo, you fucked, you fucked your homie's girl, or you, uh, you caught your brother doing some weird shit, I want to hear you talk about it because it's funny. Now, with Shy, I do think he's talented. I think if he got a hit, this shit finna go. The thing is, when you don't have a hit, shit could get a little slow. Right? He don't got it, an identity. He don't have an identity. He can't be himself. When you can't be yourself in life, it stop you from progressing. Because when you got to be a certain type of person, once that certain type of person burn out, you lose yourself. You don't even know how to recover. You took it too far, though. You know you took it too far? That video I saw, you was like, he was already getting accused of the sky breeze shit. And you said, you know what? This was you. You said, man, I know Shy did that shit. I still, to this day, I'm standing on it. I know he did but, that shit. You did say something that fucked you up. You said, because I used to be with him when we did that shit. You involved yourself. Explain that whole thing. because if, if, So the, 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 there was this, she's, she's actually a viral porn star slash OnlyFans girl. She came out and said, she wanted to do a video for Shy Glizzy. And she basically said that she was, you know, she felt like she was drugged to do things that she didn't want to do. Now, we're in this era where just like how Cassie's making these claims, everybody's caring about what are you doing? Um, like, are you making people do things that they don't want to do? You corroborated it with Shaq Glizzy, which I think, you know, and I talked to him on and off camera. That was one, that's, honestly, that's one of the reasons he came up here. He that made the blogs because of me. Up. Huh? He made the blogs because of me. Yeah, but you but, but but you put him in a position that he had to speak about it. Do you regret that? Because now here's the thing: not only did you make him look weird, people are gonna look at you. I don't regret nothing I do, academics. I'm a grown man. I don't re- I don't regret nothing I do. I live in my own world. I create my own rules. Like I don't got no time. I ain't on nobody time but my own time. I do what I want to do when I want to do. I believe in God. Over the net. I don't well, feel nothing. well, explain that then. Okay, cool. So that woman comes out with that allegation. You say, yo. I know about shit like that because that's how Shah used to get down. Explain what that means. That means this. If I told you back in the day, every day you seen Shah Glizzy, you seen me. Okay. I'm the fly on the wall. <laughs> so if I'm the fly on the wall, I see it. I'm learning it all. Like Okay, so now let me I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Okay, cool. Shah's the name. But is he the culprit? Now let me explain. Okay. When I see Shy, I see you. Cool. Shy's a nigga. He got a name. He know the girls. The girls in his DMs. He can invite 15 girls over. Blah, 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 blah. Now, here's the thing. I would imagine. This is what I'm imagining. Shy may not need much for these women to want to do stuff or sleep with him. His homies, though, they don't know. Maybe it wasn't Shy. Maybe it was y'all. It was like, yo. Man, they coming over here to drink some 1942. All right, listen, they about to drink some 1941. Ooh, this shit right here. It was only me, Shy, and the two girls. We oh, so this is a studio. specific incident you're talking about. It's a double date. We on a double date. Okay, so how does that go? That was a specific incident. Like, this is my jump. Like, all right, this is my jump. She got her friend. Her friend better than my jump, though. My jump really want to fuck Shy for real. But I don't know that. Mm. So, you know why people f- fuck with you and believe you? Like you're so honest. Usually, we call cap when people start having the egos. Like, yeah, now nah, this bitch was filming. You know, I was that nigga. Blah blah blah. Like you come on and be like, yeah, I think the bitch I was with was trying to fuck shot anyway. It's That's true. so honest that people are like shit. It. Why would he lie? <laughs> you you do know this, right? That's like a tactic. <laughs> if if I'm telling the story and I already tell me like, man, I know I'm a fat, ugly nigga. Like, yeah, this bitch might just only be fun. like automatically be like, damn, if he could admit that, like, he gotta be telling the truth. You do know this is why people believe that. Nah, cause it's really the truth though. I ain't lying though. I swear, 
it's just like the internet going to take, like, even if it ain't the truth, they're going to make it what it is. Or even if it is the truth, like, the internet going to make it what it is what it is. So it's like, you got to go with the flow. But I don't be telling no lies. No, so explain it. So it's two girls. We all meet these girls. I met these girls. These, my general, like, I've been talking to her. I probably met her on MySpace, but I've been talking to her. I've been to her house. We hanging out and all that. This is my little joke. Like, we've texted her. I've been talking to her for, like, damn near a year or two. This is my joke. She just bringing her friend this night to the studio. Mm. And she she know the she know the friend knows it's gonna be shy. That's my homeboy. That's my best friend who I be with. So she knows, but the friend bad. She know not to piss you out on with a bullshit ass jump. So true. He got the baddest jump. Okay. So now, but but so so this is what I'm thinking. It's kind of already a kill in a sense that they're linking with you and Sha. They know yo if if she's already thinking I got to bring my baddest friend for Sha. It's gonna be a kill. Nothing else is needed. Like, y'all just need to just have a good conversation, vibe out. Y'all are in. Where does the other shit come in? The other shit, what makes it true, it's going to play out and show you. In your world, in your head, Shy Glizzy should get the pussy easy, right? Of course. His name is Shy Glizzy. He's shot. Stop it. So let me tell you this. Why you see Shy with some bad joints. That's cool. They addicted to the money, the Magoas that want to fuck already. This is Shaq Lizzie up and coming. Yeah, they gone off the fame. He don't drive a Lamborghini, though. We about to hop in the back of somebody else's car and go to the, the, like, somebody else about to drop us off at the hotel. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Like, we kids. We ain't got the, he ain't got the NBA young boy like me, me, out Utah, the big ass castle and shit <laughs> like that. Nah, ain't none of that. <laughs> so, the, so what that was, all right, so the girls came to the, they end up coming to the studio. That was my joint. Like, it was my joint. I've been talking to her. So she put Sha on with her friends. So we coming in, but this is what I was getting into in the conversation. You would think Sky Bree being a porn star, she would fuck Sha Glizzy, right? Yeah, of course. Why the fuck would he need a pill? You, you, you know why that's even more, like... That this, makes the story 100% accurate, 100% real. No. You could be shockless, you could be the biggest person in the world, you could no. have the number one... Uh, what's the hold on, no, hold on, no. The reason why I'm a skeptical a little bit about that story, Skybree herself... Skybree went on... I've never talked to... Actually, she was a DM me. I, I realized this afterwards. She went on and she was like, I guess somebody asked her about me. It's like, hey, academic. She was like, yeah, fuck academic. She literally said it. So I'm like, yo... Yo, she's, I never met this girl. She's offering a pussy. If she's with Sha, Sha's paying her for a video. Imagine she's getting like five bands for a video. Of course you're going to suck that nigga up. He ain't paying. her. Okay. And I know 50,000 people that did business with Sha Glizzy. After this interview and y'all leave it in the comments, how many people did business with Sha Glizzy and it was some short change, some, some skinny shit with the money happening. You're going to start saying the Me Too movement start in the comments right now. Yo, it's not even a hold on You don't got no money, I. So wait, what do you think happened then? I wasn't there, but I know damn sure he's about to take this. No, in your in your situation, man. Oh, what I think happened? Yeah. What you mean? Like when, so, when we so, was there, yeah, yeah. finish the story. Yeah. All right. So we get to the studio. We at the studio. The girl, I already was, I already was fucking the girl though. Like the girl, that's my junk. This is already my junk. We didn't fuck already. I don't need. No, boot Molly. That's what it was. Molly. That's when the spike. It was Molly. Molly in the Patron. That's what the spike is. That's when I said spike the bottle. It was some Molly in the Patron. Me, her, the friends. We all do Mo this in the city. It's a way we all do this shit regardless. Like we do this shit regularly. Like we probably already are Molly from our own time anyway. We just met up and put some more in the bottle. Like Shy is in the studio. Shy got the Molly, but Shy don't know. First of all, this is my bitch. I'm I'm probably like I'm fucking her. I'm probably more cool. She she I talk about her. I talk about Shy bitch ass to her. Like you feel what I'm saying? This yeah. is my joke. Like that Shy bitch ass. Like this is my cool yeah. little joke. So we get in the boot. We put the call the boot. That's what the Molly. We putting it in there. She knows. She helping me doing it. We both doing it. the girl right here too. Only reason we laughing at it. Cause Shy is trying to flirt with the friend, not knowing she knows she off the boot. He I right, he acting like they don't know. He's under an impression that they don't know. Me and my missus, we already off Molly. Like we oh, laughing at it. Okay, okay, we okay. clowning this goofy ass for coming out here thinking he finessing and okay. got them off the Molly. Like they know yo, they off the boot. You yo, I'm glad you explained it like that. Because now it may, because you see, now it seems more like before it felt like you were admitting that. No, we've secretly drug women before. You, I never said secretly. And I never said secretly okay, ever. That's what people thought. <laughs> I never said secretly. Thought. So you're basically saying, yo, this this is something y'all do. The girls they even know about it. Fuck but yeah. Shy, he don't really know that 
everybody is in on it, so he's over here still trying to kick game. Yeah, like he's spitting game, but it's like he's spitting game, and down there the girl like down there whip out like let's fuck right now. She yeah. ready to fuck, and we laughing about it, just cracking. Like, jokes. Dude, why you trying so hard? Like she already we, ready, and we laughing about it like he corny as shit, like he corny as shit. But at the end of the night, though, act the shit ended so wild. He ended up fucking the joint I was with, and he fucked her first before me. Really? I swear to God, they went. This how it was. We sitting on the. We got the hotel, the double beds on both. He went in the bathroom. I don't know he was running the shower or something. I'm just sitting on the bed with her. I swear to God, we high as shit though. We all high as hell. All I hear is huh 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 from the bathroom. Like uh uh uh. The the the, the bad joint right here on the bed with me. My joint is in there. Oh my mother. She came. Wait, right wait, out. Are you not trying to pull a move on the bad joint? Are you thinking? I did. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, come on, of course. I'm trying to. So now I hear that. Boom boom boom. She hear that. So we, but we high shit. So now we try some shit, but it ain't work out. She like a little, she like a, it ain't work out. Just not, you know, it was some, yeah, some little kid damn. shit. And I tried, it was some bullshit. And we just left it at that. But she came, she ended up coming out. Like they ended up staying in the shower and all that. And all that. We was just so high. She came up coming. I hit her that night too. And I hit her out of that. They're like, oh, well, when okay. she came out, like they say, we took showers together. And so that makes out. sense. What, what don't make sense is that the Scott Breed thing was, I forgot how it went viral on TikTok. I think it was was a white girl. I think it was a white girl. Yeah, yeah, the uh, and he shot the video in twenty twenty two. Yeah, either this year or last year, one of them. And she's saying this after them, which means Sha already been in the game for dumb long. He might not be the most lit, but he's been in the game for dumb long. Um, at this point, he can't. He can't. Adam brought the question up. That's why she answered it. Adam brought it up. Like, I seen you in the video, something, 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 and it clicked off in her brain, a reminder, all oh, reminiscent. I might as well tell this story with it. Do you know that he tried to do this with the black pill at the video shoot? Ooh, that's how it went Do on. you believe it? Academics. Let me look at the camera and tell y'all, world. Shock Lizzie, I'm starting out you, bro. You know damn well you gave that girl that pill, man. Ain't nobody go to jail. Ain't no jail shit, but you know you did it. I don't even care. You know he did that shit. Okay. All right. You wild. Just stop, bro. Just wait, stop now. Just wait, stop. You've you been caught. Wait, wait, wait. All right, you, you you believe he gave her that pill? Do you believe that she knew she was getting the pill? Yeah, one hundred percent sure he she knew she was getting the pill. Okay, so you're saying sure. that it's not like he was trying to do some creepy. Oh, I'm about to just force this on you, shit. No, he think he turning up with her, but 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 by him being shot, Lizzie, he should never had the intentions. I need a girl off a pill to fuck her. You can fuck her. You should be able to fuck her on her own. Like him having the intentions of giving her a pill before sex is wrong. Hmm. Okay. Because his statue of who he is as a person, her being a porn star, that should be the easiest he connection He might think in the that's world. that lifestyle, though. Maybe, maybe th he's, he's a, a shy person. You sit there and did an interview with him right here, Academics One Shot. Because he said right here, you really couldn't figure him out. You'll think we knew each other forever, man. Yeah, you a loud nigga. Yeah, I'm a loud nigga, too. Y'all yeah, can tell. Yeah, no, it's cool. But, 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 you in my search but box, I'm going to be honest like. with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Shy, dude, shy is a nigga who get bitches. Anytime I've seen Sha associate, and, and trust me, I'll be looking to see what bitches niggas associate with. He always with a real bad one. So that nigga got to have some game, some swag, it some shit. Nah, buy a bitch something. Buy, he, he buy a bitch something. He tricking, bro. Them bitches don't love him. How long them bitches last? He don't like what? I'm still on my same girlfriend since Glizzy Gang. Did my, did my man get, he got a G-Wagon back though, right? He had to. The fuck he about to pay car notes and she pulling up with Stefan Diggs, yo? <laughs> yo, stop. Fuck. <laughs> Stephon Diggs was in it? No, nah, I'm just saying. Nah, that wasn't who it was. I know who it was. No, I Googled it. I ain't going to lie to you. I remember that girl. You, the only reason I looked her up, hip -hop. you know I looked her up? Because I remember he said, yo, he said, uh, in the diss song, he said, he said, my girl got to go to this. She got to go to DR in the morning. She got to go see her fans. Yes. That's not the same girl. That's three girls later. What? Yeah, bro, that man got a new girlfriend every week. The new girl with the G-Wagon, that was my first time seeing her. Because that was three girlfriends I had to go see her fam. That's so not that the same get girl. get bitches. That's what you're talking about. Keep talking about get bitches. Who the fuck can't get a bad bitch if you buy him a G-Wagon, I right? They think I bought a chicken G-Wagon. I ain't going to lie to you. They thought I bought a sleep. You probably did. Hell no. That look like your style. Nigga, if I buy a chicken G-Wagon, we'll be together for life. That's facts. For life. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. I buy you a G-Wagon, there's a kid coming out of your pussy. Facts. That's a push present. That's a push present. Yeah, a gonna... kid got to come out. Ain't no way. Ain't no way you going to be with another nigga. You ain't going to get the G-Wagon from me, break up with me. It ain't gonna be with Anglesey, no way. It's these type of lifestyles, though. It's like girls these days, you don't see the lifestyles like bruh. 
All right, that girl a Fashion Nova model. Like, I see him Fashion Nova. Like, she Fashion Nova, one of the Fashion Nova top models. Like, she is beautiful. All these ball players out in the world, why is she going to sit in the house and play with Sean Glizzy at the downfall of his career? I thought it was the same girl. I ain't going to lie. This is some super messy shit. I would never bring it up other than this. But, you know, I'd be nosy. I don't bring this to the light. I was Googling. I was looking up the girls. And, and they were like, yeah, she really, she loyal to that bag. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. All I feel bad for Shy at that point though. He cool. You see his old bro. That man, twenty nine years old, going bald. That man going bald, bro. I mean, that's genetics. No, my fucking genetics. That's Ooh. stress. No, it's not. Mm, man, name another twenty nine year old uh, person that's going bald and they ain't in the St. Jude's Hospital. Yo, stop playing, man. Yo, see, how do we get? All right, hold on. Hey, you you were invited to uh? All right, so you believe Scarbury? One hundred percent. Scarbury, come see me, baby. You don't need no pill on the real deal. Yeah, she just broke up with her man. She, she's telling. back on the market. We can break the net. Only fan, I be only man. Damn. Would you do only fans with her type shit? Of course. Never did only fans a day in my life with Skybury. <laughs> Check. Yeah, she, Let's she, get it. She get a lot of money. It's just Adam in the business though, so I can't deal with her. Why you don't fuck with Adam? I think that I don't fuck with Adam. I can't trust him. Mm, it's just happened? something about Adam. I feel like for clout, he have no loyalty. If he no, I, that's true. And Adam's my man's, but I say that. Listen, listen if a nigga can walk through here and shoot you for to 100 million views, you get shot. Yeah, if he, that 100 million views beat, all right, say if you do an interview right now and you get 20,000 views, but if somebody can walk through this door and shoot you and get 20 million views, you getting shot, academics. The views is going to outweigh your life. Nah, I, I, I got I to gotta be honest. That Trent might be right. can fuck his wife for views. It's like it's, it's anything that got a buzz on it, he with it. Hey, no, I will say this, and Adam knows this is true. With me and him, like, we went back and forth at one point. But for me, I had to figure out, listen, a dangerous man is a man who don't have a moral code or they don't have something that's off limits. Like, put it like this. It's certain it's certain type of shit where no matter if a nigga getting into you, with you, I don't know if you got kids or whatever. You know what I mean? I ain't got mention. no kids, all right? But if, if, if people mention, say, say your mom or certain, certain shit, be like, yo, this ain't content. This ain't nothing else. This some real shit now. For, for a while, I remember me and Adam, I was just like, damn, I think this nigga, there's no, like, there's no, like, moral code with him. But, you know, you know, hey, listen, I bless him in his relationship. Hey, why you ain't going to no jumper, though? The same, you seen what they just did to J-Main? You see J-Main was at no jumper. You bring a guy, now, you, you'd have to have more than these these guys here. He was going to get lined up. Lined up what? I ain't going to lie to you. No, no. The next time I go to no jumper, I, 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 I'm pulling up with 20 people. Gotta be 20. I do my due diligence though. It's like I know how to move. I know for a fact. If I say if I never seen nothing or nothing, mm -hmm. I never knew how. You, I never knew you. I mm -hmm. never knew Adam. I never knew nothing. But me just thinking, I can tell how the way you move. I can demonstrate you ain't about to pitch yourself in no environments that yourself and your you gonna be in danger. You ain't gonna pitch yourself in danger. Adam yeah. don't give a and hell. Also, I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. That's the only thing I think is why about Adam. Adam gonna go hang with the Crips in the middle of Compton. Please. Out in the place, you come here and some nigga even do something to you, nigga. Fuck the nigga who even try to do it. You gonna be like, act line me up. It's on. It's on with me and him. I don't want to be. I'm good. That's one thing. Let me let me tell you this. When a nigga show up to my place, and I I told this to Adam too. I said Adam, when you have people thinking they're gonna show up to your place and they might get lined up by the ops by this and third, because I because I went there one time and niggas was tweeting was like, yo. You know, niggas in the building, let me know you was there. I could have popped up, nigga. I could have killed you at that spot. I'm like, I'm like, so I hit Adam. I'm like, just to let you know, I'm like, I'm going to move and take care of myself. But when niggas think your place is like a place where if you show up, niggas can line you up, this and third, you have to realize something happened to anybody there. They're going to look at you. You're allowing that. And I seen a video with the J-Main thing with the nigga car getting ran through. I'm like, I don't know, bro. It won't even be Adam. I can tell you to play right now. See him right there. See how he work right there? See how he on his phone? Yeah. He know, this is the way Adam plays for him. Adam and him say you can't bring nothing in, you got to leave it in the car. He seen the security camera. He know what kind of car they put in. He know they can't bring the important stuff in here. They left everything in the car. Let them come in. We're going to get them to the front of the store. Adam, you Adam. Adam don't know what's going on. He put that whole play together. That's his people through his phone. They don't work here or nothing. They from around his neighborhood. They about to break in the car, do all that, and go on about their business. That all happened from Adam setting the play up. And Adam didn't. Adam don't know what happened, how it happened, or nothing. Adam looking like that didn't happen for me. That was random. He was being used. Well, you, you know, Boosie said the same thing. Like, he said he went over there and, like, his car got stolen or some shit. That was odd to me. 
all think of it like this. I think of it a million ways. I have a zero incident. Like, you know, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Knock on wood till I get out of here. Yeah, no, no of course. <laughs> but, but, but here's the thing. And I guess this is for Adam. I would, like, I would have somebody in that parking lot then. And I'm going to split. I would have somebody in that parking lot. So wait, why did you think they was going to like line you up type shit? Because I seen it and... It felt like your backdoor Spidey senses was kicking in like, yo. I know Brick Baby personally. All right. As I'm texting about the No Jumper, No Jumper texted me, hey, and I want you to do an interview. We're going to fly you out. Send me your flight credentials and everything, your times and everything. So they want to know my time, destination, when I'm landing in airport. <coughs> they going to have a whole scoop on me. <laughs> That's a red flag. First of all, I ain't even say nothing about it. I said... Nah, I don't think I want to do your interview because your interview got gangbangers up there. Because I looked at it and I seen that he was all this crip shit going on. You don't gangbang, no? At all. I don't even know nothing about a gang. Do you do beef with any gangs? Nah, I don't even right. know. I don't, gangs ain't in DC. I don't even know what a, I don't even know what a crip or a blood is. I swear to God. So uh, he he had asked me to come up there. I'm like, nah, because they got the gangs up there. He told me. Ain't no, he just said a name. He said, ain't no gang members up here that's going to do nothing. Ain't nobody up here. You ain't got no problems with nobody up here. Only, like, you ain't got no problems with Brick Baby or nobody. So you should be good. I never in my life told Adam I know Brick Baby at all. Just by him saying Brick Baby name alone, that just already put the seal on it already. Because I know for a fact, Adam don't know I know Brick Baby from Pee Wee Longway's kitchen. I was robbing his ass. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Nigga, I need another shot. I think I take a that picture. Shot Glizzy, that Shaq Glizzy homeboy, he from Atlanta. But when we first met Brick Baby, Brick Baby dick ride rappers. Wait, hold on. Pause this r video real quick. Nigga, I got to go take a piss. Get this man some water. Get him whatever he want. Yeah, can we get some water? Some... Yeah. So, I... wait, hold on. I had to go take a piss, man. Hold on. So, you telling me... So, you're messaging with the people from No Jumper. Shout out to Laura. I see you. I know you be sending them little interviews, even though you send niggas up to, yo, they invite me to a Christmas party. Man, I knew it was going to be all the gangbangers that I don't like up in that bitch. Like, nigga. It was like, yo, yo, come get your ass whipped over here. You're going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, all right, nigga. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I'm super precautious. You, like, you outside, nigga, so you got to stay on business. I don't be outside. What I, you mean? I put up more than you. I Yo, yo, but hear what I'm trying to say is like, you do know like, all right, cool, they invite you to a no-jumper interview. You don't show up, they're going to think, yo, this thing a pussy. Hell no. Yeah, of course they're going to think that. Who going to think that, though? They're going to be like, damn, he's scared of us. I get an opinion out on the internet. The internet don't get no opinion on me. I don't care. Like, bro, the internet can be like, Aunt Glizzy, I don't want to give that shit on. So what? I write the rules. I told that be in my own world. So wait. You said so they mentioned they were like, Oh, it's not like you got no beef with Brick Baby, nothing like that. And you and said you remember as soon as they ba said Brick Baby. Like, first of all, I was already in my head saying, I know Brick Baby up there. That's Shy Glizzy man. So Shy Glizzy introduced me. Wait, that's his man's? Back in the day we used to hang I right, we was in Atlanta, we used to be with people Longway. People Longway introduced Brick Baby as his brother. Really? And Brick Baby was cool with Shaq Lizzie. Brick Baby just dick ride rappers. If you got a buzz and he feel like he's some street guy, so he gonna just link up with you. And I don't know, bro. He just be on anybody with a buzz that's rappers. He swear he's all his bros. You sure? Yeah. So he niggas told me like he like a big dog out there, yo. Big dog where? Kelly. They say he the number two. How does the number two work for Adam? Just make it make sense to me. That's like almost like working. You got to work at the airport because you catch everybody going in and going out. <laughs> type shit. You know what I mean? Nah, you number two. Real talk. You the number two. I didn't want to try to say his situation. Number two what? He's the number two of uh, his. A co-host over No Jumper? No, he's a number. Bruh. He number two behind. Number you. Two, uh, yeah. So I ain't going to lie. Me and him was going back and forth. Once I heard that, I told him he got it. He man, gangster. Fuck Brick Baby. All right, man. You don't want to go to L.A. then, man. I don't plan on going to LA anyway. So no. wait, so so hold on. So you know him from Pee Wee Longway. Mm-hmm. So you and him used to roll dice or some shit. You used to chill, fuck bitches together. Nah, we used to make music. They used to make music in the spot. Mm. Like, shy, shy. What's recording? What's that? Young Hefe Two, Young Hefe Son, or Law Two? One of them jumped him and Thug got song. They recorded in the closet. Mm -hmm. Pee Wee Longway on the album and all that. We recorded that in Pee Wee House in the recording studio. So, so, so you and Brick Baby was cool then? Yeah, he used to hang around us like he shot Lizzie fanned out one hang around, shot all this and all that. And the third took a couple zips of weed from, sent him on his way. I want to took a couple zips of weed from. Him. Like he had a couple zips of weed, I took him. All right, back in the, all right. You asked him for it? No, nah, I took him. Like I, I took him. I did some sucker shit. What you mean you took him? You mean you? You mean 
You ask him to borrow it type shit. Nah, we all right, before this incident, we went we went out. He said go with him real quick. We went on somebody owed him some money, so he needed me to ride with him real quick. We go we go to the spot. We get there. Once he I guess he supposed to get the drink from a nigga or something. I don't know what the fuck it was. Long story short, he get into it with the nigga about some drink. He do some scurry shit. I end up had to do some Rick great baby. Yeah. I end up had to do some gangster shit and keep us out of the situation. So I'm just looking wait, at him wait, like he a bitch ass nigga. Brick baby. Yeah. I don't know why y'all think these guys so gangster, but it's 2013. This before Adam. This before Jumper. This before all that big C's and cuz and Nigga, all that. I heard he was terrorizing niggas. And I'm gonna be honest. Well, listen, I, I am also the nigga that believe everything online. Nigga, I, I did believe that shot had like 10 bodies. I ain't gonna hold you. Of course. Nigga, I thought he went to Memphis, nigga. Got an Airbnb and niggas returned his chain politely. Nigga, the fuck? That's how it go. I ain't gonna lie, I like that part of the song. Nigga, I moved to Memphis for a whole week. I'm like, oh shit. So you about to kill a nigga and put your credit card on the Airbnb, the location. Nigga, for a whole week. that nigga moved there and niggas like, yo, yo, you were, you seen that video recently with T.I. was like, yo, no on? clubs, no sections. I'm thinking he in Memphis, like, no clubs, no sections, no parties, no get togethers, no kickbacks till I get my chain back. And niggas return that shit promptly, nigga. This shit was in the house, in his mother room, under the sheets, mad as shit. Ma, I think you're my lying, career lying, over. Lying, lying, lying. And they like, man, you gotta call a big homie down there. And he called the big homie and said, I don't know, can you get my chain he back? He did also say, this is one of the worst situations in my life. Nah, he did say, uh, uh, what's my man's name again? Um, Black youngster, he said he's, he ain't asked black youngster to get it back like that. Like, like, Shaw was going finna get his shit back. Shaw Glizzy got his chain taken on purpose. Academics, that was not a, uh, that was not, that was not that, to you and to the outside world. It looked like it was random. That was not random. That was set up. That was, that was, that was marketing. That was for him to get his chain taken. It was for him what? to lose his career. It was for him to lose his buzz. It was all Ooh. planned. Yo, Gotti. Stop it. Now, he did have a little spicy word for you. No, but he did say, Niggas didn't take his chain. The chain hit the floor. The broke boys had a fucking. Shot. I love that. Yo, I ain't gonna. Lie. I love that. This Me song. and Shaq Glizzy was hanging with Yo Gotti. We was in the Four Seasons. I've been in Nelly Studio in St. Louis. I've been everywhere. We was on tour with Yo Gotti. He's about to shine. Uh, Shaq Glizzy. He gave Shaq Glizzy a free free verse, money problems, and a video. Went to Shaq Glizzy. Hood shot the video and all that. Shaq Glizzy ghosted his ass and started hanging with Meek Mills. That's why Shaq got back door to Memphis. And really. Shaq Glizzy was bigger than Black Youngster. Shaq Glizzy had more followers than Facts. Black Youngster. Everything. Black Youngster gave that chain back on camera and Black Youngster turned into who he is today and Shaq Glizzy who he is today. That was the whole play. It was a marketing move. Shaq Glizzy could have been Black Youngster. Shaq Glizzy could have been Moneybag Yo. He was arrogant. He ran off on Gotti and they backdoored his ass. He kind of mentioned a little bit like that. I That's the he, whole play word for word. I know I, the inside of it. Yo, I don't know if he really blamed Gotti for it, but I, I think he did kind of almost hint to him... Not signing has how people want him to sign, and they felt resentful. He can't say Gotti name. Gotti too popular. I mean, too big in the music industry. Gotti connected Rock Nation. Rock Nation. That's the Shaq Lizzie can't go against your Gotti or disrespect him on no no uh on, on your podcast. That'll end his career like all the way ended. It's ended already, but that'll put the shield all nah, the way. Nah, it over. ain't over for me. If he get a hot song, his career is over, bro. You talking if he get a hot song? How many summers have you saying if he get a hot song? Next summer, if he get a hot song, the summer after that. When he the fuck is the hot song though. coming? He had talent. Talent leave. I'm just saying. D Rose ain't the old D Rose. But everybody still look at him like he D Rose, though. You feel what I'm saying? If he catch one that work on TikTok, it will work. You keep talking. Now that's being what crazy. Would you have done? No, no, a no. Gangster rapper that went to TikTok, that shit is over. If a gangster rapper takes no, 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 no. TikTok, he don't gotta go to TikTok. It's just gonna work on TikTok. Hey, let me ask you a question. You were you were shy, you were Memphis. And by the way, oh, you know what? Uh, like, again, and, and no disrespect to Shy, but you know, just Rest in peace to Big Mode. I think that was the guy. He just died. Yeah, I know. I seen it. That shit was horrifying. Hey, okay. Um, let's take him out because he just passed. You was shot at that time in a, in a random city. It looked like niggas trying to do a little move. I would have smoked Big Mode ass. Stop it, man. Stop it. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, where y'all get this nigga from, man? <laughs> I'm the nigga who used to protect Shaq Glizzy. How did you used to protect? You keep saying that, but like, how, like play this. I, I'll tell you. 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Six two. How much you weigh? Like 150. 150. Nigga, nigga, I'm damn near 250. I'm 100 pounds uh, bigger than you. How was you protect? Listen, I like my security guards to be pushing 300 and be like 6'8". All right, I'm in control of this room right now. You just don't look like it. 
No, how, but tell me how. No, break it down. If I'm because put like this, it take a lot for you to convince me that I could put my trust in my livelihood in your hands. How do I know Shower's putting his livelihood in your hands? You get what I'm saying? Put it like this. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. Hey, and Leaf know this. I got certain security guards I work with. One of my main security guards, and I love you, TJ. It's all good. TJ just took my security guard from me. He took, brought him on tour. He's in Europe now. I bet. Oh, you got to listen to that. They bring me to a replacement security. This is a replacement security skinny as fuck. What is he finna do? You got to go back a little bit. Go back like three seconds. Here we go. All right, let's go back to... Hold up. My boy is DC now. Okay. 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 It's gonna come in the next five seconds. This is why he gonna tell you why he feel like he run DC. You gonna hit the pod. You gonna know when it comes. You gonna hit the split. Now he say he run the city. No, nah, you got to hit. It's coming. You're it's hitting. coming? You're hitting. He's talking playing. that shit now. Yeah, you'll hit in 10 seconds. Just keep oh. it up. Talk about it. As soon as he start talking, he about to start talking now. Okay, you got shooters. Who was the first shooter he named? No, no, hold on. I gotta listen to the shooters right. one time. I don't know if he was. All right. You're from the south side. Ooh, outside. This is so fire. You talking about you? I'm my only Andy, no, ain't it? You wasn't holding the shot down. That ain't nothing, though. Oh. I don't know who I, why I actually think I just made up this this role. Hey, the, hey, okay, okay. You, you want me to be honest? Before you look at anything, you know why I'm a little bit in disbelief? You're too funny and you too much got personality for me to think you was knocking shit off. I just got like like this. nigga. If if if, if play this, if you would walk in here, mean mugging, look like you just like nigga. Give me a reason. I'm like, oh yeah, you were the guy. But bro, you got personality. Like usually, the niggas who stand on business, the niggas who really hold it down, they don't do all that other shit. Like, like they have no personality, but you do. I'm blessed. I believe in God, academics. I've been through some shit. That got me this way. I don't preach that shit no more. Like, I ain't a crash dummy no more. I got shit to live for. I told you I got shit. Like, I like waking up making YouTube videos and shit. I like I'm gonna being be honest with you. The good guy. I don't like that bad shit. That shit. And I gotta keep it a bit with you, man. I liked it when I was living when I was living in maybe delusion. Yo, when I listen to Shy talk that shit, I don't care what you say. I wanna believe he's like that, nigga. Fuck that. Believe it. Until you get into a situation and your fucking chain on the floor and broke boys have a fucking scrimmage. Fuck up your whole image. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him a cup real quick. Fuck your cup up. Yeah, I know. I just see you. That would have been crazy. (laughs) Get that nigga a cup or some shit. (laughs) Now you might get a cup. All right. What I got to do to get you a shot cool? Talk to me. Couple dollars, man. Just some business, some money. Some money. Money fix it all. We just some money. Just let it. Just don't know. Well, on your side, like, he seem upset at you. He seem upset at you, though. Yes, he like. If I told you some street shit happened, I'm willing to forget the street shit. It is what it is. We can make some money together. My mother's still living together. No, no, but you you gotta change your tune. You gotta come out like the, what you've been saying recently is like he's not the guy. You gotta stamp it that he's the guy. He ain't the guy. He no, you gotta that stamp it that he's the guy for you. I'm to, never giving nobody no stamp, no credit. If you that's that, rap. If you, you that know many rappers who ain't like that, but they mans is like that. Let me tell you who like that. Who. It's, 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 it's niggas from my city. It's like Baby Jamo. His name Baby Jamo, like Young Threat. 
And like we got good rappers too that make great ass music. KP, and they like that. KP Skywalker, yeah, they like that. Like the young niggas from my city like they that. They stand on business. All the young niggas from my city stand on business. Every last one of them, every neighborhood, every complex. I don't care what they is. But I might forget they know about DC though. This why I like I, like the shot shit is unbelievable. I, I, shots the watered down version. Shot no make, way. I swear to God, shots the suburbs compared to DC. If you get one of these real raw DC young fucks, fuck going anywhere else. It's niggas from his block. A million shot glizzies right now. Every record label go look. It's twenty niggas on shot glizzies. Block that young shot Lizzie growing up. If they bigger than him, they bigger than he was back in the day. They threw 200, 300,000 views right now. Okay, let me ask you a question. So if if I say the next time I want you to pull up here, I want you to pull up with two two rappers out there because I, I want to be put on. Pull up with two niggas out there that's like that, that's giving it up, that's lit. I'm bringing two niggas from his block. Stop it. You're, no, you're gonna be petty. I mean, anybody from now, you're gonna be from his petty. block. Dude, his block got the biggest rappers in the DMV, bro. It's five niggas. They the biggest rappers in the DMV. They all from his block. It's just the way the shit designed. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, come on. It's a couple of them, but like all the ones, the ones, like no savage, he locked up the one that got in the mall shooting incident. Oh, yeah, that nigga was wild. He from Shy Block. He the real thing. Shy used him as protection. Like, no, no, no. Shy no. used him as the face guard. I thought him and Shy was like the same type of guy. He liked that. No, Shy the rapper. Was, nigga, I, 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 I seen the video. He's definitely like that. He liked that. Is Shy, he coming back out? Shy the rapper. He they got no time for that shit. Jesus Come on, Christ. like a year. God blessed him. Give him another chance. I feel like he mean more to the society out than in jail. He made a mistake. He's gonna learn from that mistake. He he so far gone in his career. He just needed that. He needed that though. Like what he did in them all, I don't hate to wish that on somebody. And he didn't get a long time from him. He needed that. That's what he needed in life to get him to the next level. He gotta realize he's gonna lose it all. Okay, I, I feel like you were hating on him a little bit, but I gotta ask. Do you think Fat Trail, he's back out. Well, you say, is he locked back up? No, he's not locked up. He Yo, home. His career over. That shit over with. That no, shit. no, no, no. Come on now. That shit over with. Academics. Academics. Let's just be real. Let's be real. Let's just be real. A 32-year-old, a 35-year-old Fat Trail is about to come out and blow up. Let's just be real. To you. Do you feel like Fat Trail about to blow up? To you. Just be real. One if, time. If he get a hot song. Not if. No ifs. Fuck the ifs. Do you feel like Fat Trail about to blow up without an if? It's the DC, it's DC behind him. DC behind him, could. DC behind DC behind Fetro though. Like they like Fetro from Virginia. <laughs> yeah. I'm a real DC nigga. I was born in Greater Southeast Hospital. Everybody know me. I'm real. Watch the nigga on DM and be like, yo, this nigga's from Delaware. <laughs> like, yo. Fuck no, bro. I'm a real Washington. Yeah. I'm really from Washington, DC. I was born in Greater Southeast Washington Hospital from Southeast. This is the gutter of the guts. It don't go. I'm gonna be honest with you. Fat is one of the Bob. most scariest looking rappers. Looks may be deceiving. <laughs> nigga, man. when I look at him, I'm like, whatever they said he did, he did. That type of shit, you know what I mean? Like, yo, he look like he did it. Let me put, let me put him on. Why don't you invite Fat Trail and you sit him right here and you figure him out for yourself? Nah, bro, I have Fat Trail come. Yo, Fat Trail, you come in. Yeah, see, Fat Trail, I do his thing for the demon. Niggas used to look at Fat Trail like his picture used to look like a demon. That niggas used to look like he got. You know what I mean? I put him on more than Wale. You see what I just did? We gotta get your Wale cool back in. Never gonna be cool with Ralph a day in my life. I don't gotta be cool with none of these Who's guys. Ralph? That's Wale real name. I got Wally's number. I'm about to call him right now. Call him. Ralph. Ralphie. Hold on. Wale might be like, yo. Wale told me. I, I, he DM me one day. I dropped a mixtape. He told me, man, your mixtape hot. Keep up the good work. I say, let me get a feature. I say, all right, cool. Let me get a feature. I'm got the biggest mixtape in the city. He told me, no, he can't give me a feature because him and Shaq Lizzie relationship better make uh, something, something, something. I said, damn. Fuck you ain't fuck with him since then? Never fuck with him a damn my life. You told me no shit like that, but I'm a rapper well, or the DMV. Well, maybe he's looking at you like, nigga, I know you watched me have my feet dangled. Sha would never watch me get my feet dangled. Sha said he was in the bathroom. He watched, oh, you know, but he said he was in the bathroom. Sha ain't tell him he was in the bathroom. He just act like he was in the bathroom. He didn't say Wale I was in the bathroom. He didn't talk. We didn't even talk to Wale about him getting hung up the bungalow. Wale just came out there sweaty and shit trying to overplay it. He came out like an hour later. Like he had to let that shit wear off. Who's the weirdest rapper you ran into? Meek Mills. I had a Glock on me. He talking about, no, I had a Smith & Wesson on me. Meek like that, though. Fuck Meek, no. Meek and Burson. Stop Burson. it. Meek and Burson and shit. I'm going to tell you. We had, hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Before you say like nothing. that. A.I.M. really liked that. On my mother. No, no. A.R.I.M. is like that. But before you say I nothing. I damn near had to wear a bulletproof vest before I went to Philadelphia. Like, it was that serious. Like, going to hang out with A.R. for a week and I had to tell my mother, like, if I'm going to call, you call me. It's that serious. With ARI? Yeah, my mother, they living like that. And they all just living like that. Like, Meek like that too, brother. Like what? Like Instagram? I ain't even going on Meek Mills or none of that. But 
Meek ain't no fucking gangster, man. I had a Smith. Why do you think that? Because I had a Smith. And, you know them corny niggas from the hood? If you really from the hood, you're going to know they're going to say something. Anybody that's from the hood going to know this. This is what I'm explaining to you. I had a Smith and Wesson on me. We're in the studio. Me and Shia, we just like this. We sitting down. They making the song. I think it's dun, dun, dun. I think it's the Heaven or Hell song. It's the fat, light-skinned guy in there rapping the hook. They making this song from scratch. He in there rapping the hook. Meek got a couple girls in the studio. Meek, Meek walk in the studio. As he see me, I got the pistol on my lap. He say, damn. That Glock looks sweet. Something, something, something. This is a Smith & Wesson. This motherfucker silver at the top, black at the bottom. Like, it say Smith & Wesson don't look like a Glock. You know a Smith from a Glock anyway. If you be into this, if you in the street, you know a Smith from a Glock, even if you ain't in the guns. I don't know a lot. I'm in the guns. I know I know a Smith & Wesson from a I look straight at Sean. He ain't say that. I swear honest. to God on my mother. Hey, man, hey, Meek Mills, come on, man. You like, y'all gotta stop making me look wild, bro. It just was a gun. It wasn't necessary. Just a pistol. You ain't know the name of it. That's it, bro. Don't make me look wild. I told Shy, yeah, your man wild as shit. You could tell he don't be outside. In my mouth. And we laughed about it. And they just went Nappy and Braids thing. Meek was like that, brother. Yeah, I don't think he had. You know, a, like, I think he got a case for upping at the cops. You didn't hear that? Oh, no. I'm just talking about that situation. Like, from what I get, the vibes I get. So, all right. So, because he ain't know the gun. You... Him and Shaq Glizzy is twin brothers. I swear to God. Him and Meek Mills got the same personality. They acting like them niggas is whores. If real niggas in the room, real niggas going to know they only being protected by who they is and what they got. If they was not who they had or they did not have what they had and they was not who they is. Nobody really vouching for these niggas. Like, Meek Mills is the type of nigga, if he see NBA young boy and him and this men and shit, he ain't getting out no car running up on the chasing no motherfucking NBA young boy and none of them niggas that be on that shit to just be t- like that we know that's on that shit. He'll chase Safari, though. He'll chase Safari ass down a uh, Melrose Street, down a boulevard. So you say he don't like tough with the tough guys? Yeah, like you see what 6ix9ine did to him. 6ix9ine had the car off on them all to smoke. You could have got a little punch off or something or something. He chased Safari. I ain't gonna, did I ever tell you, uh, me and Meek, by the way, me and Meek, Meek is one of my best friends now. That's a fact. We used to be beefing. Not really beefing, because I'm not like beefing with me after this. I ain't beefing with you. Meek. But me, me, me and Meek, we are we're on that. good terms, and thank you to 21 Savage, 21 Savage, that's my brother. Academics friendly as shit. Like, none of you niggas, my man. Fuck you, Meek. You shy, man. I don't give a fuck, man. No, no, me and was going that back and forth at it for a long time. It was just like, yo, it was at the point where it was like, even though I don't really be outside like that, it was like, yo, we got to kill each other or something, right? And we were just like, yo, I like 21, 21's my guy, and 21's his guy. Like, that's what should happen. Meek Mills and Shaq Lizzie is twins, and I'm going to break down how they twin brothers. Shaq Lizzie is the type of nigga, if the relationship don't go his way with his female, he'll take the G-Wagon back and go to jail, like threaten her, threaten her family and all that. Meek Mills is the type of nigga, him and Nikki break up, her house get broken into like a couple of months later and shit like that. They that type of guys. They got female tendencies and shit. They ain't like on no real <laughs> tough shit, man. <laughs> nah, Meek ain't had nothing to do with that. That's, nah, that's think, some L.A. Man. shit. It be happening all the time in L.A. That's what bro. you think, man. These niggas be weirdos, man. These niggas are creeps, man. These niggas... It's a facade, an image. Without that microphone and out that camera, you can't tell me nothing about these guys. All your opinions come from a microphone and camera. You will never, ever tell me or judge a person through a microphone or a camera, bro. You don't know these guys from nothing. You ain't never seen them did nothing, so don't give them no credit till you've seen them did something. Now, at, me, least a, at least me. a police report said such and such did such and such, such, such. Yeah, the police report said Meek did this. No, man, Philadelphia don't know bro, nothing about that. he was on that. probation for like 10, 10, 12 years. Fuck cares about probation. I caught one charge. I caught one. I was ju- as a juvenile which some juvenile? I did juvenile life. I had juvenile life. I caught, I stole a cell phone at a subway station. Petty armed robbery. I mean, not armed robbery. Petty thief. Like, and got juvenile life. Who the fuck is? I was on. That was my first charge. Nobody cared about all that. Like, I ain't saying it be gangster or preach the gangster or nothing. But me going to rock a prison reform, rock of that. That shit. Like, he like the weekend kid. Like, coming to the hood on the weekends. Like, I can't really say It's like, it's it's real. Like, I can't really explain it, bro. It's real. I don't know about me. It, it, it's, well, I don't know Shy that much. But Meek, I feel like I've seen enough that. <sighs> you know what I'm saying. You ever seen Lil Baby go back to his block and shit? Like, all right, even when they made it and shit. All right. I seen Angela Lee. Interview young boy and shit. He was on his block. He was NBA young boy at this time too. Like they outside with it, like on the block, like hood grimy and all that. I be saying little baby, he might be on his block. He might take the whole block, buy him tennis shoes and shit like that. Meek Mills do it for Philadelphia. Like what Pacific neighborhoods he about to go back to his trenches where he like he do it for Philly. Like maybe a, she might own the street or something. But he ain't just the populist person from there. He, like that street don't know him for really like out here before his time putting shit. 
And work ain't freestyle battle ass nigga. Me, first of all, bro, I was doing so much gangster shit. I ain't had time to be on a motherfucking corner freestyle battle. You get your ass shot on the corner battle. That's I'm loose. I'm lacking. I know he wasn't doing nothing. I'm just telling you, niggas not gonna appreciate this. I don't give a fuck. They, what they got money? That's all it is. Is money. Okay, money. Then all you're not safe in DC. We ain't beefing or nothing. DC. I'm I I'm safe in DC. That's where I'm from. That's more where I'm safe at. Listen, I am DC. Not, not I squash my issues with me because Meek look like he. When was I say I am DC, out. not DC like my city, my state. When I mean DC, I'm talking like Meek. Like don't you know you got DC Dream Chasers? I'm really from DC, like the DC, the heart and soul of the the United States of America. This is the the foundation. I ain't from Dream Chasers. I ain't you know what I'm saying. When I say I am DC, not gangster. Like I am no, DC. Like no, I run no, it. All the I don't run DC at all. Again, my perspective is gonna be different from your perspective, but Meek. I ain't got nothing against me, man. I'm just letting you know, like that shy man, bro. I don't like anybody. That's his side of the world. I ain't in the, in the industry though. Like I ain't in the industry. I ain't gotta be friends with none of these guys. I ain't gotta be none or none. Which rapper have you ran to? Be like, yo, he seems the most closest to what a nigga would be outside of this music shit. By the way, why did you have a long like, way? Really? Oh yeah, he do kind of like. Yeah, yeah. You can't use him like he he kind of he gives that type of Jeffrey, really. Okay, really, this nigga, really, this nigga. weird, really? weird appearance. The realest nigga I ever been around. Why is that? He in court, but realest nigga I ever been around. Well, let's not bring none of that. Like, what was it about his demeanor? Like, how how did he treat you? How did he? Real nigga never came off arrogant. Never came off cocky. Then he was a celebrity shit. He wasn't even a celebrity at the time of me. I didn't know who he was. He was a celebrity in Atlanta, though. But me, I didn't know who he was at all. Shit, I guess he was in the kitchen telling me who he was. And he was right there telling me who he was. They was trying to get me to convince me that one day he going to be the biggest robber in Atlanta. And I was not buying that shit. And you see what happened. He was the biggest robber in Atlanta. When you were around him, and I'm going off your litmus test. When you were around him at that point, you hearing, you don't know what's going to be what. You don't really know, nigga. You're like, are you thinking, this is a real nigga right here. Or you'd be like, man, I don't believe this shit. Real nigga. He never, I never knew he was a rapper too shy because he told me that. Like, I just thought, real nigga. That's all I, I can't really say too much. I can't get into detail because with his history, mm, but real so. nigga though, bro. That's all I can say. Like, that's the only one I'm stamping. Only one I can say. Thug. Damn. Thug. Like me. What about Dirk? I never, I never been around, I never Other been around. Other that Dirk. situation, obviously. You In the club, the yeah. And him personally, we I wasn't. And into it personally with him But I fuck with Dirk I'm a fan I told you I'm still a fan Of the music and the outside I'm a fan of that shit I've been getting into Chicago a lot But I don't, do, I don't be this OTF and shit They be like Man you dig riding this and that. I'm a fan I fuck with Dirk y'all I only, only know Chicago Because of Lil Dirk Like in that way The Chief Keef and shit Like Lil Dirk Keep Chicago alive right now Without Lil Dirk Music Chicago goofy and shit Has any artist You know Based on a lot of stories You're told And I think a lot of people Look at you Because they're like Okay you know, why would he lie, especially given none of these stories he's making it seem like he's Hercules? I'll give you one more fact story. CIAA weekend, a month after Wale and Sha, now I ain't going to say Sha because Sha ain't really saying that. A month after Wale tried to give me the back door Meek Mills, I end up with Meek Mills, CIAA weekend. Wait, 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 wait. He didn't really try to get you back door Meek Mills now. Yeah, like I ain't going to say back door him, but it was like. He wanted you to do something? No way. All right, the message was delayed to Sha. I'm shy of enforcement. So who the fuck gonna do it? <laughs> so I'm just saying. You at least shut it down. Meek was moving militant that then. I would have never jumped off a bridge like that. I would have never played like that. I never did no shit like that. I was yep. surprised while they was even lip boxing like that. Just saying that shit. Hey, by the way, before me and Meek got cool, it was, on, it was a bunch of cars and there. Meek hopped out of a bulletproof vehicle. It was just like, listen, I'm. I'm ready for war, nigga. I don't know how you moving, but I'm moving like that. And I was like, damn, that nigga, nigga, that nigga Meek is moving like he's in Iraq. I'm like, yo. Yeah, he'll pull up on the academics and a safari. Sound about right. Yeah, nigga, I think he'll pull up on any nigga he got a problem with. False. I don't know why you think that. I seen him outside with 6 9 at the car. He wasn't aggressive as he was when he was chasing Safari. That was so funny. Hey, oh, that's what I was trying to tell you. You know what's the funny thing? And, and forgive me for saying this part, but when me and him was squashing our beef, me and him, we best friends. I don't laugh. We best friends. 
This was the oddest part about what he said. Yo, he was like, yo, he said to me, he said, yo, he's, you ain't gonna believe me when I say this. It, like, I get like the story. He's like, yeah. I told you, you might as well yo, not say he said me, He's like, yo, he's like, yo, James Harden told me that you and 6 9 was plotting to pop out on me. And I was like, <laughs> James Hart <laughs> Yo I couldn't even nigga, nigga That nigga only exists to me On FanDuel And on 2K You said James I couldn't believe it He was just happy That James Harden Even said that If he said that Like yeah, fuck what he was talking no, about No 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 But imagine James Harden Be like yo Meek You gotta watch out bro I think that snitch ass nigga 6ix9ine and that pussy nigga academics, they finna hop out on you Yo I can't even believe him saying that Nah But when I, I remember saying I was like yo what but I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I did. T I told six nine six six. Yo, I think sometimes you trying to like all that stitching shit, whatever, whatever. You trying to get too much credit, like a real, like not saying Meek not a real dude, but like it could have went really left for you. Like you were fortunate that it didn't go left for you with that situation. You shouldn't be hopping out on people, especially the people who are like that. They might not really have that type of welcoming or, oh, you know what? I I know cameras is on. I ain't going to do nothing. There's some people who crash out. He never hopped out on nobody that was like that, though. That, Academics, that, are you like that? Let's be honest. No. Nah, I ain't like that. That's what I'm telling you. He no, know but, that. No, no, no. Uh, I, I want to get to it. Safari not like him, that. He him and that. AR Rap got into a little bit. Mm. And he ain't do nothing about it. They squashed that shit. <sighs> Hey, y'all came to my neighborhood. He I pulled said, up on Drake one time. I heard about it. I ain't going to say too much about it. I heard right, about he it. He pulled up on Drake. What the hell? If anybody in them, I'm just here to tell y'all besides y'all. Listen to me, y'all. I'm ready for the struggle. My mother's in the ghetto right now after this interview, y'all. I ain't one of these rap ass niggas. If he pulled up on Drake, we all know we can pull up on Drake. What you going to do to Drake? Nothing. Nothing at all. There's nobody. Nobody's doing nothing to Drake. It's not even possible, bro. You might as well, you might as well hit the president. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, stop playing, bro. That's publicity stunts, bro. Man ain't doing nothing to Drake. He don't have enough power to do nothing to Drake. Come on, man. Meek Fence ain't that big to do nothing to Drake, bro. Yeah, but, 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 but. I'm, I'm going to be honest. <sighs> no, never mind. I, I, I'm gonna just move past. Make yeah. it sound gangster. Make it look as gangster as possible. Make it I look like scare I heard tactics. Him, I heard him on Clubhouse talking crazy to this you one young dude. You heard him on Club. That's even worse than you heard a gangster on Clubhouse, bro. A real gangster get killed for saying something on Clubhouse. Man, I'm, I'm just like entertainment. The dude he was talking about is it, it, like a, allegedly a real dude, and I was just like. I'm glad I squashed probably. Uh, that's I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I'm glad I squashed. Hey, listen. Like, listen, I know people love this, all oh, this joke shit. I'll beef with the Saucy Santanas. They, they ain't gonna do nothing. Nah, I'll kill Saucy Yeah, Santana. I say, I, I. That nigga, that nigga Meek, that nigga Meek was moving like he he on some other shit. I seen and that beef. I was about to, I was about to say something too. I was about to tag you in. I looked though, when you tagged me in though, the cricket though, I wasn't gonna go off on him because I'm on some young Miami shit myself. I was gonna try to be like, man, yeah, academics, you wild as shit. Like, I was gonna play you to try to, oh, I'm shit, really trying I to feel get that. Not feel that. Her, you feel that. I feel that. I don't give a fuck about him, but he was gonna get you killed after that. That's cool though. I was shot Lizzie protection. So now I'm about to sit right here and tell them, like, saucy in your community, y'all just calm down, keep it what it is. It's no enforcement <laughs> in town. I come fuck you up if I can tell you. Yo, but, 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 you know, you can't fuck with young Miami, did he? Diddy's like that. You ain't hear about this story? Here, I seen it. I was there. You you don't want to be dangling off the balcony. It, it, yo, if I see those shoes off the balcony, hey, hold on, what would y'all do? You know see, I'm the come I got to ask your mans now. So now, we all chilling. He go out there for some water. You see he dangling off the balcony. You walk, you, you, we pull the curtain back. All we see is the shoes. What we doing? I already know how to play it. We going on all dates, all they all on lower floors, like all first floor dates. We go all basement <laughs> dates, no second floor dates. We ain't about no balcony, we ain't about <laughs> shit you can get hung off of. Hold on, hold on, but if you pull up in a car, there's a bomb underneath it. That's what kind of fucked me up. Nah, shit. Some little car company is that for? They came out with the bomb proof junk. The, I seen Mr. Beast blow one of them up on YouTube. It's like a bomb proof something. Yeah, but I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That's what I was trying to tell you about Meek. Yo, me, before me and Meek squash it, like we best friends now. Like Meek's like, like we twins. You keep Yo. screaming out. You just because I don't want no beef with Meek no more. You keep saying that because you know I'm going off and you want to be like this. More so like. Yeah, he doing him, but I'm in neutral. I'm still your twin brother. No, no, no. Are we twins? Me and Meek, we twins. Like, twins. So, what y'all about, about to go to Sixers game together? Nah, but, but like, Meek been losing weight. I been trying to lose weight, too. All right, don't you know this we scenario? Twins. Meek took that picture with that white dude that owned the Sixers. Nah, wait, no, 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 no
But, but, but. You said that's your twin. Just me and my twin in them. You know, me gonna hit me and be like, yo, I know that pussy ass nigga. And Glizzy was talking shit about me. Like, we about to move to, we about to, move to DC for a whole month. He ain't gonna do that. You know what I mean? Like, you might, like, I'll be like, yo, don't worry. Like, I don't do backdoors. So I'm gonna tell you, like, yo, bro, I think you should leave DC. Yo, just go to, go to like Bahamas or something for like a whole month till my man leaves. You feel me? DC, auntie, just shit, auntie. Young niggas run that joint. I don't got, I can't, bro. I don't even got no city. So far as the streets, like the streets, I ain't know no street shit. Them young niggas run okay, the world. Okay, which part of DC is um is, is like Shy Glizzy the king of? It's Probably south, like, right? He said south on the track. You like playing? Adams Morgan. What's that? What the out of towners come? They smoke weed, drink, and hang out and shit. Shit like that, black trucks come through and shit, asparagus, salmon and shit. Cool little vibe, man. You get beat up and jump down there. Really? I mean, you probably can get shot, but like if you get shot, it's probably a goofy black dude trying to rob somebody. What's your relationship with like Baltimore and shit like that? Baltimore, I don't really got no relationship with Baltimore. I got homeboy, but he on his way to jail. He got to turn himself in a couple months. My homeboy. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, yo, I'm about to be out that area. You know who I'm rolling when I'm coming? Come, come on, there. You got to tell me if I'm good. Who you rolling with? Got to roll with Shorty Shorty. Everybody know that. Hell out of there. Shorty, shorty. I'm good though, right? Yeah, you good to get your ass robbed just like him. Stop it, man. Yo, stop playing my mans, bro. Shorty, shorty's lit, nigga. The fuck? In Baltimore, shorty, shorty. As a rat, he told he on paperwork. He moved to California and started. Whoa. Repping the game. Time out. Time I got out. his paperwork. I can no, send it to you. No, time out. No, time out. I can't let you. I can't. That's my man. I love his music. His music is amazing, too. Make time good out. music. Definitely. Time good. out. Time out. Time out. A lot of people respect him out there. I, by the way, what you're saying, I never heard. Bro. Nobody ever, nigga. His, hey, you know know his whole city know he hot. His whole city say he hot. And it's hot. Use your comments. You just ain't reading them. Nigga, you're capping. I ain't gonna look at that. You think you capping. You're I, capping, bro. bro. Shorty, shorty hot. He told him somebody, somebody, I think they shot him in the ass and some more shit. Right, right, right. Hold on. What's your issue with him, man? I don't got one. I told you all these guys just come to my IG live and be. Talking shit to me out of nowhere. You was talking shit about him first. Then what you say about him? Nothing. I got into it. I won't be honest with you. Shorty, shorty kind of comes across as one of the niggas who's real, but he also secure. Like he makes great music. He don't necessarily be making a lot of gang banging music, nigga. But like he like that type shit. You feel me, man, bro? If these niggas like that, I'm John Wick, Wayne Perry. I'm all that shit in one. Like God damn, but academics. If they like that, bro, I'm rich. If they like that, I'm him. I don't even want to be gangster. But if these niggas like that, what am I? If they like that, what am I? Nigga, shorty, shorty's not. Nigga, you see that video? That nigga slapped the fuck out of that nigga, bro. Shit might have been staged. Like, no, bro, it's not. Take, let me get no, her off. Hey. Let me jump off the you stage. You got to show some love to shorty. Uh, shorty's that guy. First of bro, all. Why, why you ain't not cool? I don't know him. He from Baltimore. He came to my live talking shit one day, and I found out he snitched. He got some guys locked what, up. What would you say about him, be honest? I just told him he was a rat. I got his paperwork. Like, come on. He didn't tell nobody now. Yeah, listen. Read your comments after this. I hey, love listen, your comments. I'm an I'm a civilian, so like he's a good rapper. Don't get me wrong; he make good songs. Listen, I sit here and accept when people call six nine a rat. Yeah, yeah, he took the stand. I get it, cool. But y'all can't throw this like little jacket on everybody. I don't have nothing against. Who the hell did he tell him? I don't have the guys who robbed him. He I think they shot robbed. him too. He did. They took a chain. They said he bought him. You know he's from Baltimore. I know he's from Baltimore. He never nigga. ask yourself this, brother, brother. If he got a chain to go out of him. Do they have gangs in Baltimore? Like they rap flags. Like what? What's his flag? What is he? What do he rap? He, he Hoover. Uh, is it Hoover's in Baltimore? Yes, it's clearly he's there. You don't need to see. I can tell you don't know. It's no Hoover's in Baltimore. He started gang banging in California. He started gang banging when he got there. He didn't know, they don't know about that shit in Baltimore. He has a whole new identity. I can't tell if you're trolling me. Trolling? Nah, I am a good ass troll, but I ain't trolling. Not right now. Shorty's my man's. Nah, Shorty, Shorty. Make good music. He cool, but... I'm going to call Shorty after this and be like, Shorty, just, just, just to clarify, you never got none of your jewelry confiscated. I think he's going to say you're a fucking liar. Say it again. I, somebody text me about my keys. I said, I know he's going to say you're a fucking liar. I know nothing ever got... Yo, Shorty's like a real nigga, man. I go, yo, I fuck with Shorty Shorty. It's heavy. Real, it's real niggas in Baltimore, though. Like, like real ones. Like, stand-up niggas. Like, I see Baltimore niggas that get money. Like, Lil X. Like, I don't... I know him. 
like I don't know I don't know a rack of Baltimore people like rappers. See, let me get some shout outs. Some Baltimore shout like Rowdy Racks. Uh, what's what's the fat guy? I even got into it with the fat guy. I remember the Gucci and Prada and something, something, something. Uh, nah. uh, Jake. I think it's yeah, Money Jake. Yeah, Money Jake. Like they um, um YG Tech. YG Tech. That's one of my. That's one of my favorite Baltimore rappers. Shorty, sure, yeah. he I- like that. Ask the people YG Tech. Or oh, shorty, shorty. YG Tech is Baltimore, one hundred percent. And shorty, shorty, probably two percent. You can't even compare YG Tech to shorty, shorty. It's like it's gonna be disrespectful. Man, ain't nobody. Lit more. I'm a, well, no disrespect to the Baltimore area. Ain't nobody lit more lit than the shorty, shorty. That's my guy. The music is too fire. Wait, but nah, that's the thing about it though. They lit. They like, like he lit and like whatever his world is. But like in the world I'm in. He ain't more lit than YG, he ain't more lit than uh tech and uh YG tech in, in, in my world. In the real world. Maybe on some some gang banging weirdo singing, jump off the stage, punching nigga and shit. Type shit. He stood on business though, could you be honest? He keeps talking about niggas stood on business. He could have shot that man in the face right there. That would have been standing on business. He jumped off and assaulted a fucking white boy. That's nah, not nah, standing nah. on business. I don't like when people say that because now, now you're trying to trick him out of his position. I told you. If I he used shot to be somebody the, in the face, he's out of here. I told you I used to be the crash dummy. If these niggas ain't anything more than I told you I used to be I came from being a crash dummy. So if you ain't a crash dummy, I ain't gonna respect you. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like back in the time, I'm saying like when I was on Gangsta Time, I had no sense. There was no limit to when I'm going to go. Like, it's, it's like it is what it is. I'm going with the environment. These niggas have limits and shit. They don't have no, like, they'll punch a nigga in the venue. I will shoot a nigga in the venue. I'm telling you that. Did, did you ever go to the West Coast? Nah. So you were most, like, down south, like. Yeah, just Atlanta traveling. and shit. Just, uh, like, Atlanta. What was the Atlanta shit? rapper you ran into and you're like, oh, okay. What, that was, that was living like that or they just. Shit, any type of rapper. I ran into every rapper there is, bro. I knew the Migos before the Migos was the really Migos. Man, Twenty One Savage. No, I don't know him though. He wasn't. He wasn't the out. The realist. He wasn't right. out no time. 2013, 21 Savage. What? Okay, no. Okay. Twenty thirteen. You ever ran to Fetty Wap? Fetty Wap. Yeah, we seen him in the club. No, just club appearances. Never really ran into him like nothing like that. Twenty thirteen. What about like Walker and everybody like that? No, Walker had a relationship with Shot. That was more so them. I ain't really. But I knew QC, I knew Pete, the guy that owned QC, long way was trying to get shot and signed to him with the Migos. Flipper, flipper, um, flipper, 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 flipper. Yeah, I know him. Of Real course. nigga. Real nigga, definitely. There you go. I walked in the studio, Flipper got fucking Uzi on him. Uh, like, like, oh, he was chilling with Uzi? No, Uzi on him in the oh, studio. Oh, shit. That's back in the day, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. I thought he was this. I ain't even know he rap. I swear to God, I thought he was the Migos security, bro. He was He's like, like that. He, yeah, he was. He, he, I ain't gonna say he liked that, but from what I seen him out, he, he was. He they was treating him like he was like that. He was I ain't never seen business. him do nothing. He was definitely standing on business. In there. Damn. I don't know if he really was going, but I definitely get skippers. Hey, like, did you see that whole thing with Ti and Ti son? Yeah, I made a video about that. Ti son's a fucking illiterate, bro. I'm hold really hold on, it, hold on, because this is very important. Cause even though when you talk about um, talking about Shia, you say where he's from, is it a possibility you could grow up in the burbs and still stand on business? You could be a real street nigga. Not at all. What do you mean? It's no such thing. No, what do you mean? There's no such thing. It's no such if thing. If you like that, you like that. No, it's you not. You could also bro. be grow up in the in, in the hood came. and be a goofy, right? No, bro. If you was born in the suburbs, you became like that because you seen that shit on the video. You train yourself to be like that. You wasn't born like that in the ghetto. I was born like that. I gotta be like that. Or I'm gonna get my ass stepped on out here. If I'm if I'm acting anything less than what they acting like out here, I'm a fucking piece of food. When I walk out here in the suburbs, there's no pressure on my life at all or nothing. I got three patterns. I could go be a banker. I can be a gangster. I can be whatever. They always pick the gangster route because that's. That shit don't come with friends. My boy said you drop him any hood, he's like that. He's staying on business. Who? That's what King said. I know a couple niggas like that. Matter of fact, I just seen Diddy's son throw up GDK. Like, I don't even like saying that. Because to keep it real, I feel like there's a lot when you start shit, shit like that. But maybe some of these rich kids, they stand on business now. Him saying stand on business, he got that shit from somewhere. He seen he from the suburbs. Nobody in the suburbs he, ever. He did make some, make some clips about nobody that. Nobody ever in the suburbs be outside like we stand on business. He learned that shit from in the hood. 
He seen that shit and learned it. Nobody from in his suburbs be like, you capping. The word cap, he learned that from somewhere. Everything a suburb kid do is learn. It's secondhand. It's not firsthand nature. Everything that I went through was firsthand nature. I did not want to eat noodles every fucking day. That's all the fuck we had. I ain't go outside and want to get shot at. This is what the fuck happened in this neighborhood I was born in. You feel what I'm saying? Like, Did you hear his song? He said... He was talking about like people like the fights he got into. He said if niggas was really like that with him, they would have shot him. I'm like, oh shit, this nigga gangster. Nah, this nigga, this nigga, hey, like, hey. This nigga's embarrassing. No, his, no, no, no. He probably got it from his dad though. You see your dad, your dad is squabbly. Your dad went a, 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 a little flips neighborhood, was doing his thing. Yo, you ain't see his dad just pull up to that club? Ain't no bottles getting sold, ain't no sections. That nigga probably learned it. Could you learn gangsterism? Because I ain't gonna lie. I'm realizing I'm like, maybe I ain't really had no gangsters around me because I could have learned that shit and I would have really been standing on business. You with can these learn things. gangsterism, but it's it's acting. It's, it's not called learning act gangsterism. It's acting. You acting. Like you can learn to strip. Like when you see Say what's the one of them gangster movies Boys in the Hood Them actors Them guys don't really act Like that they acting But they mastered the role So good They hood legend movies You feel what I'm saying They actors They learned this somewhere And created that That shit ain't really in them You can go in a liquor store And shoot somebody on a movie It ain't no consequences to it Are you really gonna pull this trick And put blood on your tennis shoes With consequences on the back end No Cause that shit ain't in you I think T.I. Saw would definitely do it, man. I think he said Do something. what? What you mean? Yo, he said no nigga never disrespect. Yo, he almost, well, he tried. No to nigga never disrespected him because he live in a big ass house with a fist around him. He don't even see niggas to disrespect him. If that nigga was in D.C., that nigga would be staying on business. That nigga was in D.C., his ass would have been robbed. Like, Stop a little, oh, my mother, a little light skinned nigga with a bush, he birdie as shit. What are you talking about? T.I. Yeah. is father. Oh, my God. They're going to, oh, my Everybody got 32 teeth. They say he got 42. Yeah, he's, he's staying on business with everything. That Glock of thirty three. Shit, I I hear he you know he, he, remember remember his dad. DC was, too much for him, bro. He might drop his ass stop off. Stop it. He might need it. He might need to go to. He got to go to a country town first. That nigga was that nigga be mobbing around Zone Six in Atlanta. I get Ti son a wedgie. Stop it. Like the he so Ti son was in in DC right now. That nigga would be looking like that nigga might be looking like Wayne Perry. Come on, let's keep it a beat. Hey, Mo, they said T.I. son gonna be Wayne Perry. I hate, <laughs> I'm, joking, I'm joking. I hate the shit out of our image. Like I told y'all, our image fucked up. That's because we let Wale and Shaq Lizzie represent us. What? No, I'm serious. Wale and Shaq Lizzie Wayne represent- Wayne Perry stood on business. You know, you know Shaq and Wale. Yeah. That's why you, that's your representation of DC, right? So when you think of niggas, you think of like them type of niggas. So that's why you can fit King in there because he fit in with them type no, no, of niggas. No, 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 no. That's why you doing that no, shit. No, no. That is crazy. No, that's, that's cap. Because you would have never no. said King can go to fucking Louisiana and be NBA young boy or he can go to the rack. You'd feel like he'd have died in a day if you were sent no, no, to the rack. No, no. Fuck you sent him to DC for because we, we sweet. You do, you do a shot we crazy. sweet, ain't we? I don't put shot in the same bucket as. as so why you ain't send his ass to Chicago? All right, if he go to Chicago, is he going to be the next King Von? No, but you know, DC now, niggas like Wale. Well, if you go downtown, no. he'd be a pickpocketer. You know what I mean? If he like downtown Gold Coast, he'd be a good pickpocketer. I don't know if he would be on O Block type shit. Niggas died down the Gold Coast. Now, that's true too. But when he pickpockets on it, what I'm saying is that, like, he, I feel like Shaw would stand on business in DC. And I feel like King could stand on business in DC. I wouldn't say Shaw. Shaw might know some people that can stand on business. Like, him personally standing on some business. Fuck me. You ain't here with T.I. son? Nigga, I can bring you to the band, though. God damn. That nigga was talking about some shit. Yeah, he can bring you to the band, though. Who the fuck can't take somebody to the band, though? Do you know the ins and outs of how the band, though, work, though? He know it. He might know the shell of it, but it's like an inside out to the band, though. Like, it's rules in the band, though. You only know from being in the band, though. You ain't know the rules in case you've been in there. You don't you know think he's been in there? I don't feel like he know the rules because he said, I can take you to the band, though. You can't take no nigga Not to the like, band, though. That was kind of crazy. It was like, it was like, nigga, like I can take, you to, the, I can take like, you to the Illuminati, nigga, where you're not in the Illuminati. If you tell me... He you didn't got on camera and said, I can take you to the band, though. That's bad. That's rule number one. You fucked up already. You tell like, a nigga you take him to the spot. God damn. Now, I still feel like T.I. son gangster, though. Gangster? That's what you about to say, the gay. No, That's no, gangster. Uh, no, he, I think he really liked that. Like what? Okay. All right. No, and I'm, I'm not bullshit I give Boosie some more credit than T.I. No, no. I'm not bullshit at all. You mentioned at that time in your life, you didn't have much. And because of that, you're on crash out timing. I know 
T.I. son has a lot, but for whatever reason, it could be fucked up in the head. He's still on crash out timing. He wants to prove himself. He wants to crash out. He's the nigga who is going to be locked up with like the trust fund of $5 million. He don't care. He's he ready to crash of, out. He the type of nigga. All right. It's even, all right. It's certain type of niggas, right? All right. See, if a suburb kid shoot a nigga. He from the suburbs. He ain't really getting no. Yeah, you call the body, but nigga still try your ass. Little southeast nigga that shooting that pistol. He shooting that pistol like that's what he on. You know he shooting that pistol. We gonna still try you. I think we gonna King think you at a couple niggas. I ain't say everybody. You ain't hear so? Anybody can fight. Oh my god! You saw my niggas who you jumped him and how he spun on you me. You trolling me now? I, I'm not even trolling you at all. Hey, if it's you crazy. was doing a, if you was doing a two man, you know a two man is right. Like I don't if you know do, what a two man is. You know two man? man? What's the two man? Like it's you and your man's, and then y'all about to go link two bitches. Yeah, I thought oh, I bet. I thought you was talking. I, I thought she was talking about something like two man to me was me and my man hopping in the car. He driving, I'm hopping out the slide door. That's what the two man was to me. But go ahead. Okay, no, that's I don't know what type of shit. That must, that must be some decent. No, no that's what I thought. I thought it was on a no, two man mission. No. I'm thinking we are, I'm thinking you went left. You went for gangster shit to bitches. I ain't know. Nigga, wait, hold on. Wait, first of all. It, you can't have one person hopping out of the car to do all that when one driver. Why be like, can't you? You got to be in three or more. Why the who the fuck no? Nigga, I watch all the surveillance for this. Is, ain't never like just two people. Yeah, and then all them niggas go to jail. It's too many people. Hmm. Okay, you on a two man. It's you and your man. So y'all get bitches. This ain't the other shit. Okay, who would you pick to go go on a two man with? It's either you and Sha or you and Diddy. I'm going with Sha because I know. I ain't never see me. I ain't can't put no weird shit on shot. First of all, now they said you put me, the weird shit on shot. Let me let me clear something. You had it like yo that nigga was cooking up the motherfucking fruit punch with the liquor in it with let like me, ten quaaludes. Let me, let me like clear you something up real quick. Cosby shit. I am a professional troll. That's what I do. Like I'm a professional Shaq Glizzy hater. I my job is to hate on Shaq Glizzy. I'm designed to hate on Shaq Glizzy. Like my career is built off hate on Shaq Glizzy. You gonna hate Shaq Glizzy so much, he gonna hate it. That's my job. Hold on, would you fuck Shaq Glizzy's chick? I fuck his mother. Yo, you wildin', bro. I swear to God, I would. I stick dick all in his speeches. Nah, nah, come on, now we can't do that. Come on, now we gotta have some respect. What about like a girlfriend or ex? That man posted my sick mother on his Instagram page with 1.2 million followers, and I said I just a fuck his mother. His mother bad though. I hit her. Well, what do you mean you posted your mother? I got a mother. She bipolar schizophrenic. She had one of her bipolar moments outside tripping out, acting crazy like a, a erratic person. Shot Lizzie posted on his Instagram page. And shit. Like, 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 oh, let's help her? Him. No, fuck no. Like, here go his goofy ass mother. You're lying. I swear. Okay, that's deep. That's why you see what I do. What I do, what I do. Okay, that's so deep. Like, that's ah. deep right there. Damn, Shy didn't tell me that shit. Yeah. Shy was just like, I don't know this goofy. This goofy just keep talking about me. Man, like, that shit on YouTube to this day. Fuck. All right. So wait, so who's you on a two man? So you're saying you would go with? I'm gonna go with Shy because I would I be hearing about Diddy and shit. I ain't trying to go. First of all, I ain't even trying. I'm trying to. No offense, Diddy. Don't do nothing to me. I swear to God, you got enough money to do something to me. Don't do nothing to me. I don't want no trouble. First of all, I'm just trying to get my YouTube boom and shit. I ain't even mean to leak your other secret. I'm gonna shut Hold the fuck up. You know, Diddy be like yo, bitch ass nigga. I just done sell this shit for thirty million. This bitch ass nigga telling stories about me dangling that That's nigga. What I said. That nigga while lay by his dreads off the thing. You see, you know I what I mean? That, that, that story shit? funnier. Yeah. If you said he was dangling by his dreads, nigga. I know. But that I wasn't was crazy, this the, right? That's the kicker, though. I wasn't trying to out Wale or make it fun. All right, we want to call Wale, man. Wale, man, you got to come call clean. him up. Man, man, I don't got his number. I just want to see if he was nervous. Like, I right, don't call him. I was lying. Fuck no. Damn. These niggas scared of me. I, all these niggas scared of me. All Wale? What? Terrified. Nigga won't say nothing to me. He won't speak to me. That nigga sung Lotus Flower Bomb. I used to. Lotus Flower Bomb, Flower Fries in the rain. She gets me high and teach me all the sounds of love. Fire. That's the wildest shit. So wait, so so you say you wouldn't go on a two man, but yeah, the, the Diddy two man look like it's weird because I'm not going nowhere with he Diddy. He gonna bring in twenty other men, right? Like that's the craziest thing about it. It's say yo, Diddy. Have you ever here. been to one of Diddy parties? Nah, yo, you got invited. Yo, you tell me this. Like you are good. You're a good like metric of are you gonna get back door? You know why? You peep the no jumper back door, nigga. You was gonna be viral. You know what's funny? They would have sent me the clip first. Yo, post this. Yo, we got that bitch ass nigga. He thought it was sweet out here. Uh huh. Okay, so now I'm in London. It's about like two, three weeks ago, right? It's two, three weeks ago. I bet three weeks ago. I'm in London. Now me and Diddy ain't never talking life. Now I done some business with his companies. They pay me some shit. You know, just a little post and shit like that. It ain't nothing too crazy. I bet. But me and him never talk. You know, he got like he be having like mad bitches, right? Like everybody know, young Miami's a side chick. 
I'm just keeping it real. Just like how you be having your YouTube, I just tell the truth. So I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, young Miami, that's a side chick right there, blah, blah, blah. That got on her radar. She tight. She don't like that I'm calling her a side chick. She want to be called the main girl. She was also beefing with another side chick. So it's fucking her up. She started going crazy at me, crazy at me. I'm like, yo, bro, I just spoke the truth. You're the side chick. All right, whatever, whatever. I'm thinking it's all good. Never had this nigga hit me up before. Diddy started hitting me up. Now, I know what it is already. I ain't going to cap with you. I ain't even answer the phone calls. I knew he was going to say. Because other people was hitting me, saying he was hitting me up. Like, yo, listen, yo, you fucking up my man pimping. I get it. I'm a nigga. I'm not no hater. We all get bitches. I'm not supposed to, even if I'm me and you into it, I'm not supposed to get into your shit and fuck it up with the fifth and sixth bitch you fucking. So I know I'm kind of wrong, but I was getting at this bitch. I had to let her know. Like, nigga, it's big acts. Stop fucking playing with me. All right, cool. So I'm chilling now. All right, so Diddy didn't hit me. I'm like, yo, I even came out publicly. I said, yo, Diddy hit me. Yo, I got nothing more to say about his side. I mean, his girl, whatever. Like, I'm done saying that shit. Bet. You didn't get hung off the balcony, did you? Nah, I ain't meet him. I meet him yet. But he went on the breakfast club and he said some shit. I don't know if it was pointing at me. He was like, yo. He said, yo. And everybody who keep talking about young Miami, blah, blah. Like, I'm one of them guys. Like, I'll show up to your crib. The whole time I'm like, what do you mean show up to my crib? Nigga, you don't even know where I live at. But I'm like, it's Diddy. He's probably daddy. Like, so what? I'm like, so now I'm thinking he really told him to me. But I'm like, I'm done talking about your side. I mean, your girl. Whatever whatever you want to call her. I ain't going to call her. Her side. I get it. She, it's hurting the feelings. Bet. So I'm in London now. They bring me around all the ends. Like, I'm like, yo, listen, man. I know they got me with good people around me. This and third people tapped in. So I say, nah, y'all can bring me to all the hoods. Not really, but I'm, I'm cool going with the, the flow. I go to everywhere, blah, blah. Third night in, they say, yo, yo, you know the after party's tonight. I said, what is this? They say, yo, Diddy got some shit going on. I said, I don't know what my relationship with him because the last time he was hitting me about talking about this, I mean, this girl, not his side. So I'm like, all right, bet. What else going on? They said, we got a hookah joint. Ain't got nothing to do with I said, I'm going to go do that. I tell them what I want to do. They come back literally 15 minutes later, and they said, yo, oh, we just talked to Diddy. I said, what the fuck my plans got to do with Diddy? How do you just talk to him? They said, Diddy wants you to pull up. <laughs> so I don't know about pulling up. I said, uh, I don't know if we cool because we never really had a conversation. I had done the conversation the first. I said, come me and him just get on the phone just make sure we don't, we don't even, you know, like we cool before I pull up. It said, Diddy's only willing, he said, Diddy going to talk to you, but you got to show up to the club. He going to come outside and come talk to you. That just sounded a little bit too odd for me. Lo and behold, I never showed up. You know what I mean? Uh, you want me to tell you? What do you think was happening? Is that a back door or what? You ever been on a bus? Of course I've been on a bus. How many bus? A bus got like two doors. Yeah. If you ain't at the door that you can see, the, if you ain't at the door beside the driver, what door you at? You at the back door. Thank you very much. Hey, bus driver! It sounded like a back door. Really? Back door. <laughs> the only part I'm like, yo, the whole time I'm like, yo, if y'all are saying Diddy's giving these messages back and forth, tell him to call me. Let's get on the phone real quick. They said, no, pull up to the club and he going to walk outside the club to talk to you. That sounded odd. So now I'm there and I'm supposed to just sit You there. went? Hell fucking no. Oh, I told him now I'm there and now I'm there meaning you no, went. No, no, no. I'm thinking, like, now I'm there, that's when the back door happens. Oh, yeah, of course. So now, so I didn't go. This is before the Cassie shit and everything like that. Now, granted, I've been reporting on the Cassie shit. He might try to invite me to another party, but I'm not going to no parties with Diddy at this point. What if he on some freak shit? I mean, what if he on some shit? No, 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 no. What about if Diddy invited you to some shit like that? I'm, You've been in, you, you've seen some weird shit. Everybody, look, I'm you not got shy fucking your bitch. You got other niggas fucking everybody else, other bitches. You might start seeing some, like, every. you know you've been around the industry when you start saying that would never happen if we, if niggas wasn't rich and famous, but I, I guess that's some rich and famous shit and you let it go. Diddy done invited you to the freak off. He can't invite me, though. I'm not, I'm not like. He tell you he want you to fuck Cassie in front of him. He ain't tell me that though. No, no. Imagine he did though. Oh, why do I got? Why do I got to put that in magic? I don't want really to imagine that. My imagination can't think that. Nah, see, no, see, uh, no. Well, you met her. This is after the now you mind fucking Diddy. This okay. is crazy. Now you mind fucking him. This is crazy. I don't nah. even want to think about it. I don't even. <laughs> that nigga might blow up the whole DC trying to get your ass. Like, Yo, hold on. So now you seen him like play this. You well, watch I had like to see him. Like why you could see him? No, nigga, you told the story. <laughs> you seen a, you seen him hang Wally off the balcony, and you actually <laughs> thinking. The pussy got to be fire for him to be doing that. I got to hit it. 
fuck no. What I'm, you mean you fuck no? I'm thinking I'm not trying to hit it because I don't deal hey, with hey, these. I'm not believing you at all. I, yo, after Shadow done fuck one of your bitches, trust me, niggas is competitive. You know I've been friends with niggas who one time they lucked up and hit a bitch that I was dealing with, and and nigga, I made it my mission to get back. And if it the was, get back is, is never late. If that was the case... I would have been trying to flirt with her while we was in the studio before Diddy even walked in. I was just saying a bad bitch. She wasn't, was. even appe- she wasn't even appealing to me there. If she was like Nicki Minaj bad off the bad, I would have been on her. But it was I like. Well, I think she's better than Nicki Minaj. But at that time, I really ain't know what's going on. It's like sweatpants and shit, vocal lessons and shit in the back room and shit. The voice, they like, they studio attire. They ain't done that. You try to fuck on the shots uh, like future bitches. I would try. You try. It shit, they ain't go though. Oh no, I never told you the story. Shy Glizzy, uh, Shy Glizzy girlfriend was my best friend at the time. I fucked his girlfriend right after that. Like we swapped that. You're lying. I swear to God. You didn't fuck no Shy. I swear to God. His girl, these stories are all on my YouTube. His girlfriend, his girlfriend, I, you know me and Shy be together. So my girlfriend and his girlfriend, of course they friends, right? Duh. So once my, once she heartbroken about the, the shit that got out, once she got, who the fuck in the pussy next? Right? Make it make sense. He know, and he know we didn't even care though. And Shout we was slide on you for that, man. He ain't know that. T- he ain't wearing t- no more though. He didn't already try. I ain't gonna say that. I can't even say it on camera, but. Shot look like he likes Spanish girls. Yeah, bitches that like, because them black bitches ain't going for that shit. He like exotic hoes. Nah, he like them bitches that come. Don't you know, Amigo will work like shit. Like, they work like shit. Like, they come from countries and shit. They clean up the house and shit. They got a rock of extra shit to them. Like a black girl, they ain't going for that shit. Shot Glizzy go broke. They leaving fucking the next baller. It's on the little baby. Fuck. Them Migos, they clean the house and shit. You buying fashion over and shit, getting $400 every week and fuck shit. fuck one of these bitches fucking with me. All of a sudden, she fucking with Fat Trail. This shit must be atrocious. Nah, Fat Trail take your bitch. That is beyond me. You don't need really? her anyway. If Fat Trail take your bitch, she don't, don't even need the bitch. Lit what? A cigarette? Still. But still, still shit. Man, I don't know why you giving these guys, ah, you be giving out too much credit, bro. Decline some credit sometimes. You know, I used to be covering these niggas for like, man, like 10 years ago. Like, I like I still, yo, play this. Yo, when I, when I interviewed Dirk for the first time, obviously Dirk is really lit. But like, yo, I was like, damn, my nigga, I used to cover you for 10 years. Nigga, I was covering Shock Lizzie in 2014, 2015. So you ain't feel like that about me? You been YouTube searching the shit out me? I seen your search nigga, box. I, nigga, I be, wa- I be watching you. And so as you type in the A word, my shit pop up in your search no box. Course, I said, oh, I was happy. I sent it to my family. I said, my look, I can demonstrate a little job. I watch your shit. Yeah, it kinda. should be hilarious. I watch your shit all day. Until your shit's too funny, I'm like, yo, this got to be a lie. I'm like, yo, but I don't care if it's a lie. Just don't jack it too hard. Like, I'm like, yo, you I jack it too jack- hard. We got, like, plus, this Wale shit, I got to figure out if this thing was hang- hanging off the balcony. And, I, and not only I'm gonna ask him, I'm gonna go find a hotel. This is the kicker to it. It was a studio. Well, I'm gonna find a studio. And this, this is all of it that you can get the facts from. Why'd you even say that? You know, Diddy might have give you a check. He's not that. the only person. What? Could give you like a little fifty bands for you. Shut the fuck up about that. Diddy cut checks. He didn't get in trouble with it. I ain't trying to extort Diddy. I'm trying to. First of all, I don't want. Diddy Who you money. want money from? Shy or Diddy? I take Shy money because I feel like. Not shy money, shy don't have any money, but I make money with shy, like on some business shit, instead of me taking Diddy money, because I'm not trying to extort Diddy. Diddy just wide transferred to 30 million. That's my mother, you my aunt, my cousin, the whole family. You want that G Wagon from, from, from Shy? Huh? The one he took from the bitch. Fuck, not gonna buy G Wagon myself. Yeah, but like, you know, he owe you some shit. You was putting your life on the line for him. Come on now. He don't owe me nothing. He just owe me a, he just owe me a, this all he owe me, I swear to God. Just me stop trolling and all this, me being serious. He's owed me a verbal apology to the world. I never did anything to him. He's owed me a verbal apology. That's it. Just a verbal apology, and we can squash all that shit over with. Okay, suppose he says, yo, you want to have just a conversation with you on camera. You can put it on YouTube. It's fine. I think that would be cool. Great. Just Yeah, just a content video. Us having a one-on-one. It ain't got to be about nothing serious. We just let the world know. We 30-something years old, bro. We old as shit. Like, let the That's shit go. another thing, too. Like, I'm glad you have that perspective. It's like, my nigga, like, there's younger and newer people beefing. Like, at, at some point, if, if if it makes sense to you, it I should use, be that serious. I use it to make money off. Like, I say his name a thousand times. That's a thousand dollars. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I use his name to make money. Everybody but be like, you shot You're not crazy. sitting here like, yo, man, I gotta, I gotta fuck this nigga up type shit. Nah. Is that ain't pa- this, is, this is my check. This is how I get paid. This is... I talk about him. This is how, like, Glizzy Gang never paid me ever. I'm just now getting paid. This is how I get paid by talking about the Glizzy Gang. Talking about Shia Glizzy. This is how I get paid. Mm. They never paid me a check ever, nothing. I never asked for nothing. You don't owe me nothing. I can create the money myself. I've been doing it. These are my stories to talk about. Nobody can tell me I can't tell my stories. 
So I heard another nigga like he do kind of what you do. He was telling the story of the day that um they said John Wall slapped you or some shit. Who was John Wall slapped me? Not playing. I was just making that one up. I just want to hear some shit. <laughs> I heard John Wall was like that though. That's my homeboy. That's my partner in real life though. Like I know on my birthday, I had tickets to John Wall like personal John Wall tickets, full seats and all that. When he played for the Wizards though, but I don't, that's my partner like. After the game, I'm waiting for him at his car type shit. Like, we're going through, I'm talking to the coaches in the back of the I'm going through the locker room. Hey, with the coach, that's my, that's my real partner. John Wall was living that life, man. You, matter of fact, you ask John Walls these stories, he'll tell you I'm the real gangster. I'm the real big glizzy. Ask him. Nah, he ain't going to say it over Shy now. Ask him, ask A.R.A.B. Ask anybody that been around me and Shy at the same time. I'm a, I know A.R.A.B. and I know You ask me, Mills. I'm the nigga from CIAA with the gold earphones, had the 30 on them who was protecting you niggas, man. Stop <laughs> it. I am. You know, Meek be rolling with like you ever heard of um, 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 O'Malley? Yeah, I like O'Malley style. He be he like he he's rolling with like Dean. I don't know him. Chino, you ever heard of Chino? My man with the motorbike. I Everybody know. know the, I think Chino from from DMV. Isn't he? he from Baltimore. Every Come story, on, every story you say is something that I just dropped a story to. I just dropped a Chino story. I know Chino person. Chino and Javante. I first met Javante Davis back in You know Javante? Like, yeah, I met him in 2013 with Shot. Javante Davis told me he don't kill me. You know what He made a comment. He told me he's going to turn me to Casper. He told me this like last year. Oh, he said, why to kill you? Yeah. He told, he told me I'm live. He's going to turn me to Casper. Oh, shit. Back in the day, I jacked his ass up. When he was like an amateur boxer, they was at a club paparazzi. In Baltimore, and Chino shot man, but Chino was getting out of the car. And he was with Javante Davis, but Javante Davis walked through the car first. So I just stopped him from coming through the truck, hold him up, and shot to roll the window down. Like, nah, that's uh, that's Tank. He a boxer. That's Chino man. And Chino came over and explained it, but I just apologize to him. But that's why I think it's animosity from my jacked his ass up back in the day. You about to kill you? He said he was, but take my favorite boxer. How the fuck you gonna kill me, nigga? We trying to get rich off fan dude off you, nigga. Fuck you talking about my mother still in the hood. You talking about killing the nigga. Hey, leave me the fuck alone. If Javante kill you, which one of these niggas gonna slide for you? He look like he the slider. Yeah. But when put him on the Javante look like he like that though. He might be, I don't care. I told you my favorite fighter, bro. Tank can punch me. If I see that, this is what I want. If I'm out and about. I hope Tank steal the shit out of me, like knock me out, break my face. You gotta sue him though. I'm going to sue the shit out of him. That's why I'm telling him to do it. The fuck? Devontae Davis, you owe me a punch. When you see me punch the shit out of me, I'm not even going to run. I'm going to run into your fist. How much are you selling for? Like half a million, you need a mil. Go 350. 350? You're reasonable, my nigga. Yeah, 350. In and out of when you got to go to court, you can just send that shit cash out. <laughs> <laughs> So wait, Javante is from, is he from Baltimore, D.C.? No, nah, he's from Baltimore. He really from the trenches, though. He really, one thing I tell you, though. He, That's I, what I heard. I know I'm from, he really from the trenches. What about my nigga Adrian Brody? Ain't he from, like, oh, you from Cincinnati? I'm from Cleveland or something. He, he a real nigga, too. You know what I'm saying? He's real goofy. He be drunk and shit when he come to D.C. He just be coming here, be drunk and shit, fuck with the strippers and shit. Mm. And dice games. Dice games. If, like, if, this is one thing about D.C. If you, you ain't from D.C., if you don't see Allen Iverson down MGM gambling every weekend, or... If you don't see him. AI be going crazy with gambling? I ain't leaking AI secrets, but AI be in the cut. My boy AI, man. Holy shit. Who's the most lit, like, nigga, like, nigga, nigga, who also, like, celebrity be out there? Me? I'm fucking with you. Uh, Lit, lit celebrity nigga that be in the, nobody. You be ducking these niggas or, like, like they see you? They see me if I don't get booked, like, a like, I. I just dropped my location out on live with my address at the bottom of it. I was you didn't drop it here, right? What the nah, fuck? I'm talking about when I was passing out, uh, <laughs> passing out shit to the kids, like oh, like turkeys and shit. Yeah, like candy on Halloween. I pass out turkeys and I give out. Oh, you drop your location? I give out toys. I feel like a couple people want to kill because the kids got put up. No, nah, nobody. It, it's the internet. Somebody might want to do want to kill me because there's people like that in the world. But I told you, why they probably want to kill you? They ain't killers, bro. I'm not even worried about I'm, the guys I get into it with are entertainers, so they gonna say I shit. I see you do a boxing match. Yeah. They say you lost. I did. Wait, who'd you, who'd you box? A guy from Washington. Little Isn't nobody. It? Just a comedian. David Ruffin. I don't know who that is. Who was, there was somebody else on the card I think I knew. Or maybe it was only you. It's only me. It's like some alias people. You thinking about you that shit? You should No. I only went there for the money. I ain't, I lost the fight by quitting. I ain't lose the fight by getting knocked out. Oh, you like, I got the money right now, I'm out. Yeah, I'm on like two rounds. I went in there four. I threw all the punches I can. I couldn't breathe no more, and I said I quit. 
It wasn't no you stool smoke, to sit down. You smoke? I, like, I smoked walking to the ring. That was me coming out. I was coming out to with a J. Oh, shit. So you ain't trained? I never been to the gym. <laughs> That was 20 grand. You know what's so funny? I, that means I'm a hood nigga. You know what I do for 20,000? They said, first of all, I put a nigga in the box for 20. I got to come and box for yo, 20. That's cool. Uh, yo, I just boxed a nigga the other day, and I ain't gonna lie, did two rounds. I was gas, dog. Fuck no. And, and nigga, you skinny nigga. I'm fat. And it's different with boxing gloves. Like, we had 16 ounce gloves. Yeah. And they made the ring. Like, we was fighting on, like, crates. Like, that was. Made, y'all seen that? That was in the middle of the projects? I don't know where was the middle of a grassy field. They made that joint with like crates and wood. Like the ring was like a boat. You ever now you ever been on water bed? It was like standing yeah, on the water bed. Yeah, I, I could tell, I could tell. Yeah. When you go on one side of the ring, the ring go up in the air, yeah. Fuck. I was just there for the money. I got the 20 and I was out of there. So you do another boxing match? Of course. I was supposed to fight Charleston White for $50,000. They just ain't giving me the, they ain't had no deposit. So I turned it down. Would you do that? Yeah, I beat the shit out of his old ass. Knock his other eyeball out. I'm trying to say, but boxing. Me and Aiden was talking about some shit. We, we were trying to get Charleston to fight like Island Boy, but I think you and me and him is be perfect. I ain't no professional fighter. I won't even train. Me and him look is like perfect. You, you beat him up. Well, you not a fighter. I'm not no well, fighter. How, how you was protecting Shaq Lizzie if you not a fighter? A I need a squabbler. I need a nigga who's like who like be doing like like all these little headlocks and you know like rolling on the ground like well, this is UFC shit while I'm running. I'm like running away. That's too much. That's leaving too much evidence. You touching shit and shit. You leaving your DNA. So how the fuck shit, you? you all right, if you rolling with me, I'm shocked. Listen, how you protecting me? So now I'm looking at you and I'm like, you know, these niggas look like they about to get active with us. Like, you know, I'm only thing I'm good at. I'm good for a good minute of running. Who fighting? Who running? Why are you running? Because I don't want them to get me, and you're supposed to be in the middle of me and them. How would they get you? They start walking over to me. They they cracking their knuckles. They look like they trying to beat me up, trying to sock me out type shit. And then I de-escalate the problem there. Okay, okay. So you're a good talker, like you like reason mm-hmm. type mm-hmm. shit. I'm gonna just let her know. So last step, leave it right there. Just no more steps. And they gonna stop right there if they go over that line. Are oh, you convincing? Okay. I wouldn't believe that. I would have to probably see that in action before because I'm like, yo, I'm over here running. Like, yo, I've been running for five minutes, nigga. You know, I'm gassed after I'm... <laughs> I'm going to cut you Where's off. Where's Egg Lizzie at? <laughs> you ain't even going to be able to do that, though, because I'm going to cut you off. What you running on me for? You shouldn't be running. What you running for? You ain't even well, I'm, I'm going to do a slight backpedal, a little slight backpedal, because I'm expecting you to jump in there. You're not talking to them. When you talking to them, now I got to act like you not the only line of defense. If they get past you, they're going to have to meet some other greater shit. So I'm capping it up. But whatever you going to do, I hope you just buy me a good three to five minutes. If you've been around me your whole life and you seen me in situations and you 100% know you what I'm going to do. Though. Ran where? Ran away. The fuck? I ran the group home. Okay, keep it a beat. If you've been in this situation, I don't care if you was either protecting somebody or whatever, whatever, but it's time, and shit got critical, you looking at them, so this is like five niggas. I could easily run away. I'll catch these niggas another time, maybe on a one-on-one basis. And don't tell me they don't run in D.C. now. No. D.C. niggas don't run? Fuck no. Niggas told me D.C. niggas are like Olympic champions. No, I told you, you get this wild ass opinion from us because you seen Shaq Lizzie run for a whole week. He moved to Memphis. He never ran. <laughs> he moved to where in Memphis? The suburbs? Then he changed his address. Then he was getting mail over there. Yeah, it's before they can get his fucking chain back. He needed the address where they can send it to. And I ain't gonna lie, the gangster thing he did when he got it back, he said, and I got that chain, but I ain't wearing that shit. I can't wear that shit. I don't love that, that though. But I keep telling you, like the guy who took the chain to the casino, he signed a money bag. Yo, the guy who had the chain in his hand, he signed a money bag. Yo, the little light skin guy. I thought it was Big Moto who had it. No, I seen a video. Big Moto had it too. But I seen a light skin guy casino. He said never see an op and play it cool. And he said I'm gonna give this joint back to youngster for a little ten. Casino passed youngster that the guy that signed the money bag passed uh, youngster that chain back. What do you mean a 10? Like, like 10,000. Like a dap. No, he said he gave him a little 10, 10,000. That's what he was saying. But Casino just was in D.C. with some other D.C. guys, like just having a blast, running he around. He D.C. still? He just was in D.C. probably like a month ago, chilling. Yeah, like, they was gambling and doing it all in the hoods and he everything. He probably was low. Shot on nobody. No, no, low. I know he was there. He was there. Shot don't have no pool in Washington, D.C. Like nothing. Shot. I go a lot of yo. Shot block gangster though. Like they tough. They up there, but it ain't no shot. Lizzie word because they gangster. They gangster. I ain't gonna lie to you. 
when Shy had dropped my name on that song, I was like, fuck, I can't go to, I wanted to hit a stadium so bad because there was a couple bad joints I was dealing with, like, it was out there. It's like, yeah, we, because first of all, I, I think probably would have took your chain, though, I, huh? I, you, I probably would have took your chain. I wasn't going to have no chain. <laughs> Back then, I wouldn't have no chain. And huh. listen, here's my rules of having chains, especially I learned it because I covered so many people get their chains stuck. When you see me with the chain, I'm having the protection. I'm going to have two sets of protection. Y'all protecting the chain and y'all protecting me. Yeah. I, need, I need a couple crash outs for the chain because they know if my chain get taken and you go, let me not say, if you go get that chain back, that chain, we going to get back to the jewel and you get the money. But, but you can't get me embarrassed because that's the thing online. I ain't putting my life in another nigga hands. Well, I'm a good runner too, though. I'm, I'm from Jamaica. You know, you said both from Jamaica, right? Like we out of there. Like now, I'm gonna de- I'm gonna try to escalate. Like now, this life that I live now, I told you after this life that I'm in now, I'm gonna de- escalate that shit. Like I ain't know nothing. I don't want no trouble. So wait, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Blast. So when, so when, okay, all that shit happened, and I'm like, I bet I got tapping with English. So you telling me if I came out and tapped it with you, I'd have got my chain token. Say I had like a fake chain. Yeah. I'm tapping it with you. No, not if you tapped in with me. Nothing happened to you tapped in with me. But shy of them look like I'm gonna be honest. There was a time they was trying to clown you. I was like, damn. Shy, I thought you, Ant was the dude. Shot. You know when they did that trolling, and they wasn't doing that shit from in the city. They were doing that shit from like California somewhere. Oh, no, they weren't. I swear to God, they mailed that chain to California. They they was in the city. What city? DC. <laughs> Fuck out of here. They were right where the ice cream truck was at. Hell no, his block wasn't even fucking with him at that time. It wasn't in the city. Somebody mailed him my chain. Like they mailed that joint out of California. Did you get it back? Nah, I never asked for it back. So Shy got it now. I got Taliban chain. How'd you get his shit? <laughs> the, sh- <laughs> the world. <laughs> it's a trade? Yeah, you might as well say swap for a swap. You don't got Taliban chain. Ask the world the Taliban mm-hmm. chain, get his chain and took off his neck. Really? I like the Taliban dude Like he, he, he could make music I don't know that That would shit you, suck Would you co-sign Or rock behind Another rapper again Yeah KP Skywalker mm. Would you have to have A different role though Because I think at this point Your voice Is almost as loud As their music So If, if you just went Into being the guy In the background It would defeat the purpose Of why you did What you did You know what I mean Mm-hmm. Would you do that again? Of course. I don't want to be a rapper. Says Taliban. Yeah. We got the chain. No, y'all don't got the chain. I swear he don't got that chain no more. Yeah, he locked up, so they got it in the, the holding thing. So when he get out, they give it back to him. Oh. Nigga had that joint. Nigga, How big was I done, I done <laughs> seen niggas on the, in the cookout with that chain on and everything. Niggas done put the pool pies with that chain on and everything. How did they take his chain? Miami got beat up in the club. He walked in the club with him and his girlfriend. You know, he got the girl from a uh, bad girl's club that's his baby mother. He got beat on. Really? Just beat his head, take his chain. It be like that sometimes. Give him back his chain, bro. I ain't got it no more. I just had it for like a week for like pictures. Like, just take some pictures. Where the chain at? I don't know. I ain't even take it. It's just. Would you help him get the chain back? Hell no, nah. Shaq Lizzie ain't need help him get a lawyer. That man on two indictments, but a, he only got a court appointed lawyer. He don't got a lawyer. Shaq don't claim him no more. You never seen Shaq say nothing about the Taliban no more. That shit over. He don't claim him no more. They ain't even friends no more, I think. You want me? I swear. Niggas go to jail, Shaq cut them off. You got to go watch Surviving Shaq Lizzie. That's the one you got to watch. You know, I seen some shit like that Surviving Shaq Lizzie. You got to watch that, Jim. Who made that? Are you? Yeah. Yeah, but but I, I think you were just trying to put like some pedophile stuff up. Like, we know Shaq get bitches. Like, I'm going to be honest, I ain't going to believe that one. Fuck no. It was all the niggas that died. I see him with some bad joints. It's all the niggas that died in this game. Hold on, let me. I'm about to look up your video tiles right now. Cause you be some of these video tiles, I'm like, ain't no way he met this nigga. And, let's see, here we go. I know I'm on. Nigga says she's surviving. Yo, yo, be honest. Like, I know we joking around here. You don't feel a little bad, like yo, man. Fuck no. If I can tell you the truth, I tell you the truth. Fuck no, I don't feel no type of way. It's Your easy, videos have made people look at shot route, a little bit differently. This the easy route. I'm just telling y'all, y'all have no point to lash out. This is a bitch sucker ass nigga. Ain't never did nothing. Ain't never put nobody on. Who does Uncle Buckets? No, that's me. 
Oh, that's, that's, my, you. that's my old name. Okay, okay. Uncle Buckets, I used to drop buckets on niggas. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber now. I'm not a gangster. I'm a retired. Retired, like I retired. That was these stories are from ten years ago. Like, hey, I see I was, you talking about blue face mom. I would go to that. church. No, I was just talking about the only fan. That jump was proper. You ain't see that old jump. Nah, you better watch. Blue face got heads. You no, don't want to box blue face. I don't. I don't. I swear to God, that's the only one. I'm turning that shit down. They sent me a fight with blue face. Turn that go. shit down. That there man you went, go. That man went a couple rounds with Floyd Mayweather. There you go. Blue face, fuck you up too. No, of course. No, I was about a boxer on schoolyard. No, 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 I ain't gonna lie to you. De like this. After I seen how scrawny these rappers was, I was like, I box with them. Until I seen Blueface actually handle business, I'm like, I'm gonna skip him. Yeah, like I skipped them too. Yeah, no, no. This is a uh, listen. I talk a lot of shit, but I definitely pick the fights. I definitely go win. I'm not picking on 50 50. You and Adam might be good bump. Oh yeah, no, me and Adam get all, all day. But he said never wanted to do that. Like shit, if if me and him could get like a mil nigga, come on, yeah. We <laughs> I wouldn't even want you with your shirt off in the ring with Adam though. He might got other intentions. No, stop it. Adam seeing academic stomach is weird. Like, I'm just saying, you never know where his brain might go, brother. I heard him and Crip Mac had a threesome with his girl recently. That ain't nothing new. So you, you heard what they had a threesome with his girlfriend recently. You heard that, but did you hear what they do in the office to get a raise? Well. Oh, my God. I don't even want to get in all that, bro. I ain't going to talk about it on that. Now you're fucking lying. Hold up. Well, you said Shaq Lizzie shot himself. Shaq Lizzie didn't shoot himself. Shaq Lizzie shot other niggas. He shot himself. Did he really? Yeah. I don't need, I told you, I'm squashing the beef. I, after this interview, like, this is my last time going off on them. Y'all, I'm squashing that beef. That beef ain't nothing. We ain't even beefing, y'all. Yo, I'm glad you said an Arab is like that. Really yeah. Nobody's ever really thrown no dirt on his name. You ain't. It ain't no dirt to throw. First of all, AR done told you everything, literally, from his mouth. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. That nigga was. Yo, hold on. Are you ever in fear of, like, maybe some of your stories, people trying to connect to crimes or like connect to prosecuting other people I ain't never killed nobody I ain't never did nothing to nobody or oh, prosecuted like what what's the fuck who the fuck is getting prosecuted for any of these stories like these stories ain't no this shit ain't nothing for real this shit and I was 15 years old fucking can prosecute a juvenile for some stories yo you and Crip Mac that's not Crip Mac Crip Mac look like Corey Baxter from Death's Old Raven yeah but, but I heard he's a squabbler you don't squabble, huh? You just be from 55th Street, huh? Yeah, from, yeah, from 55th Street. He'll you know, beat you up like you a cluster. Yeah, nah, nah, he be beating up clusters. That's what he... The... Would we, 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 Crip Mac be your co-host? Um, I never met him before. I wouldn't trust him. I couldn't be around him, though. His character is weird. I don't know, like... I mean, it, it looked like he's just fully dedicated to Crip and... Hey, by the way, holy shit, I, I forgot about this. So, you and Lil J is cool. Who's Lil J? The nigga who, like, the Chicago Lil J, the one that was in there with the, the Transformers, the mechanic. I don't even know what that is. Lil J came out of the closet. Remember he was in the, the Cook County and they said he was with a couple lady boys? Oh, no, nah, that's J Main, man. That's J Main, man. You fuck man. with J Main? Yeah, I fuck with J Main. All right, so you, J Main, and I don't know them, though. I don't be in Chicago. I never been to Chicago. I heard about that threesome you and Adam had, though, but I ain't talking about it. What? Nah, yeah, you, him, and his wife? Who, wait, who and who? The Yanni was coming out with that podcast, the butt naked blogs. Nah, me, me, you said me. Uh -huh. First of all, two men, two men and a woman ain't never a uh, threesome to me. Let me see who else you got going on on this bitch. Um, Jesus Christ, you got stories for days. Oh, but I see you trying bid though. So can I bid? Don't could you? Hey, mm -hmm. sure you can take these bids. I can. I'm the professional bidder. Now they, you, you, you be going. Could you take these bids, or you want me to leave you alone? No, go ahead. Cause you started it. Go ahead. Cause yeah, your girlfriend name is Glizzy. Yeah, you and now what? Yeah, your girlfriend named Glizzy. I Ask her where she got her name from. I don't know. Ask her. How I know that? How you know that? I know. <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> Told y'all he don't want bid no more, y'all. I want to bid. <laughs> And now you want to know if these stories true or not. If your story true or not, his girlfriend name is Glizzy. How does I know that? So you say she was with the Glizzy gang. I ain't gonna say she was with the Glizzy gang, but I'm just saying that where she get the name from? So she was dick riding the Glizzy gang. I ain't gonna say she was dick riding. So the she Glizzy fucked gang. you. I ain't gonna say I fucked her. I ain't, I ain't gonna, gonna lie. Me, I ain't I, gonna say I ain't fuck her neither though. Then I'm one of them niggas. As soon as I find out, we gotta drop her. Nah, don't dump your girl, bro. Nigga, fuck my girl, and I still loved her. Why? No, that's when you was young. You wouldn't do that now. Nigga, fuck your girl now. You would sit with her. 
I take care too much for her. Nigga, fuck my girl. He got to take care of the bills. If he take the bills with fucking her, I swear to God, we might be good. But you going to be fucking a bitch too? Of course. Really? So you would let a chick who getting fucked by another nigga so rock with you as long as that nigga's filling in for what you used to be doing? That's like when you fucking a bitch and she ain't your girl. That's the same thing. It's like ego, though. You ain't cry when, when you find out Shaq Lizzie fucked your bitch? You ain't just cry when I told you we had your girl? Hey, listen, she won't respond to you. I don't know. Listen, I don't swear for no girl. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm trolling. I told you I'm professional <laughs> troll. Right? I, it is a, it is a, no, hold on. I don't listen to me. I, lie to you. You, I don't know your girlfriend. No, 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 no. One thing I've learned about in life, I don't trust no girl. Don't. I you probably trust your girl crazy before before that shit happened, right? Yo, I, I used never to trust a girl. Then. I never trust a girl after that. Like after that, I never trust a girl in my life. I, I like used I to. I don't I used to be like, yo, I was all in, like yeah. green. Like I'm talking about all in. Like, damn, they hold it. I'm talking about rough feet, hold the door. Like the passion of this nigga ever lost it all. Like. I do got to ask about the Glizzy thing. What's up with that? Like, that's all I thought. Is Glizzy a movement or like it's a, a gang? It's a movement. It, it's a movement or a gang? It's like because, a, because I was thinking, it, it's a movement. It's not how a gang. you get into the Glizzies? Because I know how females usually join a gang. A nigga got a squabble. Females are doing some other shit. If your name Glizzy, you got that shit from Ant or Shout, 100%. That's DC, that shit started with us. Back in the day, they turned into a hot dog later on in life. I didn't tell her I was Glizzy. coming to the interview. Everybody man. name was. She's like, can I come? I said, no, motherfucker. Everybody Glizzy name. Oh, not because you did, she did some bullshit here. She's, she's toxic, man. She seen me on the schedule. That's why she wanted to come. I, I know your girlfriend. Damn. She's from Virginia. How you know? Come on, I, I'm not new to this shit, man. You know Virginia girls? Yes, I, I'm Aunt Glizzy. A DMV, DC, Maryland, Virginia. DC, Maryland. She lives 30 minutes away from where I be. It's crazy. It's okay. Don't dump it. Don't break up with that girl. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is me professionally trolling. He started it. He tried to say Lil J was my man. That's, now he's speechless. Lil J's I told, his man. I told you. I'm a professional. Now he discombobulated. No, 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 he don't no. know if it's the truth or not. No, no, no. I'm that hold good. On, hold on, hold on. I'm that good, though. No. Am I that good? Am you I good? Are. I'm good. But me, I love turning everything to content. We got to figure <laughs> it out. How did you become the Glizzy? What do you feel about people thinking that Glizzy now instantly means like, Sausages and they always kind of make it like gay. That like, yo, you see the glizzy? That just let me know how literate they is. All they gotta do is go back to the time stamp. All they gotta do is go back. I was saying ten years before y'all came out with the glizzy hot dog and this and all that and all that. So it's like how I'm looking at you. Glizzy means like without being hot. Like glizzy means some like it's like street shit. Like glizzy is a Glock. It's the okay, Glock well, logo. I was gonna say that, but you glizzy said that. is a keyword for a Glock. But it's like. This shit is just a name, like a Glock. What the fuck? Nobody got no damn Glocks. You know what's so funny about her name? Her name. I know her name. I, I know her mom. I know her. I, You're really? I'm not playing. Like, <laughs> he keep, he keep, I feel like he's lying. He keeps trying you, to break you smash your No, I didn't smash her mom. I didn't this say would it. be a great ex- I didn't say we I smashed. We not going viral for that. We not going <laughs> nah, that. That would be great. Be but great. I promise you, after this interview, I promise you, you're going to go home and ask her, does she love me? She's going to tell you, yeah, bro. I know her. I just know her. That's all it is. I'm not telling you anything more. I know her. That's it. Yeah. Let her tell you how I know her. Okay. It's up to you. Say, say, do you know? First of all, you used to know wait. If you ask oh that, no no, she just texted me. She said, "Yeah, of course I know that nigga. He tried to spite my drink. Oh, or did it? Oh. Get, or did it get? Oh. Listen to me. <laughs> she said I tried to spike her drink. Or did it get spiked? Uh, oh shit, that's a good one. <laughs> you, <gotta say. laughs> you know the girl. You know the girl gonna tell you the watered down version. <laughs> hey hey hey, what the fuck? That's her calling. Hey hey. Listen, I don't know where to walk. Who's the best at like? Wh- which city is the best at like bidding? Me, DC, DC number one. I feel like it's Philly though. Philly, it gotta be DC right now because think how you feel inside. You really want to know? No, you, nigga, I'm trolling. You, I don't give two bucks. No, if you on the professional tip, you you really want to know? Not doing because no. I want to tell you what I know anyway. No, I, you should tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I will go with DC, but now nah, Philly up there too though. No, no, Philly, yo, you can't talk. Let me tell you this. You don't talk shit with a Philly nigga. Well, New York up there too. But, but, but New York is more like, they almost kind of want to fight though. Like, you see, New York ain't just roasting. Rest in peace, cheese. I got into it with cheese. Oh, really? On IG Live. Probably one of my biggest lies. Who's that getting it over? Getting it over? I don't know. I just was cursing his ass out, pressing him out. I'm going on Gilly. He called me like the old washed up something. I said, 
I'm washed up. Give me the kids, your father. <laughs> Y'all stop playing with my man, man. Oh my god. Really it, was just some, it was just some trolling shit. Just some, some internet shit, some content. How, when could people realize when you're serious from from being joking? In person, in real life, if you see it on the internet, it's 100 percent like a character. The stories might be real in between. You got to read in between the lines. Like you got to take the the, the the real lie of them, but it's like. I'm just a troll, bro. I ain't no hey, guy. which one of your men will put money up? I got to toss somebody knocking him out. Knocking me out? Second Fuck round him. in. Hell nah. You see what happened to say cheese? That's why you say that. Yo, you see what happened to my man Sean Cotton? Nah, he coming back, though. That's my man, though. Sean put me on. Sean put me in the game. We ain't talking bad about him, but yeah, Sean. Yeah, nah, with nah, nah. Sh- yo, Sh- Sh- Sean's dumb cool. Yo, Sh- Sean got to come back, but, but we got to give Sean an easy opponent. He got to get like. Yeah, I don't know why he did like. We gotta give him like a half retarded me. nigga. It was me. me. He's supposed to fold me. Supposed to went out there and told me, hey, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, but I got you. Wait, you done threw it? I threw no, the you... last one for nobody. You don't think I'd have <laughs> threw this joke for sure? I'd have threw this shit. I'd have, I'd have, I'd have, Yo, I'd have sold you it. You can't violate say cheese. No, no, no. Hold on. To keep it real, here's the thing though. I think the best way is that your personality. Like, niggas like hearing. Anytime you're a personality that niggas like hearing talking shit, people wanna hear you get knocked out. Like, for example, me. Do you know how much it would be worth? <laughs> you see, y'all is exactly right. So you, you know what I gotta do? I gotta, I gotta make sure I get the money that's worth it, right? Yeah. Because if I get knocked out, you know what I gotta go through. <laughs> yeah, I understand it. So, so that's how I'm looking at it. That's why I'm going down. I'm gonna pull a Colin Kaepernick. I'm gonna take a knee. Oh, you trying to do that, Ryan Garcia? Yeah, like you got hit in the rib. Yeah, that's it's nothing but entertainment. Fuck. All I gotta do is fight. I got hit and I can't fight no more. Fight till you can't fight no more. I can't fight no more. Now what? I get paid. That's a good they one. ain't say going in and literally get beat up and make the money worth it. That is a good one. I can't believe they had that fight no crates. Hold on. Let me see what else. What they mean? built that. They built that jump. Like as I was walking to the ring, they was building that jump. You run on good shit. Yeah, for that? I was in the middle of the hood. They told you I had 20 grand. That's hilarious. 20 right, grand. Here we go. Uh, what am I missing? I feel, I feel like I, I'm missing asking you about some shit. What about Wack 100? How you feel about him? I don't really know Wack. Wack just Wack to uh, Wack try to sign Memo six hundred to a three sixty deal, ass naked on Clubhouse with his ass in the air, and I never looked at them the same on Pyro. Mm. I thought Memo was with uh, OTF though; like he couldn't have signed anyway. I don't know. I don't know their situation. Hmm. Do you want to apologize to Meek Mill before this video goes out? Yeah, Meek, I would like to verbally say that I truly, truly want to say fuck you and shot because he turned me up, Bob. You wildin'. Hey, yo, 2 chains fucked your bitch? Nah, he ain't fuck her. He was about to fuck her. I just cock block. That's good, nigga. It's, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got to be like, yo, I know you can fuck her, but I just got to cock block that one. It wasn't back. even that. I cock block on accident. I just walked out. As I walked out, she had 2 chains truck out the side door. Boom. I don't know it's 2 chains. I just see this bitch at a Hummer. And then I just grabbed the back of her head. And as I grabbed the back of her head and pulled her, and I looked in the window. It was 2 chains. Oh, shit. Coming from the club, side door. Like Her and all her friends, they about to jump in that jump. And they wasn't even mad. She got caught. You know what her friends was mad at? That I did some bam shit and I let her talk to 2 chains. Crazy. These bitches. That's, that's no, look though. That's the same bitch that fucked y'all. That bitch was a hot pussy. Damn. Never again. How many rappers do you think she done fucked after that? Was she that bad or is she washed now? Yo, I like seeing the washed. bitches who she used to. She washed now. Yeah, I love seeing like, that. I wouldn't even talk to her now. Like, ugh. I ain't even mad at the situation no more. I'm like happy. Like, damn. I'm glad it went that way. Type shit. I love seeing that. Uh, no, nah, I got one joke though. I got. I definitely got one joke that I lost and. I've been lost already since that loss, but I'm just gonna keep pushing. They all ain't like that. So you don't got no kids? Hell no. Nah. I need a million dollars. Not no child. What's what's like city got the baddest bitches? Like Baltimore, DC, Philly, New York. Like we don't got the baddest bitches. You know where the baddest bitches come from. Virginia. Virginia? <laughs> oh my mother. Virginia got the baddest bitches. And they gun us on my mind. Hey, listen, this, do one this what you did. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Ever is, since I started talking to Virginia chick, every girl from Virginia is on my stick. This what you don't know, act. All Virginia girls are gunners. I swear to God. Virginia are known for straight fucking whores. Like they all whores. They all gunners. What you mean? Now put me on game. All the bitches from Virginia is going. Like they fucking. Like they just. They the fuck. I ain't gonna lie. I met a few Virginia chicks. You know what they all tell they me? They all up trying to fuck, ain't they? No, no, no. Well, well yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> but, but, but I be just. I be thinking this. Me, I'm like, yo, damn, big dick Willie coming in here. Y'all don't want me. 
No, but here's the thing. What I thought, you, you know what they all told me? Wait, don't know Adam 22 shit. I don't no, know. Hold on. Oh, no, you know what they told me? About. You know what they told me? They all kept saying, you ain't nothing to do out here. We all go to D.C. What the fuck is it to do in D.C.? Go That's fuck the like niggas. What, this is why I don't like what you saying that shit. I met a few Virginia joints and they all saying the same bullshit. Yo, how y'all have fun? Oh, on the weekend, we, we just DC. go to Virginia. We go get a hotel. Like, what do you mean go get a hotel in, the, in D.C.? Yeah, we be in the stadium and we be in blue. We be go, we be go turn. What the fuck is in D.C.? All Virginia girls are fucking. I swear to God, like, every girl I ever had from Virginia, I fucked on the first day and they was like gunner gunners. Like, mm. but they be pretty gunners. They come with shit. They come with like a little apartments and shit. Like it's cheap to live out of Virginia, so they might got a little apartment and a little car. So it'd be like, damn, apartment and a car and it's so they fuck. drive you and Father Virginia. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like DoorDash in the pussy. And they take you to the city. So they take you to the city. You out the way and all. It's like the perfect VA. Big VA bitches are perfect. Like they house environment and all that where you live. It's like you don't think you're on a vacation. You live in the suburbs. The bitch got her life together the whole time. She fucking fucking. But you just gonna put up with it because. She ain't in your environment fucking. Like, she out of Virginia fucking. All right, man, this nigga done convinced me I'm breaking over my joint. Give me, where can I find a good girl? Good girl? I need a good girl. I don't want no, listen, play this. You, you a better man than me. The moment I found that shower was was dicking her down, I'm good. Two fingers. Peace. I was broke, though. I, I, I wasn't getting, like, I wasn't, ain't had nothing else to go. Like, I was addicted to that pussy real quick. Like, I had yeah, to, but, but I be, I had to I, fuck it a I little couple like more times. So, like, if I like you a lot, like, I don't care if I was broke. I, like, don't give that pussy away until you break up with me. I was so broke, I knew that pussy was gone. Really? Yeah, like, it was her birthday. I couldn't do, it was her birthday. I mean, we wasn't, it was her birthday. We was on the blow up bed on her birthday. How broke are you? Still, though. These bitches don't got no loyalty nowadays. Loyalty, you see. Nigga, Deion Sanders just broke up with his wife. That's I when I knew see. this shit was over. I don't even want no girlfriend. My girl might be in trouble. Here's the funny thing about it. Deion Sanders broke up with his 12-year fiance. She ain't even get married. Is Yo, that why they broke up? 12-year fiance. Well, that's probably one of them. Hey. She would have never broke up with him while he was prime time, though. Jeezy just got rid of that Jeannie Lee girl or Jeannie Ling, whatever her name is. Everybody's dipping. You yeah. believe relationships these Fuck no, after Jay and Will, I don't believe none of this shit. All this shit is a We're a little gay. Come on now. Yeah. He is. Like, Will probably was at the party party. That's the kicker, though. He probably turned, she probably turned him that way one day, like just been over Will and just, you know, that shit. Went. Lord, no way. She might have did. They might have been in that shit, like, Will just turned over, like, oh, I got one little deal, though, and my mom got scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were what Col Columbus Short just said? Imagine if Diddy hit you with that, be like, yo. The Playboy's three o'clock. You keep talking about if Diddy hit me. First of all, I'm not even gonna be in Diddy, Diddy facility to talk to you me. You got no Instagram. Nothing. He could DM me Instagram. Okay, DM my Instagram. I'm leaving his ass on red. I'm, I remember you from back then. I think you came with a shot, but you was really with, you was really with Wale. Yo, you know he gonna be licking his lips while he typing. He gonna be like, yo, yo nigga, you, you in DC? You wanna know what's the? Yo, I'm at the W. <laughs> yeah, the W. Well, you know the crazy thing about this story? You just real live. Imagine Diddy, and you lick your lips. You imagine Diddy like the sexiest Diddy's shit in your head. Is. Like you I just, didn't say sexy, he but your imagination. You, allegedly, allegedly, I don't know about that. You just took your imagination to see Diddy in your head. Like that whole story was playing out in your head. Like okay, you just that sound good. You just, except you just, just mind fuck Diddy. Hold on, okay, that sound good. Except we all acknowledge that Diddy done hung a nigga off the balcony, which means he's done liable to do a lot more shit. If he wants some of your booty meat, what's up. I didn't know he got a billion dollars. He gave Cassie 30 million. He looking at you like Playboy and he got his checkbook out. What are you talking about? I'm, Should I give you a fucking dollar? All he did was buy you goddamn McDonald's and goddamn all right, Diddy, I'm an academics woman. Say, Diddy, I'm gonna blow your ass up. Diddy, I'm just hitting to oh, your ass. Like, how much? How much you writing on the checkbook though? He said, Yo, write the checkbook and then after that, let's get it. Right, you can write a check he can't cash. I'm gonna smoke his ass. Nah, he giving you the checkbook. And he just like, yo, yo, and Playboy. I'm giving like, his ass to checkmate. Yo, it, <laughs> yo, he said it's part of the game. Yeah, it is. This is how you really get in. It is. You gotta kill a nigga. Nah, man. I, you know, I'm passing my beef with Social Santana. You? How you gonna handle him? I ain't need tripping. This to you and all the little crew and whatever y'all got going no, he on. He want to squabble though, so he want to like he want to mother wrestle. That's what I heard. I saw you saying. I'm just here to tell you is we are we are we believe in God over here. Just read the Bible. You can't even go to heaven. We ain't trying to fight nobody that can't go to heaven. God told me don't put my hands on nobody that can't go to heaven. We good with you. You got to deal with something else. Imagine getting to the gates and they be like, "Who oh, we got to stop you, sir? You picked the wrong sexuality." That'd be Nigga, crazy. You don't squabble with Saucy Santana. He had you in a headlock and kissing your forehead. You were disqualified from heaven. Like that would be crazy. You got the diss song. He diss you though. 
And nah. he called you academics. He put the academics. Nah, he said he shot me. Man. You know, this is the headquarters. He shot me too. You here. You got to make the song. You, hey, hey, you got to get get back in your rapping bag. You got to make a song. This is him. Me this Saucy said, all right, I diss him. Okay, so if Saucy's tell you him and you about to squabble, wrestle, then he going to fuck you. What you going to tell him? I'm not about to touch that man. Like, why am I swab? First of all, I can't fight. So why am I you fighting? You can't fight. I can't fight. I'm not a fighter. I'm not trying to brawl. Maybe for twenty thousand dollars, I bro. You think I'm trying to go touching? Like, first of all, why am I touching? So him? she said that he look like a silver gorilla, uh, 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 silverback gorilla with a BBL in the beard and the acrylic nails. I believe in God and my mama, my mama, mama said the boys like that ain't nothing but the devil. <laughs> nah, they were trying to act like I should have been squabbling with him. I couldn't do nah, that. Nah, that's like your speed don't act no bullshit. No, stop playing. Nah, for nah, real. He been too hard no. right now. He been too hard. He I'm talking about now. I'm talking about I'm talking about the gangster tip. Like what? On, like on the like on that's like your speed. It ain't it, Yo, so it ain't no tell- super gangster shit. It's like you can handle that. So you like- telling me if you seen okay, me and him squabbling, he put me in a headlock. That's cool. We don't know who gonna win. We don't know like nigga, nigga, fuck the winning. And all of a sudden he licked my forehead, nigga. He lick it. You gonna go up. I'm gonna go up in what community? You gonna jack me after that? You gonna be like, yo, oh yeah, that's my man. Act. Yeah, he just got his forehead licked. That's my boy right there. Fuck no, I'm gonna pull a shot glitch. I'm just gonna use you for views. I'm like, act, you is my man and shit on the podcast, but outside I'm not gonna fuck that nigga academic for real bad. I know every pussy but that DJ academics. <laughs> but this yo, there's dude, another DJ out and there. Why I hurry about hold on. He from DC. I know it's black bam ass. He dirty, he ain't you. Uh Yo, hold on. <laughs> I think yo, you know what's so crazy? When they start cussing me out, he be making like statements like, I'm not him. I'm like, I, I edit that nigga five. Like Times before thinking he was you. I swear, in my career, I've added him five times thinking I was you, and he had to tell me, nah, the wrong academic. Little black little dude at the radio station. I'm wondering if anybody even ran up on him, like, yo, nigga, is you him? You gonna give him? Nah, we know how you look now. You the little short black little leprechaun thing. Wait, he short? Nah, he like, he like. I'm not short. He like booby mouths on Friday night. He like 6'4. I'm 6'2. Why you always gotta put an extra hundred up? I'm like, you always gotta put something like on five, something. Five, nine, five, nine is regular. I'm, not sure. I'm sure. I'm not sure. I'm sure. Keep it a beat. You thought it was fat or, or like skinny. What you would have did? You, you, oh no, I was about. I'm about to ask you a question. That was crazy. I was about to ask you what you would have did a song with six nine four million dollars, but you'll hang with him for free. That's my boy. I, I called him right now. I ain't got you no get on the phone. Day. I ain't beat I get, I, I, you on the verse. I definitely would take a six nine verse. Send it over. Really? Oh my mother! I don't give a fuck about him being hot. I ain't in the streets. I'm a civilian. Ain't that how they use it when niggas hot? When niggas hot, they be like, oh, I'm a civilian. Oh, see so you down. Down no, with time, 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 hold time. Yo, a cool dude, wait, bro. I don't have nothing against Daniel. I, wait, 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 I, I like Daniel style. Wait, yeah. I knew he was gonna tell. I knew he was gonna tell. He knew he was gonna tell. He I ain't even surprised he was tell. Like he just confirmed shit. Is that telling? I'm not in the streets anymore. I don't care, bro. He just confirmed. Like put like this: if the police came and be like, "Yo, I know your man shot he wrong him. Shit. He your wrong man shit. did this," he wrong. and he he, he, wrong didn't, he wrong didn't volunteer the information. He just said, "Yeah, y'all right." He wrong shit. Yeah, volunteer. On street time, he wrong as shit. But on civilian time, that's just six nine. See me, I wouldn't even. On the street, someone you should like snitches. I ain't gonna say I like snitches. Would you hang out with a snitch? Fuck no. Hey, what you mean hang out with him? Like a nigga from DC, he might have told on like. Fuck no, I got a friend. They just told me he was high. I cut his ass off. I can't hang with no high niggas. It go on my like. I don't All have. Right. No, I don't have he nothing against him. That same nigga hits you up. He got five bad bitches with him. Nah, he not say, for yo, no. we about to we about to fuck these bitches tonight. And then we go to the stadium. Fuck no, I ain't hang with no high nigga. We can do I right. no, no, you can do no business with him though. We can do business like not street business, like business. I right, say if a nigga high and he own a company, I own a company. He might have told back in the day, like our companies can do business on some company corporate oh, shit. Some but, shit. Damn. Yeah, like I ain't doing no no street shit. I ain't even in the streets to be on the street shit. I don't care who high. Or I ain't gonna lie to you though. Like niggas really won't admit this because niggas really being denied. Six nine was really standing on business though. You know he's still robbing niggas right now, right? Like I don't mean to stench on my man's. Like you know what I mean? I ain't gonna stench either. Yo, he in the Dominican Republic running down on these facts. And you talking facts. You trying to sell like You know the fucking vibes. Be niggas, 6 9 not really like that. the Dominican Republic running down on niggas. And yes. he in the USA getting niggas ran down on. Yo, he only told on them niggas because they fucked his bitch. Look, shot fl- fucked your bitch. You can snitch on him. I ain't telling on them. Well, that, that's because you were slagging. Yo, he knew what the rules was. Rules is, if you don't fuck my bitch. Tell I ain't telling. I'm so never telling. So fuck your bitch, you're not telling? Fuck no, nigga. Come on. Bro. They fuck your bitch with the extra wet pussy? The one that... Like, come on, you can't. You gotta tell on that. Nigga killed my mother, I wouldn't tell him. What? I swear to God. Are you being too gangster now, bro? I swear to God. Nigga, what? Ki- nigga killed my mother, I wouldn't tell him. Nigga, that's the first thing. You gotta, like, cooperate, cooperate. I wouldn't cooperate at all. They gotta be singing, like, Whitney Houston, nigga. Adele. It wouldn't help. To, Beyonce. To you and your world, it'll help you, but it wouldn't help my situation because we wouldn't get, they're gonna get locked up, but yeah, I gotta fuck up, nigga. I fuck around and die from something I ain't even had to die from, like. 
you lose a rock of credit. I feel like, I feel like people be BSing like, come on now, like like for, I, 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 I'm gonna give you a random scenario. Let, let's I'm not even on games time. I swear to God, something no, happened no, to my I mama when it called the police. Let's say you have a um, not a going to bullet. Brother. I mean, Let's say I you have a little brother, right? Yeah. Like a little daughter. No, no, not a little daughter. A little sister, right? Let's say your mom had a little daughter, um, and that's your little sister, and she got you know raped, right? And I hate to bring this up, right? But but you know we just trying to create a fictional scenario. Okay, my nigga, you can't kill a nigga. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can't kill him. You can't do nothing. He gets arrested. Maybe you know a couple of niggas on the inside that could you know what I mean do some Dirk Chauvin. You see that nigga? I think Derek Chauvin got poked up in there. You feel me? Okay, maybe you know a nigga like that, cool. But you can't do nothing to him possible. Your little sister got raped forever and always. You telling me if you can't do nothing to that motherfucker, you want him to be free? He got mother, he got sister, he got aunt, he got cousin. What happened to them? Go get their ass. Come on, man. Let's be realistic, man. You want that nigga locked up. That's realistic. What the fuck is jail going to do? Jail don't hurt. Jail don't solve nothing. Jail don't solve anything. Even if you kill him and do something to him, that don't solve nothing. None of that shit fix anything. But I ain't, I ain't cooperate with no police or nothing. No situation. My best friend died in my hands. I ain't cooperate with the police. What? I ain't cooperate with no motherfucking police. I don't know nothing about no shit like that. I don't know nobody. Hold on. Hey, a gangster nigga told me this recently. He said, yo... He said he don't snitch, but like if his girl, if him and his girl is at some shit, he let his girl do the snitching. He just keep it real. Somebody just That's did. Some real shit, right? Somebody just you did. Let your girl snitch, you don't snitch. Somebody just did that to me. I just went to jail for some shit just like that. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, well, you can't say the girl snitch, so you're not. The, I can't the nigga wanted to snitch, but he, you know, he going to tell his girl like you tell because you ain't. I'm in court right now and I can't even speak on it. Damn. If a nigga snitch on you, could you snitch back? Fuck no. What? This the code though, act. It ain't the fact of snitching because you snitch back fair enough. Once you sign up for this street code, once you once you sign up by the code, like once you live this street life one time, the rules are bent for you to lose. So it's like, if you did sign up for this code, yeah, you can snitch back. You can be a snitch, but you made a code to you sign this code that I'm a street nigga. I live by this code. So you got to honor that shit. If you don't honor that shit, that's when you get betrayed in the streets. So if you don't sign up and honor this street shit, you don't got to honor no street shit. Don't be a street nigga. You can tell all day. Don't be a street nigga. Don't do no gangster shit, no type of shit, none of that. You can do what the fuck you want to do. You can't go portray an image and get people to trust you on the street shit. And then they think you like them and then you sell them out. Say like, we all killers. We go kill in a killer tale. Why the fuck is you telling, bro? You did not have to send me to jail I put my trust in you Because I thought you Was who you said you was But you wasn't really like that What I learned about Snitching is that You know it, It's just like A woman being a whore Like If she a whore In this city All she gotta do Is move like Five states away She not a whore no more Like you like, I tell every snitch though. in New York move to, to, to move to uh, um, Florida. That's how. Ain't no, ain't no. Yeah, you, f- you ain't no snitch no more. When they see you in Florida, they be like, oh, you a real nigga. Ain't no female fuck more than me. So it'd be like, if a bitch a whore, let the bitch be a whore. She ain't gonna be no bigger whore than me. So it's erased. You forgive a girl for whoring? Yeah, if it was before me. Okay, your girl done fucked seventy niggas. I fucked seven hundred <clears throat> bitches. What? But it don't matter about you. You a guy. <laughs> You tender dick as shit. I can see it now. You a tender dick ass nigga. I do <laughs> that care. That shit get to you. You feel you? <laughs> you feel you feel Wait, some so type of way. Wait, so you just a whore? It ain't even that wifing up a whore. Is that bro. tender dick or like? Nah, I, I just don't want like. If it you ain't been that on wifing a whore though. It's like you know why? Because I'm gonna be not. I'm gonna be hitting that pussy. I'm gonna be like, man. The reason why this shit ain't as tight as it should be is because why you five niggas done came in. So you in a bitch pussy thinking about another nigga that fucked. I'm thinking about why the, the fuck shit I ain't I- nut already because this bitch pussy's loose. Why you even fucking the bitch with loose pussy? You got options. That is true, but still, it's like, why do I want? Listen, what I'm going to get the bitch I want. I ain't getting <clears> the bitch I can serve. I'm going to pick hold her. On, hold on. I'm going to pick her. Yo, when I walk out with my chick, I hold hands with her. I like when niggas be like, "Damn, where you get her from? Oh shit, she bad." You tend to damn. Shit. I want her. Yeah. And then they go get her ass. What you mean? I don't want the bitch where I hold hands and all the niggas be like, "I want her." But mine's is mine. You don't even know. I know. I know this bitch. You might come in the room and talk to me about my bitch. He on some incognito shit. I don't know what's going on. No incognito, bro. I don't trust a soul, bro. You want nobody know your girl's yours? I ain't gonna say no. She mine. The world can know she mine. If you know she know, I don't got a broadcast. First of all, Instagram in my relationship, bro. My relationship and Instagram my business, bro. This shit like before Instagram, I had girlfriends before Instagram, and they ain't never. Suppose seen your girl shit. tell you like, yo, hey, hey, baby, let's start doing story times on YouTube. That'll hit. 
If she's saying that shit for the money or the fucking or for the fame. If she in it for the fame, no. If she in it for income, let's do it. Okay, suppose she tell you she ain't in it for the income, and she said, "Baby, I, I don't like how many bitches be DMing you. Post me real quick." I'm never going to talk to her again. We're going to break up. That's I want you to you know bitches be on that. Nah, post me. That. I, <coughs> I told you, you tend to dick them the bitches you Stop fuck it. with. Your girl don't tell you that. I'd be like, yo, well, you always liking other bitches' shit. Like my shit and post me that. Throw me on your story. It's my birthday. No? Fuck no. My girl don't give a fuck about no. Yeah, like my girl don't give a fuck about no. I be on that camera all day. You ain't never seen my girl none of them videos on that camera. My girl don't do none of that. <laughs> I take care of everything I'm supposed to take care of. I got to do everything. Like, I do everything I'm supposed to do as a man. So. Hey, did I ever tell you the story? There was a Virginia bitch. Yo, so my, my shorty. The girl. Her friend, a Virginia bitch, tried to backdoor me. We know. I, I told you I know your girl, bro. You keep telling me this. I know the Virginia no, people. Nigga, I even know nigga. the guys that got locked up. You got them locked up. I did get them locked up. I, I know. I, I know the guys. I, I told the prosecutor. I told her I was trying to get them 100 years. I know, they, were saying, bro. they were saying, according to the law, they can't get more than 20. And I said, what do I got to say for them to get 100 years? I was trying to get them life. They asked, yo, I asked the prosecutor about a death. Yo, nigga, I wrote a, nigga, I got to, you know, they be like, yo, you could do a witness impact statement. Nigga. I'm still typing my shit. My shit's on like 15 pages. Uh, For real? You know what niggas? Free the boys, man. Nah, they ain't getting free. You didn't look at it from their point of view. It's a sweet ass blogger in the house with a rock and shit. Like, let's Yo, go get I'm him. Yo, I'm honest with you. The cops made me even like more mad because they told me, they said after, because the, they ran warrants and everything. They said, yeah, we got the whole plan. The plan was to run in, catch you, tie you up. They're going to hold a gun to your head. You had to open up, blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, I got mad. I got even more mad. And I said, all right, cool. Well, these things got to be in jail for life. <laughs> like, they got to come back in next lifetime. You know what I mean? They got to they, they gotta pick another lifetime and come back. Come back as a frog or some shit. And then, you know what I mean? It's cool, though. What did I, what I do wrong in that situation? You want to hear the story? I'm gonna I, know the story. I know the story. All right, I, what did I do wrong in that situation? You tell me. You let your girl invite them people over your house. Yeah, that was a bad move, huh? Bro, my girl ain't never had come to my house. She's been living with me for three years. She ain't never had come to her mother. She ain't had no friends on my house, though. I don't work too much. She can go with her friends all day. They can know where we live at. They can't come in, though. They can know where we live at, like the area, like the town. Like the town, not the exact location, though. Now, I've been contemplating this, this whole time. I've been saying this, too. So, anyway, when I figured out this story, I ain't gonna lie, she was like blues clues. Like, first of all, it was dumb as shit. Thank God for Virginia education system. You know, license plates was on and everything. But the cops chased me was like, yeah, they didn't take the license plates off. This shit tracked back to this nigga's crib. I said, maybe he stole it. I said, hell no, nah, that nigga just paid his registration last week. <laughs> we got it. I was like, thank God, you dumbass. Anyway, so now we figured it, we figured this shit out literally about like 20 minutes into the shit. Like, right? But here's the thing. The person who did the back door, she's sleeping, or she act like she's sleeping upstairs. Here's the thing that I, I've been thinking about. If I had figured it out before the cops came, if you figured out the back door was in the crib with you. Was you with a shatter in the house? That's what, I'm, I swear, I've been really thinking about that. If I had walked in there, like. And if you ain't got cameras, you know you can whip it to the way where, like, she was with the intruders. All they got to do is know that she know them somehow, and that shit was all of them. Th that's what I was thinking the Free whole kill. time. Man, your shit would have been buzzing. Academics with a body. Oh my god. Yeah, AK right? with a body. Oh my, body, right? god. oh my god. Oh my god. So like Gucci made two thousand six. What? I'm telling you. Damn. You'd have been him. Niggas thought I. Was, niggas would be thinking I'm like little Tim Tops ten. Oh Adam. Man. Adam would have never. Adam would have thought that shit out on the fly. Anything clout chasing. Okay, some guys running here. Said Adam would have been. Oh, fuck. fuck it. Let's kill her. And either they did it or she did it. However the story so, come out, we're gonna go. All right, so hold on. All right, so, 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 so let's go back in the DC street nigga mindset. So you said the first thing I did wrong was having her at the crib. Yeah, that's it. If, if she, yo girl right now be like yo, yo baby, yo, yo this my this how they gonna explain yo this my. This is my homegirl from she the sandbox. Tell me that. She not like, yo, 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 yo. They will take, that's like twin. Like, she know everything about me. I know everything about her. She's not going to tell me that. She, she buttering you. First of all, I told you, you, you attend a dick ass nigga. You that type of nigga. My girlfriend ain't having type of comment. I'm a man. Bro. No, no, no. Well, I got to add some more complexity. So me, I'm looking at it like, you know, I used to, you know, I, I'm, I'm a frequent connoisseur. Bro, you're a DJ out. academics. No regular person should ever be in your home that ain't accounted for. I don't give a fuck who you that is and what hold you on. think. Right, hold on, but, but let me add this part. So I fly joints out. So I flew some other joints out too. You lose as shit. You no, loose, you get no, no, loose. No, no, they weren't at the crib though. They weren't at the crib. But you feeling because, this pain. No, no, because I, I, I'm, I'm bringing some extras out. 
my joint's like, yo, don't treat my best friend like the extras. Let my best friend come kick it at the crib. You let the rest, the rest of us at the hotel. I'm like, all right, man, you fucking hating on my program, nigga. I'm trying to just have a, you know what I mean? This is, <laughs> so we just trying to line them up. I right, bet. All right, cool. Okay, I right, shut up. Oh, you fucking annoying. Okay, I'll just have your best friend at the crib. Bad idea, right? Yeah, I never did it. And the crazy part is, that shit was planned before they even knew they can get to your house. They knew they was going to rob you before she even knew she was, like, once she realized her friend, they DJ Academics, that plan was That's put together that day. Me. Okay, so now, all right, bet. Listen, I'm not no street nigga, but now that shit got me so offended, I feel like I'm a street nigga now. I got a slide. What do I do for get back? You move. Well, the two niggas in jail. I want her locked back up. She got released. She got a kid. Like, she got a kid. I'm trying to get that kid removed from her. It's like two niggas in jail. They facing jail time. You said 20 years. They know your address. If the witness pop up dead, they might not go to jail. Nah, it's almost, I ain't gonna lie, them niggas are stupid. Them niggas is on, it's clear as day. <laughs> but look at this though, academics. What walks them scot-free off these charges if something happened? If your demise, if you just disappear, would they walk free off these charges? Nah, they on security camera. I ain't gonna lie, them niggas is fucked. If there was no see, Yo, what I mean like, these niggas basically almost I, like, yo, I smile for the camera. It's still, it's still no you. It's still no complaining. It's still no, it's still no you. It's no you. It's no you the main witness. You the okay. key witness to all this. The all key right. witness to I the case that. is gone. So you're saying move. Second of all, but I got a slide. How the sliding go? No sliding. What? You already did the hot shit. The police gonna know it's you if you slide. And it's I retaliation. Mean, you gonna do something to me I don't get no get back? You supposed to got the get back when they try to... This is how you get the get back. This is how I know you a fucking punk. What? Huh. You supposed to got the dog. Like You, you know what I'm saying? When that shit happened, you supposed to chase them in the car and I call the police and chase them like them your friends. Bitch, they from where? Let's go. Like what's up? Oh, you supposed to like when they from? Man, they from Virginia. That's all you need to hear to Virginia. Now you tell the Virginia. I ain't gonna lie, it was kind of devious. Like they ain't even come up here yet for they charge because Jersey deal with people different. That's all I like about Jersey. Even though you know I gotta make sure I got my shit, <coughs> but it's legal. Uh, in Virginia, apparently they shot out like about twenty niggas on there. Like they on mad charges on there. They ain't even get up here yet. It's been a year and three months. They still ain't get up here because they got they're on so many shooting charges from down there. So they were demons. So that's why I've been trying to tell on them even harder. You feel me? <laughs> them niggas are shooting at mad niggas. You feel me? I'm, I feel like I'm doing the streets. Yeah, listen. <laughs> you feel like you're doing the streets a D. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey you, you ever hear that Future song? The Feds did a sweep? <laughs> Gotta do a sweep on these niggas, man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> so, like, what if they have tied you up, though? Would you have gave them the money? There was no money to get. So what the fuck? So why? So I. Right. It's always a motive. What do yeah. you got in your house that's flashy that they feel like they're running in your house to take? I may be with a Lamborghini, but they could have took that without me. <laughs> they got to go hot wire to He told me maybe it was a Lamborghini. Might be. Bro, I drive a motherfucking 2013 SRT8 and the bitch can't come to my house. You drive a Lamborghini and you let a bitch drive? Man. Hey, 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 hey. And put like this. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I'm so vigilant. I got five dogs, way more security cameras, and I got 50 guns in my crib. My, That's my, even worse, and now they coming back. Like you right here is fifty no, no, guns no. in your house right now. No, 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 no. Move. No, 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 no. And you just told them I got fifty guns in the crib. Now she about to go. Now they about to call home from jail, man. Go double back. Okay, they double back the fifty guns I got. I'm telling you, I got sniper rifles, shotguns on shotguns, every type of AR, AKs. We will see. You want me to tell you bulletproof vests, everything. Man, me, I go lie. My shit look like a war zone now. On real street nigga time, where you fucked up at? You don't still supposed to be with Shawty. Mm, break it down. That's her friend. That's her. She going. She getting held liable for all that. That shit over. That whole relationship over. That shit over. My life was just online. I could have died fucking with you, moving loose. I never would have talked to her again in the day of my life. Okay. Did you hear the nuance though? But because when the niggas was, they, they came literally to the back. It's just crazy. Came to the back door. The door, the friend opened an hour before, and because she had woke up to smoke. It when locked. she she locked it back, so so I'm looking at it. She saved me type shit. She ain't it, save you. You wouldn't have been in the situation without her. If she was not in the situation, I you wouldn't have been at all. Too much sense right she now. She ain't save you at all. 
She didn't save you. God saved you. That was just a, a miss. That was just a, a, a miss. A mishaps on the move. The move happened. It just ain't happen. How it supposed to happen. You playing with your life, bro. It's your life you playing with. You got to realize. And I'm not no female in my life. It's females over here that will know you DJ academics, bro. Without you even telling them, they wouldn't even want to bring nobody to your house. You got to find those type of girls. My girlfriend know who I am. She don't even want to bring her friends. I wouldn't even bring my friends around with you. Girls, gossip, kiki, all that. Who the fuck want... How do you let a regular person that you don't know have a location on your household? Like, you academics, everybody watch you all day. Like, met somebody with your address just in their house. How dangerous is that? Who is they telling? That's a good point. Make it make sense. It's your life, bro. That's a good point. And it ain't even that. If, if it happened one time, she's so delusion, she missed that. Just imagine if people just around fishing. Like, she might don't even, like... She the type you can go around her and set up a move. She wouldn't even know it's a move because she's so vulnerable. Like, they can play her to get to you. Again, just a whole nother situation, a whole nother way because she don't know no better. I can just tell what type of girl she is by just the way you told me. Like, that happened because of her, bro. No matter if she stopped the lock of the door, the guys running there or anything, bro, it wouldn't have happened if she would have never invited her friend. Now you got this thing you got for me. I have a second and third thoughts, man. This is why it's She wasn't with it, though, though. She wasn't with it. I'm not saying she was with it, but she wrong. Like, I, well, I asked cops a minute because they ran, they ran everybody's even shit. Even if she was with it, you wouldn't even know. That's too far to think. But I automatically going to... A screen nigga? Because you're not a screen nigga. Uh, all screen nigga automatically going to put her with it. That's like, all right. You invite... I right, I invite him. I invite him here. He invite him here. But he come in here and shoot you. He in trouble for that. So what's he say here? No. Fuck what he didn't know. That's on his his that's he vouched for that. I put down my God for him. That's who was the whole the whole response. I ain't put my God down for them people. I don't know them people. I put my God down for you. I went off your word. Your word has got them people in my house. Mm. If it wasn't for your word, them people would not be in my house. That is true. I don't lie, I was trying to put I was trying because It's your girlfriend You tend to think You're going to make it seem good Yeah I've, she locked the I've, door Maybe she did yo, think about I've it. met I'm, The girl, the girl who did it I've met her No I'll eat pussy nigga. I'm Jamaican um, I said gave you some good pussy uh, I, I'm, you, Jamaican don't eat pussy Well Y'all I'm eat so, bean pies But not pussy yeah, Listen I met, I met that bread. girl Like a couple times She ain't never been to my crib Till that one time And it I happened the first time right The very first time Told you Ain't that a bitch that's I think even worse. That's even worse. Than every, a lot of people hit me up from Virginia. They said Virginia is 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 that's is, what they is, on, bro. Virginia, all Virginia, listen. I hear there's top five in the back doors. Nah, you can see about my back doors. I swear to God, all jokes aside, this is DC and Southeast. I don't even mean to say this. All Virginia girls we met. All Virginia girls sell pussy. I swear to God, every single Virginia girl. All Virginia. That's just the Virginia girl thing. That's they trend. Like all Virginia girls sell pussy. Really? I swear to God. How you know? I, I'm just. It's, from Virginia, you know, like I'm from Virginia. <laughs> Wait, how are we so confident? All Virginia. We mean they sell pussy, bro. I had a Virginia. Like only I had a Virginia bitch. My little Virginia bitch. I used to go over her house. I used to love her. We used to fuck and all that, kiss her, love her, and all that. Till I found out she was selling pussy, and she just kept it right there with me. All her friends sell pussy. They all sell pussy. It's a Virginia thing for girls. That's what they do. Every girl in Virginia sell pussy. They go to the city and sell pussy. In calls, out calls, fucking with niggas anyway. Every single Virginia girl, every one. I ain't excluding you on either because I know her, nigga. I really am. Holy. Holy. You could should have said that at the back door when you seen them damn cameras and them guys come with the I ain't gonna lie. You, you, me and the cops, we figured out at the same time because I was mad at the cops. The cops was like, yo, we chased that nigga, but like that nigga hit one, 110. I'm like, uh, they, I said, I think it was in a Cadillac. How the fuck he get to 110? That Cadillac don't spool up like that. Then the nigga says, yeah, this Jersey, we don't chase niggas unless you you tell people you, like you initially report that they have a gun. If you if you report they have a gun, they chase until that nigga die. I'm like, I told you I had a gun. It was like, nah, the report we got didn't say that. I said, all right, bet. I said, so you just came up here to tell me that you chased him for 15 minutes and you just over here to look at my face. He said, no, we got that nigga license plates. We don't catch that nigga later. We don't give a mad charge for running from us. I said, what you mean? They said, yo, nigga, we ran it. That shit is not stolen. Trust me, we gonna show up to his house and lock his ass up. We ain't chasing niggas no more. This is 2023. I said, oh shit. I like that. Yeah. In, in Jersey, that's 20 years. I'm trying to figure out a way they could break that rule to make it 40 years. <laughs> but these motherfuckers is... X69, he probably show you. No, no, no. no well, I, was, I was talking to the prosecutor. I was telling him, I'm like, yo, because it was like, yo, we might... So the girl is getting a plea. She, she snitching on her boyfriends. Yo, shout out to bitches, man. She's stitching on the dudes. 
Of course. So the dude, she think about it. She, was she still in the house after the robbery? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. She spent the night again another night? No, no, no. The police locked her up that day. Like, Oh, she went to jail too once they found out they knew each yeah, other? Yeah. They came and we figured it out in real time. They got looked at the security footage, seen her ass, open the door. And I said, you know the bitch upstairs? I said, everybody's outside of their rooms. She's acting like she's quietly sleeping. Man, she upstairs. This is how we going to... They locked her up. That it. So they, they caught her. That it. In the house? Yes. In the house. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm like, yo, before the, if I knew this before the cops came... Come on, man. Or what if she? Or what if she knew that? But what if the double cross was about to come again? Like, what if she's putting another one together? Whoo! She was still in there. Yeah. Listen, she went to jail. Now they got her on some shit because she got a kid. You know, you know these bitches don't be having no baby father. So like, she, the kid stayed with them. They was about to fuck her situation up. So she said she'll tell on her boyfriend that she gave him job to. And the boyfriend they found in his shit, cause he thought he was slick. The nigga gonna DM a nigga on Instagram and say, "Yo, come with me to go rob academics," and he on sent it. Of course, Instagram just sent the whole thing to the cops. Like, yo, get the stupid ass nigga. They locked him up too. So now she got locked up. She was locked up for like two months. She she got like they she basically said, "I'll snitch on my boyfriend, you know, and I'll snitch on the other dude, and I'll tell you everything I did." But I'm a, I, honestly, I think she's going to get probation. They're getting the whole 20. You know what I mean? Because they got mad other shooting cases. They can't take no plea. That's the crazy thing about bitches. Like, you, you happy she about to snitch on them, and she's going to be scotch-free to get another nigga to go do some other bullshit. Them niggas fucked. You happy about that 20? Huh? You happy about that 20? No, no. I want them to get 40. Like, I'm, 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 I'm trying to work with these motherfuckers. Like, the 6 9 coach you? Shit, I'm trying to get 6 9 in there that maybe he could be a witness, too. <laughs> 6 9 testify with me? I know he will. Shit. I think that's the reason you got the Lambo to match him? Yeah, I got to match the Lambos? Nah, his, his shit is like uh, um, like rainbow and shit. You just got the yellow one. But shit, no, no. I, no, I, I ain't gonna lie. I did tell Six I said, you see, I don't do crime. I did tell Six I said, you shouldn't have told. Trust me, I did tell him. You should have. Because you was with the shit. Like, yo, Six not like, when I seen that nigga on camera saying, yo, I got a 50 pack or whatever, 30 pack on his head, I'm like, nigga, you're not me no more. You like you in the life. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's different. That's different. But um, I, I guess niggas fucks this bitch. And you know, some people. I always say this about you see you see y'all three right here as friends. Let me tell y'all this: if you care about this man, or if you really like locked in with him, I don't care if that nigga because I know niggas lie a lot. Niggas would be like, man, I don't get a fuck about that bitch. Now you, oh oh, she hit you up. Now you go fuck it. Never fuck that bitch. That nigga will look at you for life. Like, yo, I got to get back at that nigga. And I'm telling you, they'll slice you in the, in the weirdest way. <laughs> That's one thing I learned. Don't ever fuck a nigga. Current bitch, ex bitch, the bitch he been crushing on, even if he tell you he don't give a fuck. Because he do care. I don't be caring. Yeah, that's what you say, man. I don't got a heart when it comes to these bitches. I love you too. Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, play. Even if you say you don't care, this is how your man's is viewing this. Well, he not a nigga who care about shit like this, so he's going to take that as your general temperament to a lot of other shit you, that he thinks you might not care about. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he yeah he never be tripping on shit. Yeah, I fuck this bitch. He ain't care. He not going to care when I do this. Nah, nigga. See? I ain't going to care because I'm going to be playing about it. Like, I'm going to cut her off eventually. And I'm going to get him back, but I ain't going to tell nobody nothing. You see, the get him back part is the crazy part. Shit, you can't fuck his bitch. You might do some slimy shit. Now he looking at you weird like, dog, your bitch was coming on to me. Now you went out of your way trying to fuck my bitch. Okay, so we not really cool like that. After your you bitch came bitch. to me to fuck. You try to do some weird shit, try to fuck my bitch. Okay, all right, bet, cool. All right, whatever, yeah. I ain't even friends with a nigga like that, though. Like, I ain't. We ain't even fucking the same. Like, I don't think we ain't even. We don't even talk about it. We ain't on that. No, that's what I said. You keep the woman you fucking separate from your homies. Oh, no, hell yeah. We ain't, but. Man, my niggas got girlfriends. Act like we young niggas. This is gonna sound like we like niggas well in there. Niggas don't even cheat. Yo, I, I had a nigga who niggas ain't no no cheating shit. I can't only one cheat. I. Yo, I had a nigga who I, yo, I was fucking one bitch. He started fucking her afterwards. She was like my eighth bitch on the roster. Yeah, I didn't like that one. Huh? I said niggas don't cheat. I will cheat. You the only one cheat. I. Who? I don't cheat. Huh. I don't cheat. I'm a faithful nigga, bro. Like to keep it real, like oh no, is you still with that girl that she was that she was jacking up? No, no. At you, the, oh, you with a new girl? Well, that's a girl from Virginia. Well, here's the uh -huh. thing. 
Y'all have now know. just got me scared of everybody from Virginia. Like, I got a whole set of other questions. They all sell pussy, though. Every Listen, ask any nigga that's from Virginia about Virginia girls. Any nigga that's from Virginia. Is it West Virginia? Is it all like, Virginia. Virginia just... Nah, like, nah, you, you, you mean like niggas, like bitches from Hampton? Virginia, they crazy. Like Virginia Beach type shit? Like, not from no Norfolk or no shit like that, though. Not no, like... No be. folk, all that shit. So you're saying the entire Sam, Vi, Sam, all that shit. Like, yeah, Fre- Fredericksburg, especially Fredericksburg. Oh my god, I'd have had ten gunners in Fredericksburg. So wait, so so you're saying they sell pussy at a more frequent rate? No, than, no um, more frequent rate. Every single girl from Virginia sell pussy. Every what about single Baltimore girls, they do it the same thing. Baltimore girls too. Baltimore girls different though. Like that's a whole Baltimore world different. Baltimore not even. What the about DC girls? Do DC girls sell pussy? Yeah, but they DC girls ain't shit. They like. And wait, wait, wait! Hold on, let's break it. Up. You said what? VA v- VA girls want DC niggas. They hang in DC all day and get fucked by DC niggas. But the niggas out VA, they be tricking them. Any VA girl ask you what they used to do on the weekends? I bet you they gonna say we used to go to DC. Fuck, you think they was going to DC for? Ain't nothing to DC but dick and death. I've heard that shit a lot of times. I know. That's what they hang that, out. The at. whole time I'm thinking, what the fuck is in DC? Because I went there to get my passport. I was like, there's another motherfucking thing here. Imagine going to DC and but going monuments. back to No, imagine going this. I told you I'm the big king. Imagine going to DC and going back to Virginia with the last name Glizzy. That's crazy. I might have some questions today. Nah. I'm going to blame Ant. I'm going to blame Ant. Nah, that's only because you started that shit. You talking about Lil J, my man, and shit. You started that shit. Well, I was chilling. Lil J was your man's though. I don't even know that guy. He said that's how you know. What I mean, niggas in DC was giving it up. He said he learned how to behave from DC. He said he learned that. He said he learned that in jail. Nah, he said DC. Then he went to jail. I never. I don't know Lil J. You ever see something like that happen in the industry? What? I don't even know what you're talking about. I ain't in the industry. I ain't Who's with Shy? Was anybody getting out with the Transformers? Uh, you ain't never heard it. I told all my stories. You ain't never heard one of the motherfuckers, have you? Yeah, at least Shy's clear with that. Shy was good money. Now, one thing I can say about him, though, you can't take that from him. He always had the bitches. Like, he, when have he not had the bitches? You just said he ain't getting no bitches. You said he was lame. I didn't say he never got no bitches. I just said the bitches don't like him for him. The bitches like him for he's a trick. The bitches like him for the shit that comes with it. Like until also, they get, DC niggas tricks. Okay, not even that. We got it. A nigga think he uh, a female to think he got something until you get up on him and he don't really got it. But why you as you was dissing Saucy Santana? I was about to ask you, is that you on that pain? They need to redo that. You know that? Wait, wait, on what pain? Right there. That's a double game. That's twin. Oh, that look like Saucy Santana. Pause. Stop it. If you think that look like Saucy Santana, I, I mean, swear, because you, you flip the camera. Look at this. All right. If, if you think that look like Saucy Santana, you like Saucy, Saucy Santana. Nah, bro. And first of all, all I'm here to tell you is why the fuck has he got lip gloss on in his lips? So you, so, he got so, shiny on, lips. Hold on, hold on. Y'all throwing me hold off. On, see, it's see, a shiny see, lip this Saucy Santana. This wouldn't have been though, the way you want to be. So you telling me you looked at a picture of another <laughs> man <laughs> and seen the lips My and said, that look like Saucy. Now you want to use me on me. Now he's. Hey, hey. Why did that man got lip gloss on in his picture? Why does. A nigga's lips make you feel like or make you think of Saucy Santana. I said he looked like Saucy Santana. And then he got lip gloss on because Saucy Santana will wear lip gloss. That's like I, I watched this one comedian one time. He said he realized his homie was gay when they watching a they watching a porno. And he said all of a sudden his homie said, damn, y'all know that nigga. Only thing you could see on the camera was the nigga's dick. It was like, how you know that nigga by his dick? Yo, that's crazy, right? Yo, that's crazy. Like, yo, it's <laughs> a different time been right there. Huh? <laughs> he looked at the picture. He said, yo. Yo, you look like Saucy. I said, how we look like Saucy? Yo, them lips. That's crazy. I did not that's crazy. say the lips. <laughs> I say, and the lips got shine on them, though. Like, that's even hey, worse. Hey, by the way, I got to go to No Jumper. Are you going to come with me? Like, you be my No, nah, we going, yeah. For real. How we going to do by brick? What you mean? They eat. They eat. might want to rob you and me. It's brick. You see what the fuck? Are you, are you seen Friday before? You see what the fuck the brick did to Craig? I mean, the Craig, the brick did to Debo? We good. Okay. Put a brick on his fucking head. Nah, we good though, bro. Big C's. I'm bringing virtual crypts, cuz. I got virtual crypt gang too. Don't, I got 3,000 no, crypts, cuz. I ain't gonna lie. One thing about LA, they be, they be throwing up so much gang signs, they be, they be concerned. How do I do the crypts? Big C's. 
Hey, before we get out of here, could you apologize to my man? Um, Meek Mills? No, no, not Meek is cool, but, but, but Shorty Shorty, that's my guy. All right. I would like to publicly say I'm truly sorry to you, Shorty Shorty, that you was a hot rat, bam ass, fake ass. Bro, bro. Stop, bro. Gangbanger. I'm here to take over the industry. I fuck these soft ass. Why you don't like. Yo, he, he hot. I'm going to show you his paperwork. I'm going to send it to you when I get home. That, is yeah. you post it? If I if I send you show, show your paperwork, what you post? I'm gonna come through the fine teeth comb and watch. I'm gonna find like typos. I know you can't spell, nigga. You don't even look like a nigga can spell. You gonna be having all type of fucking typos in that bitch. I know that shit gonna be. <laughs> so fake. I definitely can't spell. But if you can read Black and Niece, you understand it. All right. Anything I get to? Who else you be for? The world. Any other rapper? I'm not really beefing with them. I'm not beefing with nobody. And they just they just don't like me. They just I'm just entertaining. They just don't like me. I ain't beefing with nobody. So if Diddy hit me up asking for you, like I could. Connect y'all. Why the fuck is you connecting me? He called you. No, no, but, 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 but that's what I never said that he hung no nigga. I up. Just, whatever you want from me, you go handle the business for me. No, no, no. He he might have something special for you. He got something special for you. Shit, listen. He, DC niggas. Hey, listen, sir. You know how you say all oh, 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 bitches from Virginia sell pussy? Certain type of other people might sell booty over there. You know what I mean? I wouldn't know. I don't feel good, <laughs> sir. <laughs> All right, man. Yo, Egg Glissy, y'all. My first motherfucking interview with him. Uh, we're going to have to make this nigga a regular, man. He's a staple. He's fucking hilarious. Have you ever thought about doing comedy, being honest? Yeah, but it's all new to me. It's coming as it come. Watching your videos is highly entertaining and highly comedic. Uh, you know what I definitely would do with you? Um, you know, I'm starting to do live events and shit like that. I would definitely um, come to DC and do an event. You know, me and you host it. What's up? Put it together. Let's do it. I'm you good in the city right now. And niggas ain't gonna chase us out of there. Right? Act like, you with me, Act? I'm you know, I don't know. Hey, y'all, Act is officially one of us in the city, y'all. I'm giving Act the stamp. I'm stamping you in the city. I'm stamping you. I'm giving you your stamp. Okay, good. As, I'm as, stamping as long Act, as y'all. Trying to take my chain like his, like nah. We locked in. You just gotta tap into some DC rappers, bro. Hey, hey by the way. You know I got some niggas chain back recently. Who? You see that? Yeah, that guy is from... It was a streamer. I got his chain back from Toronto. From, that is about, I thought it was London. It was from Toronto. Like, you got his chain now? Well, I got it now with me. But like, I got... Well, well, really, I was going to give it back to him, but then he told me he filed a police report, so I was like confused. Like... Ah, you got the stolen receiving stolen property. I d d don't say the charge now. <laughs> I don't got it no more. What are you talking about? You, you hot like hell. What the hell are you talking about? I was saying I was about to get it back. So I was saying... Uh, I'm gonna get it back from Taliban Glizzy. Yours. I don't think they got that channel. I'm gonna get whatever. Taliban Glizzy chain. You got Taliban Glizzy chain? I don't got it. I don't know where we're at. Just give it to me, bro. I'll just get back to the thing, bro. I make you a deal. I'll do it. I'll pay a little bit for the chain. He not paying all. He be the gangster. I'll pay for it. How much you charge? You might as well pay the bill to just for me and Shadow to just squash this. How much? I don't know. How much it costs to squash the Glizzy Shadow Glizzy beef? Does Sha need payment or only you? I need payment. He needs a career. <laughs> Me and you promo him, we can get him back. We just gotta come up with some type yes, of Yes, I play with Sha, man. Niggas act like Sha really not like that. We trying to get his buzz back though. Like, let's get his buzz back. Let's get him back popping. I think Sha get his buzz back if you slap a nigga. No, I just tell you how you, I ain't gonna tell you how you get his buzz back. He gotta slap me. He do gotta slap you. That's yeah. how he gets his yeah. buzz back. If he slap you, <laughs> she gonna that'll be up. he slap you and he gotta fire one. Ooh, Tom. And Would you let him slap you like awesome? Slap the shit out of me. Okay, but you got to be on the business. Justify shit. murder. Fuck. Slap the shit out of me. Might have to shy up and kind of figure this out. Yeah, put it together. You box him? That's what I want to do. Just like a little box, 100,000. Now you too tall. Shot's like short, bro. I can't fight though, bro. It's like. I got to watch your, you, you fight again. Who else is like some? I can make it look good. Okay. All right. We'll work it out. Okay. We'll work it out. All right, people. Uh, if you guys want to go check out uh, Aunt Glizzy, uh, let people know where they can catch you on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, anywhere you could find. My Twitter, Barbason GMG. My Instagram, The Real Barbason. My YouTube what channel. What is that, Barbara's son? What's That's that? my mother named Barbara. Oh. I'm her son. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Barbara son. Yeah, yeah, okay. Makes it sense. makes sense now, yeah, though. Yeah, of course. Lucy stole it, freed the son, and everybody was, so when you see everybody with the son, they name was the first one I ever did it. They stole it from me. Oh, all right. So where else? So you said Twitter, YouTube, YouTube, um, the real, YouTube, Barbason TV, Twitter, Barbason GMG, Instagram, the real Barbason. 
And y'all can catch me on Academic Stream too. He be over there sh- showing me y'all. Hey, no, no. I, did, I, I Listen, I did tell, well, Shorty Shorty gonna bring me to Baltimore to do a you live stream. Talking. I'm serious. He gonna bring me to do a live stream in the hood and I gotta figure out who's the guy for DC. I don't know if it's you or Shy. One of y'all. Maybe both of y'all. You know what I mean? Through Shy, like I wanna go to the trenches. I can take you to my, I, I can definitely walk you through my block. That ain't enough. All right, let's do it. All right, people. Thank you for watching man. another episode of One of the Record Podcast, man. This guy is hilarious. I'm telling y'all, if y'all want to know what gets me through my day, I know I get you through some of y'all days. Go watch this motherfucker. Stories on stories for days. The only thing you're going to leave that, that story saying is, I wonder if this shit is real or if this thing is capping. But one thing you're going to do is you definitely go motherfucking laugh, man. Go check out his content, man. Hey, listen, man. Appreciate it. My God. Peace. I know.